The Best Husband, Episode 1. Masha, hi. Hi. Ninak, hi. You're a star today. Maybe we could go out tonight? Tolia, sorry, I'm busy. With what? Or with who? Nina, shall I make breakfast for you? No, mom, I'll do it. Nina, can you ever have a proper breakfast? Mom, what do you mean proper? Coffee with a cigarette. Have you ever heard of healthy eating? I know one thing. If you feed your future husband with this, he will run away from you the next day. He won't. I'll have the best husband. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? You can. I want to propose and I need an exquisite ring to match my girlfriend. For example, this one. Great choice. What do you think? Hello? Hey, Lubevina. You look great. Thanks. Is it light industry workers day or are you getting married? I don't know, the day is young. Well, good luck with your work and your personal life. So, Tuesday. We agreed. Gleb, you're here, hi. Hi, Ninik. What do we have? Everything's okay. About Victoria, we approved the fabric, selected the hardware and begin working on design. Good. Do you want to see the sketches? Okay. About Pizzeria, they cut everything in the tailor shop, but they lack 40 meters of fabric. I don't know what they were thinking. We'll have to buy more. They chose white top and silk scarves with logo. Gleb, are you listening? As always, Nino. How would you like to be proposed to? Proposed? Marriage proposal. I want something special. Parachute jump. Hot air balloon. No, romantic evening on the roof is the best. Dinner candles, flowers, stars, violinist. Do you like it? I do. And do you like the ring? It's very beautiful, really. Gleb, wait. I don't understand. Are you getting married? I can't believe it too. Can you arrange all this for me on Saturday at 9 p.m.? Me? Right, it's not hard for you. I should do it. Right. Gleb, sorry, I have a lot of work. I still have to go through the hardware, you know? I should go, okay? By the way, your dress is so cool. Is it new or have I seen it? Mm -hmm. 
I told you it was edible. We don't have to eat that healthy food from the containers anymore, especially since you have a perfect body. Do you think he'll marry her? It seems so. They chat away. Her name's Mila, she's a receptionist here. She's beautiful. Nothing special. Eat your salad, it's tasty. Don't look at them. Are you free this Saturday night? For you, I'm free on Saturday and on Sunday. I have a little surprise for you. Wow, what surprise? But this is a surprise. Okay, my mysterious man. Who's that new girl? In a beige dress. Nina Lubevina, my right hand, reliable person. She looks at you as if she's in love with you? No, we're just friends. I don't need anyone but you. I hope so. Nina, where are you going? Nina! Ninka! Nina, what's up? My poor girl. I guess I'm going to quit. Don't be foolish. Your salary is good, your schedule is free. Don't be obsessed with love. There are more than 7 billion people in the world, half of them are men. And one of them is definitely yours. Ninak, good evening. Hi. You're walking your Elsa. How did you notice? We picked up a tick there in the morning, so be careful. It's not season yet. Anyway, thank you for telling me. Right, seriously, maybe we could go out? Karaoke, for example, what do you say? I am a tone deaf. Tolia, bye. Sorry, Elsa, let's go. I'm a tone deaf too. Am I too ugly for her? Good morning. Good morning. Would you like some breakfast? Thank you. I see things have changed around here. Different design, different furniture. Unknown people. It's been a while. Yes, almost two years. For breakfast, I can offer you our signature pancakes with curd and dried cranberries. Pancakes are good, bring them. Tell me, does Milka Zeritske still work for you? Sure. But she'll come by 12 p.m. Okay, bring me everything you have at your discretion. Brother, come back here. Tell me one more thing. I see this restaurant is good. Does Milka have a lot of men around her? I can't tell you anything. I have a poor vision. And I'm an optometrist. 
and now your vision has improved. Personally, I have not seen anyone. That's good. Good for you. Go, why are you so tense? Go and bring me something. One minute. Okay. Wake up, sleepyhead. Wow. How did you sleep? If it wasn't for your creaky couch. Understood. I'll fix it. I'll buy a new one today. I'm so glad you stayed. Let's not go anywhere today. It's easy for you to say, you're the boss. And I work full time. But you have a vacation, right? Where will we go? I want to show you a waterfall. Niagara One. Well, I haven't earned for the Niagara Fall yet. Shall we go canoeing down the river? Steep cliffs, nature. Beautiful waterfall. And nobody around, just you and me. Great. Listen, I have to go. Will you drive me there? Sure. Are you upset? You see the Niagara Fall, my business will grow in a couple of years. Do you believe me? I know. I love you. I love you too. I'll call you. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm here. How are things? A man is waiting for you. Mila. Hi. You look great. Even better. Did you miss me? You've been released? I missed you. Miller. Miller, wait. Miller. Wait. Stop. Take your hands off me. You bastard, you left me penniless, homeless, did you think I'd throw myself at you? Well, sort of, listen. Let's start over. What? Start over? I just came to my senses, got rid of the debts, rent an apartment, not the apartment, but a rat hole? Mila, there are people. Get lost, my friend, we're talking. I'll be right there. Grisha, you're on your way, and I'm on mine. Our paths are broken. Wait, I'll show you something. Is it yours? It is. Do you like it? Get in. I'll show you something else you won't regret. Miller, are you afraid of me? Me? Fuck you. I'm glad you're here. How is my assignment? About the tender, I emailed everything. No, no, about arranging the evening. Gleb, I'm sorry. That's not really my job. And here you are, I'm quitting. What? Would you explain? I'm tired of it. Of what? 
Gleb, I'm tired of bringing you new ideas all the time, and you say you don't have money to experiment. What ideas? For example, the sweatshirts. Yes, you need to invest, but it is profitable. GLEB, I am a technologist. I am tired of sewing working robes. Nina, don't exaggerate, please. Did somebody hire you? Who? Gleb, it's not important. What do you mean, it's important? Gleb. Is this your final decision? I didn't think you'd betray me. Stop talking about betrayal. Love cannot be forced. Here you go. So... Stop. You scared me. Are you ready? Are you? I don't know. Open your eyes. <laughs> this whole city is for you, Miller. The whole... Now we'll live here. Together. Grisha, where did you get it from? It's not important. It's not important at all. The thing is we are together now. Your favorite champagne. I remember everything. Everything at all. Well... To us. To our new life. You know. I... forget it. I remember you from the spring exhibition. Yes, I remember you too. That's why I called you. This is my work. Do you want to see it? Sure. So you're leaving Glove. Why? What do you have against him? For personal reasons. Well, that's common. But what exactly? I don't really want to talk about it. But believe me, I had my reasons. If you don't have a job for me, just tell me. What about references? I don't have any. But I have my diploma and my work. What's more, I remember one more thing. What thing? What car you've always dreamed of. Grisha. The number you're calling is temporarily unavailable. Wake up, my beloved sleepyhead. Yes? Gleb, this is Christina Ivanitskaya from the Orchid. Can you talk? I can. Is this an emergency? I had an interview with your Nina Lubavina. Wow. Quickly. As far as I understand, she's leaving you. She's a good, talented girl, but she didn't explain me the reason. 
It is strange to hear it. Gleb, I have to make a decision. What can you tell me about her? The Orchid is a great company. I'm so glad for you, my friend. How much do they pay there? Almost twice as many after the trial period. Wow, go ahead and don't think twice. And Gleb will regret. By the way, do they need a good accountant there? Okay, I'll ask. It's green. What do we do when it's green? Red means stop, green means go. Good girl. Wow, look at that fancy. I'm shocked. I wonder if Gleb is okay wearing horns. So? Maybe you're not quitting anymore. Nina, I'm so glad you move on. Elsa Place. You've exhausted yourself at your last job. New people, new meetings, emotions. Right, mom, sure. I wonder who it is. I'll get it. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry for just showing up here. It's okay, come in. Sure. Wait. Come in. One minute. Have a seat. Thank you. Tea, coffee, would you like something? No, thanks. We need to talk. How long have you been negotiating with Ivanitskaya? With Ivanitskaya? For one day, we started yesterday. Nina, I don't want you to quit. It's not right. We're a good team. And you're very important for the company and me. I'll pay you as much as in the orchid. And okay, make your sweatshirts. So have we resolved everything? Now call Ivanitsky and tell her you're staying. Gleb, wait. I, you're still marrying Mila, aren't you? I am, but what does that have to do with anything? Glab, the thing is, I think you should know it. I have to tell you. I and Polina saw Mila kissing a man in a car. What the hell, Lubevina? Why are you making this up? What do you mean? I'm not making it up, Gleb. Wait, Polina even has a photo. I'll ask and she'll send it. I don't need your photo. No, no, wait. She had it. That's it. She'll send it now. Wait. Lubevina. Do you really love me? Here, look. I don't need your photo. I know Mila, we love each other. You can see it here. Look, she's sitting. You should really quit. Sorry, I overheard everything. Mom, just don't tell me anything, okay? I know there are 7 billion people on the planet and half of them are men. Oh, really? It inspires. I don't understand. Misha, hi, where's Mila? I'm calling. She's not picking up. 
Did something happen? Armilla quit. What do you mean, when? In the morning, he wrote a resignation letter, and that's all. Sorry, I have to work. Wait, did she explain anything? She didn't. Would you like anything else? Where are you? What's going on? I'm worried. It's Saturday. I'll see you at 9 p.m. Young man, I'm sorry, but the dishes have been on the table for over an hour. They're all winded up. Do you want to replace them? Take them away. You can go too. Young man, sometimes they don't come. It happens. I'm really sorry. Thank you. Thank you. It's very beautiful here. So you've come, did something happen? Do you have any problems? I don't. I'm okay. It's okay. Then marry me. Gleb, I can't. I am married. Well, you could have just said no. I couldn't have. Gleb, you're very good. Handsome, smart. But my husband and I haven't seen each other for two years and now we made up. He gave me the new car I've always wanted. Wanna see? It's down there. Next time. And we're going on our honeymoon again. To the Niagara Fall? To the Seychelles. Not bad, right? You said you love me. We had plans. What's that all about? Don't get angry at me, okay?
Ninek. Elsa, come on. Hi. Hi, Tolia. Look at that beauty I bought. Huh? It's mechanical, but it's not petrol hungry. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm gonna put a couch in there, a TV, a fridge. I'm gonna hang a chandelier there, the house on wheels. You can travel by it or go to the country. Great idea. Right. Super, Nina, about karaoke. I said it without thinking, I don't like it myself. Shall we go to the exhibition, expand our horizon? Exhibition? What exhibition? Well, I don't know, there are some. Okay, Tolia, let's do it. I have a lot of free time now, right, Elsa? Really? Right? Yes. Wait. It's okay. Yes, Polina? Elsa. So what about the exhibition? Intensive care. You can't come in. I know, I just wanted to ask about Gleb Chernikov. There are patients here, he was operated, wait here. Wait. They tell everyone to wait. Ilya Sozovich, Gleb's father. Nina, how could this have happened? Gleb's an excellent driver. They say the car skidded and he wasn't wearing the seatbelt. And also they said that they found an alcohol in his blood. Alcohol? He would never drive a car when drunk. I don't get it either. Once he regains consciousness, I'll talk to him. It's been too long. Chernikov came out of the coma. The condition is stable and severe. Can we see him? I'm begging you. One person for a couple of minutes. Thanks, thank you. You go. No, you go. No, he'll be very happy to see you. You're his fiancé. I'm not his fiancé. I'm sorry, but Gleb told me he was gonna get married. He is? He's not marrying me, but Mila, and I'm Nina, so you go. How could that happen, son? I know everything will be alright. Then you should believe it too. A girl came to you, but the doctor didn't let her in. She was with me all the time and never left. Mila, Nina, son. Mila, hello, this is Nina Lubevina. Hello. 
Mila Gleb is in the hospital, I can give you the address, he was in a car accident, come here please. I can't. What do you mean, you're his fiancé? I'm out of the country now. So come here, Gleb really needs your help now, this is life or death. Tell him to get better. You all know what happened to Gleb. Despite this, the company continues its work. We have the old orders and there will be the new ones. I promise you that, and you'll have your salary, don't worry. We are not worried. We understand. That's good. So we work normally, even better. We should not let Gleb down in this situation. How's he? Is he gonna be all right? I really hope so. But the recovery will take longer than a month. We have to get together and prove that we're a team. Questions? No, Nina, we won't let you down. Then let's do it. Milaka, Grigory Pavlovich, welcome back. How was your vacation? Great. Is the dinner ready? Sure. As you ordered, Solienka baked fish. It stinks. She must have gotten car sick. Set the table. You deal with the luggage then. Okay. A kingdom in Africa. Seven letters. What field do you work in? Maybe you were in Africa, in that kingdom. Old man. I'm trying to sleep. Okay, sleep. Hello? Hi, Gleb. Hello, beauty. Are you his wife? No, I'm not. Can I borrow your chair? Sure. How are you? I brought you a soup. Some fruits, all's very healthy. That's it, Lubevina. You visited the cripple. Put the check mark. Now you can go. How did Ivan escape even let you go? Everybody works 24 hours a day there. What about your VIP clients? Did you please them all? I'll pretend I didn't hear it. I don't work for her. I fired you. I tore your order and my letter. So we work as we always do. Sorry. So what about the soup? The food here is not for the faint of heart. Let me pour you. Oh, please. Thanks. It's nourishing. That was a good chicken. All right. Give it to me too. Really? Okay, wait. Here you go. I'll adjust the pillow to make it comfortable for you. Is it comfortable? Thank you. What for? For everything. Yes, I get it. I'll be right there. We'll resolve everything. Okay, honey. I have to go. Grisha, where are you going? I'm so sick. Maybe I caught some kind of infection in these tropics. Honey, go to the doctor. I don't know when I'll be back. It's not my call. Then who's? Grisha, do you have another woman? You fool. What are you talking about? I have a business. 
Do you think I understand nothing? They call you day and night, and you never talk in front of me. You think all of this is falling from the sky? I did two years for an important man. I took all the blame. Now he's taken me into his business. We are partners. What business do you have? Honey, ask no questions. Here, go to the doctor. Baby, can you do it? You're my bunny. I have to go. Take care. I can't control my legs. You need time and be sure to set a goal. You're young, you'll do it, and with this food you'll become even healthier than before. I always wait for your Nina. Her chicken nuggets are perfect, and her casserole. Do you know what she'll bring today? Your only wish is to eat. It's the body's natural need. I wish I stay here. I'm sorry for interfering. I don't get it, Nina visits you, but I've never seen your fiancé. Did you have a fight? Father, I turn this page. Damn it. I can clearly see the fertilized egg, the size of the fetus, height 61 millimeters, weight 13 grams. What period is it? About 12 weeks. Wait, what 12 weeks? But my cycle isn't broken. It happens sometimes. You really felt nothing? I was sick and dizzy. But I thought it was because of flights and climate change. I see no pathologies. Register. You'll pass all the tests and give birth to a healthy baby. I won't have a baby. I'll have an abortion. Is it too late? Well, it's not too late. But, are you sure? I'm sure. My husband is not the father. I'll have an abortion. Can I do it tomorrow? When is the earliest date? Is 12 p.m. okay for you? It is. Hello? Grisha, you're home. Why didn't you tell me? What should I tell you? I'm home and you were supposed to be a decent wife waiting for me at home. So where have you been? I went shopping. What have you bought? I like nothing. I found something. Grisha, I was going to tell you. I just didn't know how you'd react. I'll do an abortion if you want. An abortion? Are you crazy? I've always wanted a son, you're my love. I'm so happy. My good girl, I'll have a son, a descendant. The Best Husband, Episode 2 Elsa, don't. Not now. 
Elsa. Elsa, lie down, please. Elsa, sleep, sleep. Hi. What time did you go to bed? At two. And it's six now. Four hours of sleep is not normal, Nina. Mom, you know, I have a presentation tender. And cooking for Gulav. You are exhausted. In the morning you prepare food, ran to him, then to the office till night. How long has this been going on? Three months or more. I would understand if you were his wife or girlfriend. What is it? Mom, you know, I can't help it. He hurt you. Tell me how. I love him. And when I saw him in the hospital, I forgave him. Mom, he needs me. Okay. Go back to sleep. I'll walk Elsa myself. Let's go. Thanks. Let's go, dog. Let's go for a walk. Come on, come on. Hello, Glab. Hello, Doctor. How are you feeling? Better. Do you bend your legs? Around 100 times. Good for you. Okay, show me. Good. Now the second one. Careful. Does it hurt? A little. Wiggle your fingers. Bend your feet. Very good. Good. Great. Doctor, can I get up now? Get up. Right. Get up and run? Well, let's try, but be careful, okay? Good. Very good. Careful. The dynamics is obvious. Good. Let me help you. Take your time. Take your time. Here you go. Good. How's your head? Careful, careful. Good morning. Good morning. This is for you. Thank you. You come here as if you work here. How was the night? Good. The head doctor went to Glav. Thanks. Thank you. Go. Hello? Hello. How is he? Good. He passed out when he got up. When was it? When he got up, about five minutes ago. It's okay. We gave him a medicine. He'll regain consciousness now. Okay. Here you go. Did I pass out? Hi, Gleb. Nina, hi. How are you? Doctor, Doctor I got it. Discharge me. Gleb, what are you talking about? You've just passed out. There are doctors here. They can help you. Home ground helps. I will continue to exercise, do massages, Learn how to walk again. You tell him. I'll discharge him. Tomorrow. But today we'll watch you. You know, do exercise at home. 
You can scream in pain, but exercise, and you'll get up and walk. Everything will be okay. Buy yourself the walkers first. It will be easier this way. Thank you, Dr. Nino, smile. I'm going home. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Did you buy the grapes, Polina? I've already put them on the table. It's okay, good. Wow, you even bake the cake. Sure, with the spinach. As Gleb likes, we're much alike. Okay, give him to us, boss. Welcome back. Hi, boys. They're here. They're here. Hi. 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 Home sweet home. I've never had such a party. It seems that something changed. What's with the sofa? Anything for you, boss. So it's in your best interest to start running again? I want it myself. Come on, careful. Careful. I'll put it away. Well, is it comfortable? It is. Wow, you have a lot of devices here. We thought you can't move. And you're preparing for the pole dancing. That's right. Good job. They pay a lot there. And the girls are beautiful. I'll think about it. How is our company doing? Right. We didn't want to tell you, but... Well, people from the tax office came. We had to pay a heavy fine. Sorry, we screwed up. Right, boss. Anyway, we lost that tender. Kalina sent us back a batch of sweatshirts. Lou Babina told us all to buy these sweatshirts instead of our salary. They don't even fit us, but the sweatshirts correspond to the paycheck. I thought you made them for me. Nino, what's the bill? That's not what you told me. Glab, this was a joke. A joke. Joke. We're doing good. We have an online store now. We sell our sweatshirts there. And look. The best boss. Thank you, thank you. I will try to justify it, Nino. What would I do without you? Okay, guys, enough of a job. Let's drink to Gleb. Okay. Let him be healthy. Right. Here. The best boss. Okay, bye. Bye, and less of this pole dancing. The best boss. Get better, bye. Thanks, bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Good luck. Nina, thank you very much for the party. You're welcome. Call me if you need something. You come again. If you want. If you have time. Okay, bye. Good luck. You're a good girl. Thank you. And your cake is wonderful. I practically ate it myself. That's good. See you, Ilya Sarjevich. Good luck. Bye. See, she kissed me, but not you. So marry her. You're still strong. Have a big military pension. Shut up. Are you tired, son? I wanted to say I'm dropping. But it's not funny. Have a rest. She threw you a great party. Right. Dad. Do you like her? She's a good girl. Loyal, emotional, pretty. 
I don't understand how you chose another girl. Grisha. Hi. My love. Did you miss me? You're here. I thought it was a dream. Wow. Is it for our baby? It is. How is our boy there? How is he? Did you see the doctor? Yes, everything's good. The development is appropriate to the period. Good girl. Good boy. Your dad is happy. Your mom earns something too. Really? Right. Ready. Wait. In a second, ready. Grisha. Come here. Is it for me? Sure. This is for you. Wow. Grisha. Do you like it? Of course I do. It is so beautiful. And warm. I hope it's not stolen. What did you say? What did you say, you stupid chick? Who do you think I am? Grisha, I'm sorry. I just thought of your past. Stupid. Grisha, I didn't mean it. You know how to ruin the mood. Grisha, I'm really sorry, Grisha. Take your time, careful. Dad, I'll do it. It must be the massage therapist, although we agreed at two. Hello, I thought it would be a man. Good afternoon. This is Nina's mother, Irina Ivanovna, I guess. May I? Sure, please. Yes, you're right, it's me. Hello. Hello. I'm really glad you have a great daughter. I'm Ilya Sozovic. As they say, nice to meet you. I'll make a tea. Which tea do you prefer, black or green? No, thank you. I'm not for long. This is not a negotiation. This is how we live. My dad moved here and helps me. Good thing he's a pensioner. Retired. He's a colonel. Nina helps us very much. How long are you planning on using my daughter? Sorry. I am sorry. Nina is not a maid or a nurse. She has a red university diploma. She's very smart and promising girl. And it's very selfish of you to take advantage of that, knowing that she's in love with you. It's not true. Does that satisfy your ego? Cause I don't find any other reason. Irina Ivanovna, why are you doing it? I think you better leave now. Gleb, forgive my son. I, like every mother, think of my daughter first. It is completely useless to talk about it with Nina, so I hope you have the decency. Only you can stop it. Good luck to you. Straightforward. But you know, son. I think she's right. Hi. Hi. How are things in the office? Everything's good. By the way, we might have a new client. He has a chain of gas stations with a pretty big budget. We talked and he said he would think about it. I'd like to negotiate myself. I'm sick of that apartment. Connect me via video link next time. Okay, great idea. Polina filed the quarterly report. Did you see the income? I did great job. You're great. 
We need to celebrate it together. I've already thought about it. We could go into the wild together, with the families. It'll be fun, and you need fresh air too. Nina, what air? I can barely move around the apartment. Gleb, but... Nina, have a seat. We need to talk. Okay. I bought you a yogurt. There was no strawberry one. Would you like a peach one? Thank you. Nina, you're the best woman I know. Okay. I'll never be able to do for you as much as you've done for me. I really appreciate you. You're perfect, amazing, and... I don't want to bother you. Burden you. Wait, what do you mean bother me? So a woman will come to me from tomorrow. The woman from the agency who will clean, cook, do whatever is needed. So you can have a little rest. I want you to feel a little better. Wait. So you don't need me anymore? Okay, I. There's no bread anywhere at 9 p.m. I had to run to the square, Nina. Will you have dinner with us? No, no. Thank you. I'm leaving. I'll go by Ilya Sarjevich. Nina looked upset. What did you tell her? Polina, he compared me to a housekeeper. I know, he told me that too, but if he wants only business relations, I'll give it to him. All right, Polina, I'll call you later. Thanks, bye. You know, Gleb, you shouldn't have done that to Nina. I said it as correctly as possible. What's wrong with it? You see, her cakes are care and love. They marry the woman like her. Dad, look at me. What kind of fancy am I? Don't get angry. Maybe you just can't forget Miller. Don't talk nonsense. The topic is closed. Enough of all the heart-to-heart -heart talk for today. Let's leave. You're so happy, like newlyweds. Mila, you look gorgeous. That's all thanks to my husband. Good girl, my beauty. <laughs> When's your baby due? Not soon. And the belly is pretty big. Do you remember what belly Masha had? We thought there were twins, but there was water. The delivery is cool. Have you delivered? Sure, together with Natasha. It's called partnership delivery. I took my son in my arms first. They even let me cut the umbilical cord. Those were the best feelings in my life. Listen, great idea. Can we do it? Why? What's up? No, no, I'm against it. That's interesting. You man supports you and you can cry all you want. That's nonsense. Calm down, woman. Let's drink to my son. To you and your baby. Not the last time. To you. We'll do our best. What a misfortune. Young and bedridden. Did you even get your pension? Though who can live on that pension? My late husband worked 40 years. Svetlana, don't touch anything on my table, please. I can't find anything then. 
Got it. I'm just gonna dust. So my husband. I'm trying to work here. You work. I'm not bothering you. Everybody needs money. Svetlana. You're too nervous, but I'm not upset. I can understand it. I have a nerve pill. Want one? Svetlana, have you ever tried to track how long you can be silent? One minute. Five, or better ten. We should give credit to Svetlana. She's a good cook. The pilaf is aromatic and fragrant as it should be. And I think it's not salty enough. You can't eat it. I can't stand her constant talking. Don't pick on the poor woman. Just admit that you can't do without Nina. I don't get it. Did you lose weight again? No, I've just got some sleep. How do I look? Fine. Super. Do you want to knock him, Dad? I think he won't even notice. Who are you talking about? Gleb, of course. And I meant the client. How long have you not seen him? Three weeks. Long live mobile communications and email. Well, go and leave him no chance. Whom? The client? Gleb. Right? We have designed winter and summer sets for your gas stations. They're stylish, comfortable and practical, but the main thing they are safe. The fabric is water repellent, it repels any dirt, oils, and pay attention to the samples. The fabrics are selected in your corporate colors. Well, I do pay attention to it. We can design some corporate clothing not only for your gas station employees, but also for your central and regional offices. Exactly. I see you're fast, guys. We do our best, Igor Anatolievich. It's really interesting to listen to you, Nina. And it's a pleasure to look at you. You must be selling well. You charm poor clients, and they sign a contract without looking at it. You're exaggerating, Igor Anatolievich. Can we move on? Sorry, my friends, but I have to go. But you haven't even seen the models yet, everything is thought out. I do believe you, but unfortunately, I have another meeting. Let's settle for another time. Okay, I'll call you back. In the meantime, you think about why I have to interest such a large contract to you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. He wants to kick back his interest. He's a seasoned man. I don't know. I think he's nice. You know best. What does it mean? You smiled at him so hard that your smile wouldn't fit into the screen. You know he's a very important client for us. If he signs the contract will go international. If I'm doing something wrong, smile at him yourself. Does he think I don't know how to deal with clients? 
I think it's jealousy. He's freaking out and it means something. You're jealous when you love. And I'm just an invaluable employee for Gleb and that's all. Why is he doing it? It's not hard for me to smile at Igor. He doesn't have to scold me. Nina, why are you so angry? You don't envy Gleb either. He sits in the apartment all day. You can go crazy. Ninak, where have you been? Hi, long time no see. Hi, Tolia. Hello, Antali. Irina Ivanovna, glad to see you. Check out the new design. Everything I wanted. A convertible sofa, a table, a lamp. I made it myself. Look at you. This is a house on wheels? You're so good. Right, Nina. Right, Mom. Tolia, what are you doing on Saturday? Nothing. I'm free. Any suggestions? We're having a corporate party with the guys in the wild. Okay. Do you want to come with us? It'll be very fun. I think it's a great idea. Ninak, I'm always for it. What should I do? Buy something? What's my part? You'll help me with one thing. From my heart, I'll do it. You know I like Talik very much. He's so polite, always says hello. He even carried my bags one day. And then he's single. And he's got money. He loves dogs. You have it in common. Mom, are you a matchmaker now? No, I'm just very glad you invited him to the picnic. Isn't that your bus? It's mine. Bye. Bye. Run. Here, son, it's a present. I've tried it. It's great. It suits you better. No, no, in 15, 20 years, not sooner. Here you go. Thank you. Well, you're doing great. Hello, Ilya Sarjevich. Hi. Hi, boss. Hi. Where are your things? By the way, you better take your jacket. It's cold outside. Why? Have you forgotten? We're going to the country today. Well, Fodik, how can I go? You go, you deserve it. Relax, have fun and send me some pictures. Right. The base is rented for two days. Fresh air, woods, lake, specially ordered mosquitoes for you, and the girls marinated the meat. You go, I'll bring your backpack. But, how would I go if I can't sit up very long with my bag? Don't worry, boss. Everything is settled. We have a wagon there. Hey, hello. Here we are. Hello. Boss? Get off carefully. Take your time. Hi, Gleb. Hi. We missed you so much. Hi. Okay, my friends, take it. Look at you, you're with a cane. Hi, I'm almost running. I'll take this and this. Hi. Hi. Anatoly, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. Stay, we'll go back tomorrow morning. Sure, Nina has already invited me. You know Nina? Sure, we're old friends. He's my neighbor. Go, Tolia, go.
it's very beautiful here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hey, guys, come to the table. The meat is cooked. Nina, I'll save you a seat. Thank you, Tolia. So who's he? A neighbor or a boyfriend? So how's your woman? My woman. Well, the one you hired. Svetlana, they got along well with my father. She's 63, she knows 15 recipes of pilaf. And it seems like my dad's gonna marry her. Are you joking? I never joke about such things, I mean about pilaf. You look good. You too. It's been a while and I. Hey, bosses, why are you standing there? Come here. Well, let's go. Come on. Ninak, the meat is great and the aroma is gorgeous. Wait, wait. It's hot. It's delicious, really, of course. It's not 15 types of pilaf. But, Tolia, good job, it's really tasty. So, let's go to the table. Do you need help? No, I'll do it. Good for you, Nina. Let's go, catch up, brother. Well, the tests are great. The KDG is normal too. I want to see you in two weeks. I advise you to be careful with your diet so you don't gain weight in the last few months. I'm careful with it all the time. Doctor, are you going to deliver my baby? It depends on your wish. Just don't get nervous beforehand. Our clinic is excellent. The most sophisticated equipment. You've paid for partner deliveries. Your husband will be with you. He'll help you. I don't want it. I'll give birth on my own. But I want you to deliver my baby and the paperwork to say the birth is premature. How do you imagine that? And what's the problem? I'll pay you. I'll pay you a lot. Just tell me how much. I value my place and reputation. Why did I keep this baby? Don't say so. The baby hears it all and understands. You don't know him. He'll kill me. He won't do this. You don't know him. God, I'm begging you, help me. Please don't cry. I'm begging you, help me. Everything will be fine, I promise. Drink water and calm down, you shouldn't cry. We're the first. There was a hole.
Grisha. Grisha, wake up. Your phone is ringing. Your phone. The phone is ringing. Wake up. Hello? Right, I got it. When? Can this wait till the morning? All right, I'll be right there. Work again. Yes, Milka, money doesn't grow on trees. So, we have to go. Okay, bye. Good night. Bye, guys. I'm gonna go check on my daughter before the mosquitoes bite her. Really? Good night to you all. Bye, Polia. Bye. It was a good day. It was. That's true. I better go too. I have to get up early tomorrow. I want to go fishing. I brought a spinning rod. The owner promised me to show good fishing holes. Tolia, are you coming with me? No, brother. I'll get up in the morning with you. Okay. Kolya, good luck. Bye. Good night. We'll go too. Good night. Bye, guys. Tolia, you go too. What about you? Tolia, I'll sit here for a while. What's up? Why did you invite me here? Tolia, certainly not for this. Are we hanging out badly? We ate barbecue, drink. Tolia, go inside, you're drunk. Nina, do you think I'm a drunker or what? Tolia knows his limit. I don't get it. Am I too ugly for you? You don't do karaoke. You don't want to go to the exhibition. Nina, do you want me to get the moon out of the sky for you? Don't start. What are you doing? I'll go then. Nina, we communicate normally. Or are your kids crying? Take your hands off me. Nina. What? I can marry you if you don't want without a stamp. Tolia, what wrong with you? It hurts. Don't grab me. Tolia, it hurts. What are you doing, Tolia? Stop it. Leave her, bastard. Are you crazy? Get out. She told her to leave her. Go sleep it off and get out of here in the morning. Tolia, go. I got it. I will remember it. You won't have to tell me twice. Where are you going? You're drunk. Do you want to be like me? I was angry and driving drunk. I'm still paying for it. It's not your business. I'll give it back in the morning. You're not a protector. First you hit me in the back with a stick, and then you protect me. I've known him for years, and he's done this. And my mother is delighted with him. He helped her carry her bags once. Were you scared? Glad, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I would. I thought he would start fighting, and you still have that trauma. I can protect us. What? What's up? What? What? My leg. What? I think I got bit. Shit, this is Viper. 
okay. Careful. Everything will be okay. If you start right away, you can suck out more than half the poison. How long would you be gone? For a week at most. It's gonna be okay, honey. It's gonna be all right. My love, okay, bye. But you're in charge here. Don't come out without your father. That's it. Have a rest. Everything will work out. Lie down. Okay. Your hands are so warm and strong. And your eyes are beautiful. Nina. Do you understand that you're a beautiful woman and I'm a man? So, can something happen? I agree to have a viper bite me every day. We don't need a viper for this. The Best Husband, Episode 3 The swelling on the leg is gone, but the bruise is as still there. Usually the healing takes 3-4 days. Tell Nina to get better. Sure, thank you. Goodbye. Tolia, good evening. I didn't get it. Come on, Elsa. Hi. Nina, you're in a good shape. She is. But it could have ended badly. Mom, stop it. Gleb said that a viper bite is not fatal. You should have called the ambulance. What were you thinking, Polia? Mom, enough. The most important thing is that everyone is alive and well, and Gleb saved me. Antolia could have taken you to the hospital. He seems to be a reliable man. Stop talking about Taluk, okay? I just met him outside. He didn't even come to me, didn't say hello. It's strange. What happened between you? Your Talik was drunk, that's what happened. What? He's a sportsman. Enough of it. Polia, how's your daughter? She's fine, Irina Ivanovna. She grows up, she'll go to school soon. Time is flying. And I can't wait. I really want to play with my grandchildren. Mom, you're on fire today. I start working tomorrow. No, you don't. Don't even think about it. The world will not end without you. Mother. Are you waiting for him? Well, who is it for? Delivery for you. Give it to me. Miss you. Laconic but meaningful. I hate gerberas. Not only they do not smell, they also look like artificial. Right, Polia? And I love gerberas. This is the best present I've ever had. It's fun with you girls. But I have to go. 
Goodbye, Irina Ivanovna. Nina, get better. I'll walk you to the door. At a girl, you're walking her too, right? Say hi to everybody. Bye, see you tomorrow. I can hear you. Bye. Hello, Igor Anatolievich. Ninika, hello. What would you say if we continue our negotiations? Sure, I agree. Then I'm waiting for you at the Tsar kitchen. You can go there. When? Today. Yes, I have a free time. Are there any problems? I've been on sick leave all week. Something serious? I've been bitten by the viper. But I'm almost recovered. The thing is, I'm leaving tomorrow by the end of the month. I'd like to resolve all the issues before leaving. I can call Gleb and he'll meet you. I have a counteroffer. I'll pick you up, you and I started negotiations, and we will finish them. Give me your address. Hello, Igor Anatolievich. Hello. Where did you find that viper? I know places. So. I understand it. Your leg is beautiful. It was dark, I didn't see it. You look pale. I'm tired too. I have a house in Spain. I bought it five years ago. You won't believe. I can get away and rest for only two weeks a year. I work the rest of my time. When should I live? That's right. Thank you for your time. Did you get a look at the materials I sent you? I did. Great. If you have some questions, I'm ready to discuss it again. I have everything with me. Here's the contract. The cost estimate, the sketches. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Igor Anatolievich. I really didn't expect you to sign it so quickly. Is this your biggest deal? Frankly, it is. Seven-digit number. Are you happy? Very. Are we there yet? This is not the Tsar kitchen. We should celebrate the deal. What about champagne? The bottle of chilled champagne in a sweet until morning. Sorry, but I don't drink. I should go, may I? Do I have to beg you? This is how it works. You got a good contract. I want something in return. Gleb said you'd ask for a kickback. It goes without saying. Come with me to Spain. Fresh sea air, white sand, good food. Let me out. Shit. You're gonna rot in your fancy office for a penny? Or you can make enough for the rest of your life. Don't be stupid. Think about it. The offer is valid until the morning. Hi, I thought you were having a rest. Oh, 
Well, Titson picked me up. He wanted to sign the contract before his leaving, and he has signed it, you know. Well, great. It's 9 p.m. You know, he's always busy, so I decided to use it. Well, tell me. It's interesting. Glad God. There's nothing to tell. He signed it but took it and said if I didn't sleep with him he wouldn't give it back. Bastard. I wanted so much to prove to you that I could do something on my own, but... You were right. I guess I've been acting wrong and he thought I failed. Nina, you did everything right. You did the right thing. You don't have to explain yourself to me. But it's big money. We could have closed the credit for this equipment. You did everything right. It's okay. Gleb. Milaka, I'm here, I stopped by the market to pick up some curd. How much have you eaten? Do not bend down, I will pick everything up. No, I'll do it. I want to give birth today or tomorrow while Grish is gone. Do you want to surprise him? Is it his birthday? No, did you hear about the partnership delivery? I don't want him to be present at the birth. The world has gone mad, men at the birth. That's the fashion, Mila. It also helps when you move the furniture. Furniture, so I have to move it, okay. In the meantime, I'll make you some curd. No curd, I'm sick of it. When will these contractions begin? I'll have to ask the doctor to stimulate labor, but she's so stubborn, she'll start telling me about her reputation again. Milaka, I know one tincture, it is sold in the drugstore without a prescription. It costs a penny, but they say it really helps. Well? Should I buy it? Sure. Why am I moving this furniture? I'll be right back. Okay. Good morning. Morning, honey. You're wet, that's mine. Don't go. It might be my mom or the office. I'll be quick, okay? Gleb, this is Titson. Talk to him. All right. Hello, Igor Anatolievic. Good morning, honey. I hope the reason prevails and your suitcase is already packed. My suitcase? That's right, don't bring anything. I'll buy everything for you there. I'll pick you up at 12. But what about our contract? You'll get your contract, but Spain's first. You shouldn't have refused the sweet. I had to drink French wine alone. It will be enough. Nina, I don't get it. Who is it? I'm Chernikov. Nina won't go anywhere with you. Understood? You're her protector. Well, Nina, there will be no second offer. I'll find other people, more cooperative. Listen to me, bastard. You're not gonna make any more stupid offers to anybody. I recorded your conversation, and it'll be on the desk of your bosses. And we'll see how the management reacts to the image losses of a company that has branches even in Europe. Smart. I underestimated you. Ninetka. Let's forget about this misunderstanding. 
The contract is yours. You know what? Go to hell with your contract. Gleb. You can stake it wherever you want. Gleb, what are you doing? It's huge money. How so? Gleb. Careful. Ouch. What are you doing, Gleb? Is it your makeup bag? It's all wet now. What are you doing? Will you marry me? I've been at three drug stores. I barely found this medicine. Quickly, Vera, my water's broke. It's too late now. Hello? Ambulance? We have contractions. Did you bring your passport? I forgot. Nina, what do you mean? I'm kidding. It's always with me in my purse. Those jokes? Are you still on? I'm on. And you? As always, bride. I've finished. The minimum period between application and registration of marriage takes a month. Why do we need a month? Okay, we have a service of express registration. You can use it. It will take a day, but it will be more expensive. Gleb, I have to buy a wedding dress and tell my mom. A dress one week will be enough. Yeah, yes, sure. Well, the bride agrees, the groom agrees. What will the registry office say? Let me see the dates. Calm down, take a deep breath. Push, push. Come on, keep pushing, push. I can't. It hurts. I can't. I'll die now. I know, I know. Honey, you're not the first and you won't be the last. One more time. Come on, breathe, push, push. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job. I can't. Take a deep breath. Come on. Come on, a little bit more. Breath and push, push, push. Good girl. Good job. Look at your boy. Have you picked your son's name yet? Good job. Good job. Look how strong he is. Hi, Mom. Hi. Why aren't you changing? I'm tired. Mom, did something happen? They want to close us. Nobody needs libraries. Everyone surfs online. There are few visitors, only pensioners. And that's confirmed? There's no official decision, but good people have already warned us. Mom, I'm really sorry. I really liked your library. There is no smell that can be compared to books. That's not your tablets. Mom, I have some news.
I'm getting married. Me and Gleb applied to the registry office. So it's Gleb. Were there any other options? Wasn't it here where he told you he loved someone else? Remind me when was that? Mom, thanks for not letting me forget about it. My dear child, sorry, but I'm worried about you. It's very important for me to know who I'm giving you to. To a man I love. I'm really sorry, but are you sure about Gleb's feelings? Mom, of course, I'm sure. Why would he propose to me? Well, well. Whatever you say, I'll marry him. I'm begging you. Please. Think again. Think really hard. Yes. So, did you tell her? She didn't faint. No, mom was really glad. Are you serious? Of course, I'm serious. Is there something I don't know? I'm glad that Irina Ivanovna's glad. Tell her I'll be a great son-in-law. <sighs> Nina, my father's beating me. He says he's really happy. Don't listen to this blockhead. I'm so glad for you, children. Uh -huh. Good night to you too. She said she loved that blockhead. Let's drink to you. To your new family. Okay. Mm. Who's Irina Ivanovna to me now? She's definitely my mother-in-law. My in-law, I guess. I don't know what we should. You should what? What? What about Svetlana and her 15 types of unsalted pilaf? Aromatic and fragrant. Go ahead, laugh at your father. Why are you rushing the wedding? Is Nina pregnant? Dad, what do you mean? There's no sex before the wedding. How could we? I agree. You'll become a granddad all in good time. Well, how are you? How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. I'm alive. He's a strong man. Good job, Mila. It's all over now. Did the nurse tell you how to take care of the baby? She did. Good. Have a rest. They'll bring you some food. A neonatologist will come this afternoon. Did you bring the documents? Why does it say 39 weeks? I asked you to put 32. We had a deal. I just wanted you to stay calm. I'm not going to commit fraud for nothing and risk my job. The baby was born healthy, and that's the main thing. So you decided to give up on me. Wait. Here is a good sum. Take it and do as we agreed. How am I supposed to do that? Premature babies are in separate boxes. My husband doesn't know about it. I'm begging you, help me. Should I warn all staff? Delivery, children department, all the nurses and doctors, no. And don't cry again or your milk will be gone.
principal bitch. Premature. Hi, my beloved daddy. I have a news for you. We're born. Hello, girls. Hello. Beauties. So, this is for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Take it. This is all for you. So, and, take it, girls. No, you shouldn't. Where is my Ludmila Seritskaya? Room 3. Great, I love you all. That's what a real man is. Right. Baby, hi. Grisha. My love. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Hi, my bunny. My girl, this is for you. They are so beautiful. Is he sleeping? He sleeps all the time, just like you. Can I hold him? Sure, why are you asking? He's your son too. Careful, hold his head. His head? He's so small. I'm scared. What does he look like? I don't get it. It's unclear yet. Is he okay? Yes, sure. Here. Doctor's report. All right. Well, shall we celebrate? I brought you something. What? Are you crazy? I'm a nursing mother. I can't drink. Then I'll drink alone. Grisha, take us home. What do you mean? The boy is premature. You should stay here for about two weeks. The doctors should monitor you. We can always make it home. What's up? Honey. I want to go home. You'll be there soon, baby. I found it. I'm so happy for you, Nina. We're here, right? Tell me, how was it? Gleb got down on one knee, said I love you, and gave you a ring. No. How then? Violinist on the roof, take two. Also, no. It wasn't that romantic. But that's not important, right? What do you mean? A wedding for a girl is a sacred thing. I remember we barely made it a month. Invitations, restaurant, guests, and so on. Polia, it's not important for us. Okay, it's not, it's not. Try it on. Ninika, show me the second room. One second. Are you the doctor? Yes. Can I help you? You discharge my wife with a premature baby on the fifth day after delivery? Do you think it's normal? Strange. Name. Saritske Ludmila. We had no premature babies this week, but let's see. Saritske, here. Saritske. 
birth at 39 weeks, the baby is full term. Listen, I saw the papers and my wife told me, why would she lie to me? Let me see the log. Actually, we can't be wrong. But let's see, here is Saritska, look. Saritska, baby at 39 weeks full term. Grisha, where have you been? Where's the envelope? Are you crazy or what? Are you drunk again, celebrating? Who's the father of that bastard, bitch? Grisha, what are you talking about? 39 weeks. 39 weeks. I was in a jail then, bitch. I've done everything for you, Milko, the car, the apartment. Stop yelling. You'll wake the baby up. They will come here. Let everyone know what a sucker I am and what a whore my wife is. You've been jerking me off. What the fuck did you think would happen? I was afraid to tell you. Afraid? Whore, oh, who's he? Grisha, I don't know who he is. Grisha, my love. You were in jail, I was so lonely, we met a few times, I really don't know who he is, Grisha, I'm sorry, I love you. What's going on here? I'm sorry. Shut this bastard up. How can you call a baby like that? Now listen to me, don't you dare drag it into my house, it's either me or him. Grisha, please, don't leave, Grisha, come back, Mila, calm down. Everything will be okay, what will be okay? I won't take him. What are you saying? Think. He's your baby. Thousands of women dream of a baby. You know what? Stay in the clinic a little longer. You'll have a rest and think again. And then your husband might calm down. Look. Look how peacefully he sleeps and doesn't even know what terrible things you're saying right now. What happens if you leave the baby? You gave birth to a son and you are responsible for him. Maybe an orphanage or a foster family. But we don't know who those people will be. The world is cruel. Are you hungry? Because I am. Okay, I'll cook something. No. No, no, there are fruits here. Gleb. Can we introduce our parents? Why are you looking at me? Did I say something wrong? Everybody does it. Of course we will. I'm sure my father is already rehearsing a speech. He's good. Yes, he's amazing. My mom is good too. You'll like her.
Grisha, it's me. Hi. Are you alone? Yes, I did what you told me. Just don't cry. Don't pretend to be a martyr. I should cry, Milka. You took away my son. Grisha, I'm sorry. Do you want me to get on my knees? I do. Are you serious? I am, do it. Come on. Grisha. Milka. We'll have children. Malaka. You spat on my soul, Mela. I'll give you another baby, I promise. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh, how, how, how many men have you had? Grisha, I told you there was one I don't know. Please. How can I trust you after that? How? Grisha, I'm hurt. Please don't. Am I not hurt? Am I not hurt? Grisha, I gave up a child who is five days old. What else am I supposed to do? I'm sorry, Grisha. I'm sorry, please. Grisha. Burn everything down so there's no sign of him. I never thought Zeritskaya would do that. I knew she had issues with her husband, but I had no idea what it would turn into. Her husband made a scene in the department. He was yelling at everyone. I've been working here for almost 10 years and there were no rejection yet. Allah, if you had any suspicions, it was necessary to contact a psychologist. Yes, I understand. Let me call her. I'll try to talk to her again. You do that and call the police. I was sure I persuaded her. May I? Yes. I got it. 
Thank you. Zaritskaya is here. Thank God. So you came to your senses? Good girl. Well, I think everything's gonna be okay now. Glab, what time is it? Do we have time? We have, don't make a fuss. How do I look? Well, you look great, as if you're going to the wedding. I guess that's what we are doing, it's them. Will you open? Yes, I'm coming. Hello, Ilya Sarjevich. Hello, Nina. Meet my mother, Irina Ivanovna. Nice to meet you. Come in. Hello. We drank to the acquaintance. Now I offer you to drink to the young couple, to you, Nina and Gleb. I wish you to be happy. We'll be happy. Thank you, Ilya Sarjevich. You can call me father, I'll be glad. Okay. Where are you going to live? I have for them to move to my two-bedroom apartment, and I'll stay here. How much do I need a loan? Thank you, Dad, but don't even think about it. That is your home. Really, we don't need it. We're comfortable here. There's enough space here. Irina Ivanovna, support me. This is their life. I just thought when they had children, there wouldn't be enough space here. I'll build a castle by that time. I'm a prince after all. Mom, children are not in our plans yet. Maybe in five years. That's what young people are today. First they want to get on their feet and then the kids. Right. But I wish to see my grandchildren sooner. The wish of my mother-in-law is a law for me. Mom, you'll have your grandchildren. Everything's gonna be fine. So let's drink to that. Did you invite someone else? I didn't. Me neither. I'll get it. Hello. Hello, is Gleb home? He is. Hi, Gleb. Mila, what are you doing here? And where did you get a baby? He's your son, Gleb. What? Are you crazy or are you kidding? Take him and don't have any doubts. He's yours. He was born five days ago, minus nine months. He's yours. Take him. But... Gleb. Take him. Where are you going, Mila? This is nonsense. I don't know what's going on. Is this some kind of joke? But for me, it's all clear. Nina, let's go. Come on, let's go. Nobody goes anywhere. I'll be right back. Come on. I don't know how to explain it. Mila. Mila. The Best Husband, Episode 4. I didn't catch her. She left, hold him. Yeah. 
Nina. I'll wait for you downstairs. I'll walk you out. I'll find my way out. Goodbye. Miller had always been so unpredictable, and I liked it. Damn it, sorry. I just don't know what's going on. Do you believe her? That he's yours? I'm not sure, shit. She's not picking up. What are we gonna do, son? First, I'll find a lab and do a DNA test. Right. Situation. Ninika. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Easy. Easy, easy. Maybe he's hot. Maybe. Let me. Let me help you. Gleb, she didn't leave anything at all, no mixture, no bottle. Great. I haven't learned to breastfeed yet. We should go to the store and buy something. I don't know, diapers. What else do they need? I have no idea. Only I had a little baby out of three of us, so I'll go. Though there were no diapers at that time. What, I should? Yes, hold him, here. That's right, under his back. Here you go. Come Nina down, she looks worried. Well, I'll be right back. How are you? Are you upset? Nina. Frankly, you can't rule out that he's mine. Though it's hard to believe. Why didn't she say anything before? I don't know. I don't understand her. It's my mom. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. We'll know the test result in four days. Gleb, we have a wedding in four days. I remember. It's my mom again. She's worried and... I understand. Sorry. I can't... Sorry. Milaka. It's you. It's me. You're home. Congratulations. I brought you food from the village, fruits and vegetables. Everything's from our garden. You're breastfeeding. So how's your son? Is he sleeping? Where's he? Have you been discharged and he was left in the hospital? Something's wrong? It's all right. He's healthy. Where's he then? Listen, Farah, if you want to keep working here, no more questions about the baby, especially when Grish is here, understand? No. Take it all in, throw it out. Where? Wherever you want. Anatoly. Wait. Hello? Why are you running away from me? I'm not running away. 
I forgot my cigarettes at home. Explain to me what happened between you and Nina. Well, I... Were you really drunk? I was. I had too much. I repent. So, you have to apologize. Why are you running away? Do you like my Nina? I really do. Well... Since the kindergarten, she's a good girl. With a temper. That's right. So what should you do? She should be wooed. Right. So you buy a cake and flowers and come to make peace with her. She loves Gerberas. 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 Goodbye. So did you find her? She doesn't live in that apartment anymore. I went to the restaurant, but she wasn't there too. Nobody knows anything. And her relatives, what about her parents? She said she was an orphan. I don't know whether it's true. Friends, boyfriends? I don't know, Dad. We'd only known each other a few months. And you were gonna marry her. I did. Enough. Did the baby eat? It's gonna be alright. Son, if it comes back negative, we'll call the police. Child services or whoever's dealing with it. And if not, people have nine months to get used to a thought of having a baby. And I have four days. Thoratolic, come in. Right. Flowers. A truffle cake I love, Nina. We have a guest. Unexpectedly. Good evening. Hi. This is for you. There were no gerberas. They said the roses are fresh. Gerberas? God. Stop, come on, come in. We'll drink some tea with the cake. Come in. Have a seat. Nina, this is for you. I am sorry for that. You know. It took you long enough. Usually, I don't drink. I am in sports. I told you. I got drunk in the fresh air, and I misread the situation. I'm sorry, Nina. It's okay, Tolia. I've already forgiven you. Let's get to the point. Okay, Anatoly. My mom probably thinks you're the right person to marry me, right? What's wrong? You taught me to call things by their names. So you discuss everything here, what, where it's gonna be, and I have to go. I knew it. She doesn't like me, Irina Ivanovna. I'll go. Wait. Eat the cake. You spend your money on it. <clears throat> right. <sighs> to Gleb. How are you? We're handling it.
Is there a result? No. Yes. If she doesn't come, then she's not our person. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for everything. If you go, you'll make the biggest mistake of your life. Mom, you are going to your work, so go. Go, go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Where are they? Shit, Mom. Talik, Talik, pick up the phone. Hello. Talik? Ninak, hi, glad to hear you. Hi, Tolia, save me. I need your help. Come here quickly, all right? Nina, I'll do it, but what do you need? So, Tolia? I'm not a master, Ninak. Tolia, please, hurry up. Do whatever you want. Break it, but hurry up. I really need it. Tolia, how are things? Bad. I can't do it. Shit. Quickly. Tolia, what are you doing there? Shut it up. Nina, calm down. Ten minutes of fear, and we are at the register office. If you would have told me earlier, I would have had a doll on the hood. What doll, Tolia? Can you go faster? Five minutes left. Nina, don't worry. We'll get you there. Shit. Believe me. Tolia, there's a pedestrian. Do you see where you're going? Don't worry, Nina. We'll get you there. Everything's under control. Nina. Hi. Hi.
You're so beautiful in that dress. Thanks. So you're here? Yes, I'm here. Tolia, thank you. This is a long story, I'll explain everything later. Before we go, I'd like you to read this. I got the results this morning. You're the father. I am. I want you to think if you need me. Because I want to keep my son. Yes. I understand, Gleb. I've already decided it. I really love you and want to be with you. And support you always. There's no one like you. In sure we'll be happy. Nina and Gleb. Now you are not two separate halves. But a single whole. Protect your love and friendship. Because marriage is friendship in its highest potential. Think first of your spouse. Then of yourself. Love each other for better or worse. Take care and protect your family. So shall it be. Please exchange your rings. Groom, you may kiss the bride. Grigory Pavlovich, welcome back. If you would have warned me, I would made your favorite Solienka. Tomorrow, I'm exhausted. I'll take a shower and go to sleep. So you stayed. I couldn't do it without you, Grisha. Right. You don't want to go back to your rat hole. What are you talking about? Grisha. You don't want me. Grisha. Mom? We got married. Irina Ivanovna, I know how you feel about me. But I promise I will do my best to make Nina happy. Mommy? Well, this is your choice. Grisha, do you have to go again? You will go. Not me. What do you mean? I mean it. Did you think I would forget everything after sex? You have to work to live good. Come on, get dressed. Here's a package. You'll deliver it. What is it? It's not your business. Go. Grisha, it's 3 a.m. I'm scared. You're scared? Does it make you feel better? 
It's half an hour of work and the money is yours. Come on. Go, go. I told you. Just promise me that everything will be as it used to be. You do this and then we'll see. Go. I send you a GPS coordinates. Use a map. It's all simple there. You'll deliver it and come back. Grisha, would you come with me? Do it yourself, honey. Come on. Who am I supposed to give this to? Do you have any passwords or anything? Yes, the password is the king on the asteroid. Take it and go, you stupid. They will meet you there. Go, hey, person, turn the light off. Fool. Are you there? I am. But I think someone was following me. Who? How do I know? It's dark. I couldn't see much. I'm scared, Grisha. All right. Come down. Calm down and wait. It's okay. It was me who followed you. Why? I wanted to see if you could do it. Did I do it? Great job. Great job it is. What's so funny? What a sweet leg. We'll change the socks now and we'll be warm, right? Ilyusha, wow! How strong you are, look! How he holds my finger, Gleb. Just like his granddad, you'll be a general. Ilyusha will decide who he will be, right? It must be my dad, he missed his grandson. Your granddad is here. Hi. I'll be right back. What are you doing here? To see my son. Son. Hi, honey. Hi. Your mommy brought you so many things. Ilya doesn't need anything. He has everything. So you're Alusia. Why are you being rude to me? I've been carrying your son for nine months. Gleb, have you seen? Mila? Who's she? Gleb, what is she doing here? Nina is my wife. Your wife? Mila, give him to me. Please give me the baby. I remember you. You were at my restaurant. So you made him marry you? Give me the baby. Stop it, Mila. Okay, okay. I didn't come here to fight. 
I want to register my son. I need the paperwork for Ilya. I called you a hundred times, sent you one thousand texts. What's the rush? You'll register him. If you don't have the will and time to do it, just write a power of attorney. I'll do it myself. I see nothing has changed here. Even the creaking bed is still here. Does she keep Alicia awake? Don't change the subject, Mila. How quickly you forget me. But you said you love me. You told me a lot of things too. Gleb, make her leave. Mila, if you want to hurt me, you won't do it. Give him to me. Aren't you jealous? It was in the past. But it was so beautiful. Give me my son. Will you write a power of attorney? I'll think about it. When you do, we'll talk. Get out, you're not welcome here, and take your bags with you. All the best. It's okay. Your mom is here. It's okay. Gleb, what was she doing here? Will she keep coming here as if she lives here? I'm sorry she upset you. You won't see her here anymore. You're the most important woman in my life. And you're the most important man in my life, you and Alusha. Grisha, hi. Listen, do you still love me? Let's have a romantic evening tonight? No reason, I just want to. Come home earlier. Hi, honey, where are you? Everything's ready. When will you come? I don't know. I'm working late. I'm waiting for you. We'll sit and talk. Drink some wine. We'll talk about love, Miller. I don't have time for you now. Got it. Bye. Wow. Orange juice, toast and omelette. It's beautiful. Thank you. Wait, I must take a photo of this to show my mom. I promised her I would have the best husband. I still hope to get a medal. 
Yeah. I'll get it. Elsa, hi, hi, good girl. Hello, how are you? He's sleeping. How's the baby? He's fine. And Gleb will get back to work on Monday. And you? I'll be with Alusha. Don't you want to hire a babysitter for your son? Take care of your wife. We were just talking about that. Will you have breakfast with us? No, I had it at half past five thanks to Elsa. When I was walking her I fell and I skinned my arm. I'm sorry, Mom. Irina Ivanovna, I'd like to ask you not to bring Elsa here anymore. We have a baby. Actually, I brought you Elsa. I don't have the strength to take care of her anymore. I have to walk her in the morning and in the evening. What did we agree on when we took the dog? That I will take care of it myself. So you do it. I have a job. I hope you remember that your mother's birthday is on Saturday. I remember. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Easy, easy. Thank you, thank you. It's okay. Here. Where are you going? Come with us. No, Orina Ivanovna didn't invite me. I think it would be awkward. Don't say so. I'm sure she'll be glad. We'll eat and drink, we'll see how my mother-in-law can cook. I'll drive us home. I won't drink. Please? Son, that's my present. I don't drive much now, you need it more. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Mommy, Mom, happy birthday, be healthy, loved and happy. Thank you. To you. Thank you. To you. Irina Ivanovna, I got the courage to buy you a gift. I don't know if you like it, but I hope so. It's French. Thanks. Are there any others? Right. They recommended it highly, said it is for mature women. Well, I guess I am mature. Dad wanted to say... He wanted to say something. This is on you. Let's eat. Right. You made so many tasty things. I barely made it. The boss called us on the carpet again. They want to shut down mom's library. There are no readers at all. Are there any new readers? To Talia and Zania's grandma. But it doesn't help. Do they really want to shut you down? At least they warned us. And I will be retired. What do you mean? I thought you went over 40. 41. You better eat Ilya Sarjevich, isn't it tasty? Hello, I'd like to make a reservation for 10 p.m. Preferably at the winter. Nay, Mila. Thank you. Wow, you look great. It's all for you. 
I made a reservation at the restaurant. What's the occasion? Our anniversary. Five years. Really? Don't tell me you didn't know. Where's my gift? What gift? Mine. Yours? Your gift? Right. Close your eyes. Don't peek. I know you. Are you ready? I am. Give me your hands. What is it? Useful book. Criminal law? Yes, you need it in the future. Very funny. You can keep it. <laughs> Mila, what's up? Don't be upset. It's okay. I have a gift. If I have... Are you ready? Give me your hand. Grisha, what the fuck? A gift. And where's my bracelet? This is your bracelet? No, the one in a velvet case. I saw it. What? Did you go through my bag? Grisha. Who was that bracelet for? If you do that again, I will cut your hands off. Understood. I can't hear you. Understood. Here. It came with the gift. Grisha. What about the restaurant? Grisha. Get this thing off me, Grisha. Excuse me for asking, but where's Nina's father? He disappeared when Nina was five years old, and I have no idea where he is now. I'm a widow. It's done. Evaluate the job. Your socket is ready. You're a master. Five minutes and it's done. It's been sparking for two years. Can I fix something else? Tell me, I can stop by tomorrow or... I'm free. Elias Sarjevich. If you're gonna go after me... I don't need it. Have a seat. Drink your tea with a cake. Help yourself. But why? I really don't feel like washing men's socks. You know, I do my own laundry. Welcome to the new pizzeria. Hurry up. Monthly promotion. Price is reduced. Third pizza is free. Thank you. Welcome to the new pizzeria, monthly promotion. Price is reduced. Son, tell me where Irina Ivanovna's library is. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Grandmaster. Hello. The Whites are winning. It's not clear yet. How long have you been sitting here? Aren't you tired of your opponent? Sarjevich, do you have another offer? Listen, would you mind to get a free pizza? Do you need help? I do, Mikhailovich. So where can I get it? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello? I want to be registered at your library. Sure, I'll do it now. Elias Sarjevich, why do you do it? I want to help. I think I made it very clear. I do remember about the socks. 
Do they register at the library here? Thank you. Come on in. Sarjevich. Sorry, but we came together. What does it mean? Well, you need readers, don't you? People are waiting. Register them. Zeneca, give me some forms. Please split into two lines. Come here. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Here you are. Who ordered pizza? Me? It's not a canteen here. Right. We know that. Friends, neighbors, who has already been registered, take your pizza and go out. Thank you. Thank you. Bon appetite. Irina Ivanovna, this is for you. Will you not end up becoming broke? Every third pizza for free. You're so wasteful. Is that a rebuke or a compliment? I haven't decided yet, Irina Ivanovna. Pizza is getting cold. It must be tasty. What time do you finish work today? Irina Ivanovna, I'm letting you go right now. Okay, Elias Sarshevich, you can walk me home today. I'll wait outside. He's a great man, take him. Please follow that car. The Best Husband, Episode 5 You bastard. I knew it. Drive around. Pull over. Mila, are you crazy? Are you following me? Did you buy a bracelet for her? Get out, bitch. Get out. Calm down. I'll tear her hair out. She's my bookkeeper. Your bookkeeper. Should I believe it? I don't give a damn. Go home mad. And you? I'm going to a bank. Bastard. Go home. Stupid. Well, Ilya Sarjevich, thank you for walking me home. And special thanks for your idea with your friends. It was beautiful. Goodbye. 
Irina Ivanovna. I noticed you have a stool in the kitchen wobbling and the tap is leaking. Really? I'll call a master tomorrow. If you trust me, I can try to do it myself. Well, no harm in trying. Let's go. But it doesn't mean anything. Of course. Yes. What is it? Elsa place. Elsa. She wants to walk. It's 2 a.m. It happens, Gleb. Okay, Elsa, we'll go now. That's all we need, sleep. I'll walk her myself. Nina? Nina? Gleb, let's sleep. Nina, this isn't good. Sorry, we have a baby. And there's Elsa's fault, drooling, dirt everywhere. Gleb, I've known Elsa for seven years. I took her as a little puppy. I love her, she's my family, how can I live without her? Not our family. Sorry, I work hard at work, you work hard at home with a baby. And that dog. What do you suggest? I don't know. Think. Mom, hi. Hi. Can Elsa stay with you for a while? What do you mean for a while? Until Ilyusha grows up? Mom, please. No, no and no. I explained everything to you last time. Mom, please. Me and Gleb started fighting. If you're already fighting over a dog, what happens next, honey? Okay, I got it. Sorry. Please, wait. No offense. How are you doing anyway? It's okay. Bye. I must be too strict with my daughter. I think you all... That's mine. Thank you. Yes, Nina? Hello, Ilya Sarjevich, are you busy? Well, a little. Can you babysit Ilyasha? I have to go away on business. Sure, of course. I'll be there. Thank you. I have to help your daughter. Mm -hmm. no. Yes, because I'm very bad and you're very good. Don't talk bad about you. I don't understand how it could happen between us. I don't know what got into me. Not into you, but into us. Feelings have no logical basis. I didn't think I could get carried away, but it's all your fault. You're an incredible woman.
see you tonight. What do you mean? I haven't fixed your stool yet. Elsa. Elsa, honey, I'm so sorry. I love you so much, I will definitely come back for you. It's not for long. I love you. Did you buy the whole store? Is there anything left on the card? Or your bookkeeper will scold you. Where do they do such bookkeepers? Aren't you tired? I am. Maybe I should be a bookkeeper too. Wow. What? Where does this come from? Right. Your bookkeeper must have forgotten it. Come on in. Come on, come on. As you see, living conditions are good. There are no neighbors yet. Two meals a day, walk. If she needs a veterinarian, we will provide him. How long are you gonna keep your dog here? How long is it possible? It depends on your financial capabilities. Here is the full price list. Elsa is a family dog. I've never left her anywhere. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. All right, it's not all right. Bastard. What are you looking there for? She's your lover. Stop lying me. What do you want? I want truth. The truth is I am a normal man and I want to relax sometimes. I have the right to it, yes. I like beautiful women. So she isn't the only one. How many? I didn't count. My math is so bad. You sleep with prostitutes, and then you make up with me? What makes you better? A stamp in the passport? Grisha, we already talked about it. You promised that everything would be as it used to be. You don't like something? Get out, out. Grisha. Hi, Gleb. Remember when you asked me to go kayaking and show me that beautiful waterfall? Gleb, I feel terrible. Irina Ivanovna. Irina Ivanovna, open the door.
Irina Ivanovna, I know. I know you're home. Open the door. Elia Sarjevich, go away. Have I offended you? No, but don't come anymore. What happened is a mistake. Don't say so. I am not incredible at all. I am the most ordinary not young woman. I know better. I reopen, please. And we'll talk as adults. Exactly, as adults. Let's be honest, none of this will work out. Please don't come here or to the library again. Let's pretend nothing happened. We'll be just parents of our children. That's it. I need nobody. Why aren't you sleeping? Aren't you tired? I can't sleep. Nina, let's hire a babysitter. I will be easier for you. You can go to work again. Glab, I told you no babysitter. Ilya is still small. I can't trust him to another woman. Well, I offered. Thank you. You know, Vadik asked me to go fishing Saturday. Will you let me go? Sure, go. Nina, I understand you're not sleeping because of Elsa. Do you think I'm wrong? Yes, I do. What do we do? I don't know, Gleb. Yes, I'm going down, Vodik. He's here. I have to go. Okay. Thank you. Call me. The connection will be there. See you. Hi. Hi. Make yourself comfortable. You can even sleep. We'll buy worms and go because I forgot about them.
Are you okay? <sighs> Vodik, pull over. Where are you going? I guess the fishing is cancelled. I have to go somewhere else. Go alone. That's all the fishing. Are you cold, honey? It's okay, we're going home. We'll eat and go to sleep. Yes, honey, yes. Elsa? Elsa? Darling, good girl. Come here, I missed you. Yes, Elsa. Gleb? Elsa? You know, I thought if she was part of our family, she should live with us. Thank you. Gleb, you'll love her. You'll love her for sure. Elsa. I'm so glad. My good girl, Elsa. Hi. Hi. Let's play. If you're not in a hurry. With pleasure. Black again. I don't care. And where's everybody? Why aren't they here? Are they ill? In your library. And why not go? It's warm there. Fresh newspapers are free. They give tea there. Here. Sorry. Yes, son. Dad. Are you busy tonight? No, I'm not. Can you babysit Alicia? With pleasure. Till the morning. I want to surprise Nina. How? Dad. Can't your father ask? Okay, surprise is surprise. I'll be right there. Thank you, Dad. Sorry, Mikhailovich, extra duties. I know, job. Ilya Sarjevich, I'll go, you know where the mixture is, the diapers are there. What if he wakes up at night? We'll be back by then. Gleb said that it was an all-night surprise. What do you mean? I blurted out, but don't tell him about it, okay. Okay, I wonder what he is up to. If he wakes up, you can give him some water, but usually he sleeps well till the morning. Nina, I'm definitely an experienced granddad, but all night. No, I understand. I'll tell Gleb that and we'll come back earlier. No, that's not the thing. Maybe you could call your mom and she'll come here. It will be safer together. Yes. Sure, I'll call her. I'm sorry to pry. But is there a second grandfather? My father? I guess he is somewhere. I don't remember him well. I was small when they divorced. But why? Irina is a beautiful woman. She is. You should have seen her when she was young. Everyone turned around as she walked. But she didn't pay attention to anyone. She loved dad, it was hard time, they needed to earn money, dad went to work and never came back. How so? Mom found out that he found another family there and had a baby. He didn't help us with money. 
So my mom had to do everything herself. She was studying at the time. Okay, sorry. I have to go. I'll call mom. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. All right. Goodbye. So, mom, do you agree? Yes. But you know it will be hard for him to take care of the baby all night. He's very shy. He'll never call you and ask for help. And I think he's a little bit afraid of you, so don't hurt him. All right, great. Mom, thank you. I love you. Bye, all right. Ilyusha's in good hands. Double protection. Where are we going? This is the end of the city. Have patience. You'll see soon. Now close your eyes and don't peek. Can you give me a hint? Never. Try to guess. Okay. I closed them. Open your eyes. Where are we? What is it? Whose house is this? Do you like it? I do. It's beautiful here. Welcome. Glad. I'm surprised. Wow. This is so beautiful. A living room. A fireplace. Great. I bought this house for you, me and my son. And Elsa, of course. You bought it? A friend was going abroad and selling it urgently. I've already given him part of the sum. Then we'll have to sell the apartment. And for the rest, I will take a loan. Glab, it's very expensive. Don't worry, we'll pay it off. The company is doing very well. Let's go. I'll show you around. Wow, what a view. I've dreamt of it my whole life. I knew it. Because I work as a part-time psychic. Thank you. And the furniture stays here. You can change everything. No, no. I like everything. It's so cozy here, really. Thank you. Let me show you the second floor. Let's go. Here you are. He's sleeping. And you were afraid. Though you are a real colonel. Lieutenant Colonel. And I wasn't afraid. Oh, yeah. Then who asked Nina to make me come? Not me. I'll call her and figure it out. Stand down. Why should we bother our children? That's right. We won't bother them. But you can go. I can't. I promised my son. I can't go too. I promised Nina to stay here too. Well... Then if we both can't... Let's have a rest. 
Where? Here, together. Yes. No, I'd rather sit on the couch all night. Okay, all right. The bed is yours. To us. You are the best husband. Don't praise me too much. Irina Ivanovna, why do you think I can hurt you? Elias Sarshevich, no one can hurt me anymore. My life hardened me. Why can't you accept the idea that you can love at all age? Love? Do you hear yourself? We used to have our children near us, so we lived for them. But they have their own family now and they are happy. And we have time to live for ourselves. For each other. I think we have already discussed this question. Sure, I remember our conversation about washing socks. Not just about that. Also about the stool that I successfully fixed myself. And all the rest. And you're a tough woman. Are you happy? Very. I feel the same. Is it possible? I guess it is. Look who it is. Wow, my beloved husband. And you're still blooming. You could have called me and asked how I had been doing. Hello, how are you? Terrible. Grisha, you didn't even leave money for the housekeeper, let alone me. I have no money for gas. You're going to earn it now. Get ready. Again? And what is it this time? Your job is to come give and go. Do it. Я не понял. 
I don't get it. I don't get it. What part of comp given go didn't you understand? Just go. Come on. Fuck. Grisha. Are you waiting for me? Hello? Grisha, there's a homeless guy outside my car. What should I do? Grisha, I'm scared. Come on, start. It hurts. It hurts. Milaka, take the bill for the apartment. They've just brought it. Are you crying? Why are you crying? Vera, go out. Asshole bastard. You sit here and drink. Where did you send me? So I can get fucking killed? Calm down. Who needs you? Calm down. I was so scared. So drink. I won't drink. I said... I said drink. Baby, you did it. Why are you so worried? It's okay, nothing happened. Here's your compensation for the stress. Fuck your compensation. I won't deliver anything again. Mila. Come here, darling. I love you so much. Grisha. I'm serious. I can deliver money, but not drugs. Shut up. Who asked you to look into the package? Listen. I don't want to go to jail like you. And don't get me involved in your criminal business. So this is it. Right. Teach your girlfriends, and I'm leaving. Leaving? Grisha. I'll show you now. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I hate you. Vera, call the police. Are you threatening me? With the police? Don't do it. Get out of here. Hello? Yes. Yes, I'll be there. But in a while, okay. All right. Got it. If you open your mouth, you die. That goes for you too. Milaka. My poor baby. I did everything for him. I gave up my job, endured his mistresses, gave the baby away. What did you think was the reason? That was not Grisha's baby, Pharaoh. You shouldn't have given the baby away. Bring me my phone. 
I'm in the emergency room, Mila is getting stitches. That's how it is. You should have seen her face, it's just a bloody mess. Why are you silent? I couldn't leave a beaten woman alone. I hope soon. Okay, bye. How are you? Better? It hurts. My whole body hurts. Look what that bastard did. Why did he beat you up? It doesn't matter, Glav. This is sick. He was different before the prison. Prison? I got it. Great. Why are you looking at me like this? You think for whom I traded you? That's not what I'm thinking. Whether he's your husband or not, you should report him to the police. This cannot continue. I don't know, Glav. You don't know? Are you kidding? Go get the certificate of the beating. They wrote something here. I don't know. I think that's what we need. Let's go to the police. You'll file a report. I'll file it. And what's next? Should I go back to him? Well, do you have someone to go to? No. Okay, we'll figure it out. Their working day must be ended. There's no one here. What do you mean? The police are open around the clock. Are you afraid? I... I can go with you. No, I'll do it. Yeah. Nina, I really don't know what to tell you. I have to bring Miller to our house. What do you mean? I know you don't like it as well as I do. But Miller's state is terrible. It's a pity to look at her. She has nowhere to go. Her husband, bastard, almost crippled her. Don't be jealous, Nina. I told you. She doesn't mean anything to me. Glab, do what you want. So, did you find a bathroom? I did. Can I ask you for some water? You sure you don't need help? Thank you. What did the police say? Do you think anyone's gonna want to figure it out? There are a lot of battered wives no one wants. You have to leave him. I know. Where to? He'll find me anywhere. Then you have to leave the city. I'm thinking about it. I see you have another car. I used one again. Don't you have money? 
I really don't have money. This is my father's car. I scratched mine. What happened? I was in a car accident after one conversation on the roof. I'm sorry. This is our house. We live here now. Wow, cool. We just moved here. And you said you had no money. It's true. It's all in the circulation. I had to take a loan. I helped to pay it off quickly. So your company is doing well. I'm not complaining. Gleb, I am sorry. But Mila cannot stay in our house. I don't want. I just can't stand her here. Pardon the intrusion. The Best Husband, Episode 6 Pardon the intrusion. Do you want to eat tea, coffee? Tea, please. Thank you. May I have a seat? Yes, sure, sure, Mila. He's so big. And his hair became lighter. He's beautiful. Does he get sick? It could go either way. I understand you're uncomfortable with me being here. But I have nowhere else to go. It's true, Gleb offered me. But if you tell me, I'll go. There's a room upstairs, you can sleep there. Thank you, Nina, I guess. Right, Nina. If you want to take a shower, the bathroom is there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Really. What he did to her is terrible. I can't believe a man can abuse a woman like that. You can't call him a man. I'm glad I have you. And I wanted to kick her out, I even prepared the speech. But then I saw her and took pity on her. Because you're a great person. Thank you.
Come on. Come on, come on. Step, step. Wow, you almost did it, Gleb. Look at him. Come on. Come on, one more step. Step, come on. Cool. Great job. Come to me. You're a man. He's great. Gleb, what about Ilyasha's documents? When I saw her beat up, I forgot why I was here. How long will she stay with us? One, two days. No more. She was going somewhere. Good morning. Sorry, I overheard you talking about the documents. As soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna go home, get a certificate, and we can register the baby. That's great, Miller. Why did you wait so long out of spite? Glad you wouldn't say so if you knew my situation. My husband controlled me completely in everything. My messages, my calls. I was scared to say too much because he was putting his hands on me. Why did you tolerate that? Because I loved him. A woman always hopes to the last. Take him. Nina, you might not understand it because your glove is completely different. You're lucky to have him. And he's lucky to have two. Eat Miller. Have the police called yet? Did you give them your number? Sure. I don't hope for them. Grish is always on the road. It's very hard to catch him. Yes. Did you throw her out? I didn't. I knew it. I should have come. But why? For God's sake, Nina. Why? Not now. Is she around? Yeah. What about him? We're having breakfast. That's how it starts. And then you'll find them in the same bed. I can't talk right now. Listen to me for once. I know what I'm talking about. Ira, you'll make a hole in the table. It's nothing. This table will stand for a hundred years. Unlike me. Is it your daughter again? She's an adult. She's already married. You understand nothing. Good morning. Hello? You're the one I need. Unexpectedly, but pleasantly. Do not rejoice before time. Sainia. We are. We are out of tea. Would you go to the store, please? I was going to do that during my lunch break. Zainia, please, do it now. All right. Do you know what your son did? No, but I guess you'll tell me now. He brought his mistress to the house. Sorry. Mila. She now lived there. How do you like it? And my poor daughter tolerates it because she loves him very much. Do something about it. Talk to him. I don't believe he would do that. So I'm lying. No, no, listen, I didn't say that. 
but I think we have to figure it out. But it's still a fact. If you won't talk to him, then I'll do it. And why did you come? I told you not to come. Here. Two tickets to Verity. You love him. Who? Verity. How do you know? I saw a lot of discs at your birthday party. I can't go. Ilya Sarjevich. I'm home. Miller. Milko. Are you still upset, Vero? Where are you? My husband's calling. Give me the phone. Gleb, maybe they'll figure it out themselves. Yes, Gleb Nina's right. Okay, let the police deal with him. I don't want to see or hear him. Have you seen my Miller? I see everything, Grigory Pavlovich. That's my job. She left yesterday at about 6 p.m. Six. She put the hood over her head, slipped past me and didn't even say a word. She had a guy with her. What guy? Young and handsome. He hold her hand and drove her away. By what car? Black passenger car. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always at your service. I'll try to come back earlier. I'll go. Bye. I was wondering if there are any buses going into the city. I have to see a doctor. Today? You didn't tell me. I did. You probably forgot. You can call a taxi. I'd like to, but I don't have money. I ran out of house and... Okay, I'll give you a ride. Let's go. Gleb, can we stop by the pawn shop? I pawn my ring. Okay. Here, let's go. Thank you. I really liked your place. The house is beautiful, the forest. I want Nina and my son to have the best things. Yes, Gleb, you're great. And I'm stupid. All this could have been ours. It happened the way it did. And it's only my fault. Come on. Gleb. Thank you very much. I'm just thoughtful, so don't look for something that's not there. Come on. 
I remember how much you loved me. You were crazy. And all I remember is that you didn't love me. That's not true. I really loved you. That was why you didn't tell me you were married. You never came and called me when I was in the hospital. I was waiting for you at first. Glad I am sorry. You gave up my son as if he was an unnecessary thing. Glad my husband made me. I couldn't do anything, but there's nothing between us. That's true. I am married now and the subject is now closed. You married her to forgive me. She can be all the good and kind. Enough. But they love not for that. Enough, I said. We made a lot of mistakes. Let's correct them. You have to go, Mila. Please wait for me. Yes. Is Mila living with you now? How do you know? Irina Ivanovna told me, Dad, it's not like my mother-in-law told you. There are circumstances. Do you realize this is gonna destroy your family? Dad, do you believe me? As long as your wife believes you. You can't trust men at all. You have to check them. Should I spy on him? Not spy but control the situation. Trust but verify. I check my husband's phone regularly. Calls, messages, emails, you do that too. But that's not right. You're too honest. So keep on worrying and not sleeping at night. Where are we going? To the hotel. The doctor said it'll all be gone in a week. Great. Hello, we need a room. Good afternoon, did you book? No. You need a room with one or two beds? With one. I'll see what I can do. It's nice here. Okay. Why are you standing there? Hug me. Blab, you're so tender, not like Grisha. Mila, you seem to have misunderstood me. I rented this room just for you. What do you mean? You're not coming back to my house again. Blab, wait. Are you leaving me here alone? I paid for this room for seven days in advance. Gleb, come on, please, Gleb, Gleb. That's all I can do for you. Don't leave me, please, Gleb. Here, these. I don't know. My wife said something about knitting. That's right. Okay. Just please, be careful and return them in time, okay? It's insulting, Orina Ivanovna. I'll go to the store and then I'll check on Sojevich.
Ilya Sarshevich? Right. What happened? It's his heart. They even called an ambulance. He's resting home now. When did it happen? Today. Do you want me to say hello to him from you? No. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Today was a big day. Clients, contracts. And where's Mila? I took her to the hotel. Hotel? Yes, I've seen how hard you can bear her presence. And your mom made a huge scandal for my dad. And I thought, why do we need all that tension? Will you feed your husband? Yes, sure. I'll warm it up. Thanks. I'll go to the shower. Okay. Thank you for everything you did for me. I will be waiting for you forever, Mila. Hello. Hello, Orina Ivanovna. How did you find me? Ilya Sarshevich, you're registered in my library? Right. I just didn't expect to see you. I heard you were ill. A little. So may I come in? Or maybe you're not alone? Sure, come in. Thank you. This is for you. Yeah. Let me take your jacket. Right. May I come in? Of course. What were you doing at the hotel? What kind of question is that? I will be waiting for you forever. You went through my phone. I did. Great. It showed up on the phone. And you read it, Nina. Do you realize this is totally out of line? Why did you delete it? You didn't want me to know about you. I don't want to keep some rubbish on my phone. And there's no us. I didn't expect you to act this way. I've lost my appetite. How are you feeling? You look pale. It's nothing. So the ambulance came. Were you worried about me? As about any other, my reader. And you visit every one of them. Admit that you care about me. Don't say nonsense. Ilya Sarjevich. I feel guilty for yelling at you, letting my emotions run wild, sorry. I'm just really worried about my daughter. I know. I think Gleb has taken care of it. Yes, thank God. It's clean enough here for a single man. 
I'm used to order since the army. I'll make you some tea. Yes. Or no, can I have coffee if you have one? Coffee and cigarettes. You should stop it. You should protect your vessels. You're such a bus girl. A woman came to visit you, and you're talking about her vessels. Right. Coffee. Okay. If you want, I can cook you something. No, thank you. It's enough that you have come. Have you tried Irish coffee? No. Brown sugar coffee and a little whiskey. Though I'm out of cream, I think it will be delicious that way too. And then you can have a sip of cold water. Thank you. It's tasty. And whiskey makes me a little dizzy. Are you trying to seduce me? Yes, Irina. Here are the tickets to Verdi. You glued them? No. I have no glue, so I bought new ones. What do you think about it? I think I would love to go to Verti with you. If there are children, I just came to see you. You just came to see me or not? Go, or else they will think God knows what. Like what? Just go. Vera, hi. Milaka, baby, how are you? Thank God you called. I didn't know what to think. Your phone was off. I'm okay. I turned it off so Grisha wouldn't find me. Vera, listen to me carefully. I need you to go to my apartment, take some money and clothes and bring them to me. I'll text you a safe code and address. I have nothing here. Mila, I'm so sorry, but I can't do it. What if Grigory Pavlovich find me there? He would say I'm a thief and kill me. I'm so afraid of him. Don't even ask. A coward cow. Hello. How are you, darling? Wait. I'll feed you. I brought you some cutlets and your favorite pilaf. I thought you'd never come. You were supposed to come at 4 p.m. How could I not come to you, my dear Ilya Sarjevic? I'm a little late. Oh, a spot. I just washed it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Fetlana. She doesn't let me starve. And this is Irina Ivanovna. My, uh... My in-law. Oh, the relative. And I thought Ilya Sarjevic has an affair. You know how many avaricious women there are. He has his own apartment, a good pension, and he's a strong, handsome man. Svetlana. I'm so sorry you. Please take it and go home. Thank you very much. How can I go? I have a train tomorrow morning. I'll stay here tonight like the last time. I'll go. That's not what you think. I don't want to encroach on good pension and handsome man. 
Ireka, listen, Ira, don't ruin it. Last time Svetlana washed my windows and twisted her ankle. So she stayed overnight. And you treated her a night. What about Overti? Eat your pilaf with the cutlets. And please don't put stains anymore. Don't be so cheap. Granny, I have to pay for my studying. What do you call studying? Showing off. Actor, you better go to the law or computer school. You're not smart enough to do it. That's it. Elaine Delon. Who? Ignoramus. What do they teach you in a theater school? Kiss me and go. See you. Bye. Milaka. Have you seen this people's artist? He pulls money from me, give me, give me. But all to no avail. Well, who knows? Is my husband home? I can't see his car. Grigory Pavlovich left in the morning. Thank you. Are you sure he left? Did you see? Why do I need my eye? I'm sure. Grigory Pavlovich. Where are you going? So you're home. That old bitch lied to me. Grisha. Right. You had enough. Sorry, I was drunk. But you're guilty. Never contradict me. I don't care. I'm leaving you. Don't be a fool, Milka. I said I'm sorry. Here, take it. Do you like it? You love it, right? You do. Keep it. I'm filing for divorce. What divorce? I'll show you the divorce. Grisha, please, let me go. Your mind, you think I know nothing. I saw you leaving with a man. Who is he? How long have you been cheating on me? I didn't cheat on you, Grisha. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm asking you. What's his name? Grisha, it hurts. Name? Tell me the name. There's nothing between us. I can't hear you, name. Glad. Surname? Chernikov. Okay. Now listen, I'll take your phone and your keys. It's 11th floor, you won't go anywhere. You'll be cooking now instead of very... Bitch. It's great here. Pine trees, fresh air. You'll like it here. Have you seen the river? Nina, here you all. Hi, Gleb. Gleb, meet. Hi. Hi, Grisha. Your potential future neighbor. Nice to meet you, Gleb. Gleb, did you know the house next door was for sale? Really? I've never heard it. It was recently put up for sale, and I want to know about every rock that's there, water supply, power outages. And meet the neighbors. Well, that's smart, Nina. Bring me some tea, please. Okay, will you watch him? Yeah, have a seat. We don't have problems with water. But there are power outages sometimes, so it's better to get a generator. What else are you interested in? I'll try to help you. You've already helped me. What do you mean? 
How long have you been sleeping with my wife? Her name's Miller. So you're the husband? How long have you been fucking her? A year? Two? Did you give her that baby? Now, you want to dump him on me? Get out of my house. Grisha always pays the bills. Elsa. Elsa, what did he do to you? I told you, you shouldn't have come with me. What do you mean? If it wasn't for Elsa, who knows what would happen? Yeah. You shouldn't have let a stranger into your house. As it turns out, he's not such a stranger, he's Mila's husband. I'm not sleeping with her, if that's what you want to know. The surgery was successful, but she lost a lot of blood. She's still weak. Let her stay here for a few days. And then you'll take her safe and sound. Okay, we'll leave her here and pay you as much as you say. I want her to have all the best. Because she's part of our family. We'll do our best. I have a job to do. See you. Thank you. Thank you. We need to file a report on Grisha. Let the police deal with him. Right. When will you do it? Today. You need to make it quick. I wish you won't let me down. You're insulting us. Good boy, it's good boy. Shit. I have to call the fire department. Hello? Hello, fire department? It's Chernikov. It's security. Your warehouse is on fire. What? What do you mean? Give me the hose.
Maybe the shirt circuit, the building is old, the wiring is bad, and I think it's an arson. No, who needs our sweatshirts? Two more warehouses burned down nearby. Maybe we were accidentally set on fire. Maybe, thank you. Gloves here, and Nina's with him. Hi. 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 It's terrible, isn't it? The materials for our next order have burnt down, as well as all finished products for the last month. So to say that we have a problem is to say nothing. I told logistics to send the goods, but they wanted to do it later in the week. We wanted to save money. I didn't know. You better find a decent warehouse. It was a normal one. That's not what this is about. We have to figure out how to handle it. But him, try to explain everything to the clients and delay the deadline. I'll do my best. Someone will understand our situation, but someone will refuse. They can't even impose a fine. I'll take care of the most troubled customers. But we need to sew and ship faster if we work overtime and without days off. In six months, I think we'll get to the bottom of it. Thank you. Get to work. Gleb, we could sell the house to close the loan. Nina, it's out of the question. We can do this. Good afternoon. Gleb's not here. I know. He called me and asked me to move here for a while. He's worried about his child's and Nina's safety. Nina also asked me to stay here, so don't bother yourself, especially since there's only one guest room in the house. It's okay. I'll sleep on the mat in the hallway. I think the danger is exaggerated. Are you serious, knife attack? When? Nina didn't tell me anything. She should have. And how are you going to protect us? <clears throat> Irina Ivanovna, take a deep breath. This is a registered award weapon. Only for self-defense. Come in. Enemies, business rivals, debts, what can you say? I have no debts, rivals. We don't have that level of sales to get to it. Okay. Personal conflicts. There was one, a couple of days ago with Zaritsky. What conflict? He came to my house and threatened me. He got into a fight, scared my wife. I wrote everything in the statement. By the way, that Zaritsky is your client. He was in jail, I don't know on what charges. But please check him. We'll do it. The Best Husband, Episode 7 Do you want to run away to your gleb? Enough, he has a family, a child. Whose child? I know you took your baby out of the hospital. Where's he? What do you want from me? To beat me again? Let's go for a ride, come on.
Where did you took me? Not to a restaurant. I see it. What is it? Hold still. What's up? Let me out. Calm down. Let me out. I said. You like torturing me, don't you? I do. I like you, Milka. I have always liked you. Forever. Let me out, I said. Don't get mad. Calm down, I'll let you out, my princess. At least something. It's time to get some air, madam. Stop, where are you going? Do you like it? What is this dump? Where did you take me? It used to be your ex-lover's warehouse. Now he has big financial problems, so he has no time for you now. So it was your job, right? Right. I'm sorry about Glad's warehouse. Are you deaf? You're crazy. Look at yourself. Hello. Uh, when? I got it. I'll call you back. Where are you going, Milka? Where are you going? Don't touch me. I hate you. Don't touch me. Come here. Where did she go? There. I looked everywhere, it's quiet. If anyone knocks or calls, call me immediately and I'll handle it. Ninika. Do you know Ilya Sarjevic has a gun? Mom, what's up? Do you have bullets? You have to put them in there. Irina Ivanovna, believe me, I know. Ilya Sarjevich, how did you sleep in the living room? Is it comfortable? Great. Of course, it's not comfortable. It would be more comfortable with Svetlana, right? Why are you looking at me like this? I'll go and check on Ilya. Mom, what was that? What's wrong with you? Mom, Ilya Sarjevic is a very good man. He's smart, kind, polite. I'm not afraid to leave Elyasha with him, and you're so mad at him. What does Svetlana have to do with this? Nothing. Where is she? Mila, it's you again. Gleb. Listen, please. So it was your job, right? Right. I'm sorry about Gleb's warehouse. Are you deaf? You're crazy. 
Look at yourself. I recorded it today. Grisha took me to your warehouse to brag about his job. I knew it was him. What are you going to do with this record? He has to answer for his actions. You have to go to the police. He has his people everywhere. It's not the fact, it's just words. You have to do it. Don't be afraid, Miller. Gleb, please come with me. Okay, get in. Yes, Polia. Hi, my friend. Listen, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, that bitch mill came right to our office. Your glove put her in a car and took her somewhere. That's what I wanted to say. I thought you should know it. What? Hello, Milaka. Who are you looking for, men? Grigory Pavlovich. Be careful, this bitch tells him everything. Is Zaritsky home? It's been an hour since he arrived. What, honey, had you enough? What the fuck? Zaritsky Grigory Pavlovich. It's me? You are under arrest and you have to come with us, get dressed. Whatever that bitch told you, it's all bullshit. I wish we never got back together, Grisha. Out now. Mela. How are you? Okay. Gleb, as always, you're the best. You saved me again. I hope. Gleb, wait. Call Gleb. Why is he late again? The meal is cold. Mom, you can eat, don't wait. He must be busy at work. I'll go to bed. Aren't you going to eat? I don't want to. Good night. Good night, Nina. Good night. Your son makes my daughter worry. He's putting her life in danger. I'm sure it's not intentional and Nina understands it. They love each other. And unlike you, your daughter is brave and strong. It is very interesting to hear about myself. Here you go. You are afraid of the relationship. <laughs> oh, really? That's right. You're laughing. You're being ironic. But you're actually afraid that you're going to get hurt again. Aya, it's been 20 years. Can you stop being afraid?
Hi. You're smoking, what happened? Did my mother-in-law make you mad? Why are you so late? Where have you been? Zaritsky is arrested. That's great. So you can go home with a clear conscience. Thank you. I have to tell Nina, where's she? Nina went to sleep. She said she was tired. Nina, are you sleeping? Vera, pack up all his things and throw them away. I don't want him here. But there are so many good things. Well, I understand you, Milaka. You've gone through enough torment, but you're still young. You'll meet a worthy man. I've already met him, but I was so stupid, and now I want him back. Okay, pack them. Shit, and where's money? Look, bastard, he decided to leave me in poverty. So maybe we shouldn't throw things away. Throw them away? We've been through this. Hello? Natasha, hi. Listen, I'm selling my fur coat. Would you like to try it on? Why? Grisha was arrested. I have to live on something now. It seems okay. Why are you selling it? Why? Because I need money. Do you have a service book? It's still on warranty. The mileage is minimal. If you want, we can stop by the station and check it out. What do you think? I love it. The color is beautiful. It is. I chose it for myself. If it weren't for circumstances, I would never have sold it. Please, I'm begging you. All right, let's go to the station. If it's okay, we'll take it. Yes. Great. Good afternoon. Is Glub here? He's busy. Here. That's all I found in Grisha's safe. So? Gleb, I don't know how much you lost because of that bastard, but that's all I have. I don't need it. You need it, Gleb. You suffered because of us. It will be fair. Take it, please. Yes, let's try. Polina, this star is in the office again. Do something or you'll lose your husband. Don't you need that money? I don't want his money or his gifts anymore. Glab, take it, please. If it bothers you, You'll give it back when you get a chance. Okay. I really need money. Thank you, Mila. Good boy, right? Let's go. Come on. 
Yes, I know, let's go, play a little. That's right, come on, come on, we can walk so good, right? We can walk so good. Elsa. 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 Good girl. Ilyusha, look who's here, look who's here. Hi. Give me Ilyusha. Hi. They allowed me to take her home, she was yearning. They gave the ointment. Are you glad? Of course, I'm glad. Elsa. How was work? There are a lot of work, and it's great, everything's good. Got it. Elsa, home. Give him to me. Hi. Gleb, I don't want it. Why? I'm tired. Everything is quite clear. I won't interfere with the rest. Okay. Tell me what's going on. You lie to me, that's what's going on. Oh really? What about? You see Mila again. She comes to your office as if she lives there, and you hide it. So they told you. Do you have an affair? Don't say nonsense. Yes, Mila was in the office. She brought money. Money? Yes, she offset out loses. It was her husband who burned the warehouse down. Why didn't you tell me? First of all, I didn't want you to worry like this, and secondly, I think it's fair. We have to offset our losses with the profit, and the company's not doing well. Our firm needs this money. You could have consulted me. Sorry, Nina, but this is my business. Yours? Right. Now everything is quite clear to me. Ninika, where's our meal? We're waiting, right? <laughs> Look here. Yes, what do we have here? A lion, right? What? <sighs> Honey. God, God, what a great news. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Fine. You should eat well and properly now. I'll take care of that. Have you told Glav? No, I haven't had time yet. How so? Call him right now. No, you better go there. I wanted to tell him tonight. Wait until tonight with this news. Go now. You're right. Okay, I'll go, Ilyusha. Will we have a brother or sister?
So, are you happy? Very, you know how long I've been waiting for that. What have you been waiting for? Come on, tell me. Nina? What are you doing here? What happened? Answer me first. Okay. You like it? We obtained a birth certificate. Ilya Glebovich Chernikov. Sounds nice. So you did it. I promised. It says here that the mother is Zaritskaya. We couldn't do it otherwise. Mila will reject of the child and then we'll go to the court, right? Right. Don't worry. Ilya is our son, you're his mother. Gleb, I need to talk to you alone. I'll go. What do you want? Gleb, I... When did you find out? In the morning. Are you happy? Very. What kind of question is that? We will have our baby. <laughs> Come in. Don't be afraid. Everybody, I won't scold you. Today, my wife decided to surprise me. And since you are not strangers to us, we would like to share this news with you. Soon we'll be parents again. Congratulations. Why didn't you tell me? Gleb, congratulations. Nilaka. What's wrong? You're upset. I gave him money, his child, and his bitchnika is pregnant, can you imagine? Love will never leave her now. He asks me to abandon the child. But he's your son, don't do it. I'm not going to. Milaka, honey, why are you so unlucky? At some point, I thought I was going to lose you. It will never happen. Don't worry about all this nonsense. Better think of the baby. I think about him all the time. I wonder what he's like now, like a seed. I guess so. How does a person grow out of that? It's wonder. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Me and Gleb agreed that I could visit Ilyasha once a week. This is the first time I hear it. So call him. Ilyashka. Hi, look. Hello? Hi, Gleb. Hi. Mila comes and claims that you have agreed she can see Ilya. Yes, I forgot. That was her condition when we registered our son. Got it. 
Well, are you convinced? Next time you should warn me, we might have plans. Don't worry, I'm not for long. I was so afraid you might take your son when your husband was arrested. If he was unhappy with you, of course I'd take him, but in fact you can give him more than I can. Right? What are you drinking? Arazia? Yes. Right. There are a lot of vitamins there. Are you already registered? No, it's still early. Can I recommend a gynecologist? No, no, thank you. I'm just trying to be polite. Elsa? Ilyusha, let's do something here. Okay. Here. Look what I have. All right. Okay, wait. Here, that's it. Mila's sorry, but he has to sleep now. Okay. Okay, my sweetie. Well, you're a perfect mother. What do you have there? Good morning. Good morning. I brought you books, mine and Michalik's. He's ill. I see you have a major cleanup. We have a commission tomorrow. They will come to shut us up. Really? So it's already been decided? We still don't know. It's torn here and here. That's what it was, honestly. Irina Ivanovna, do you want me to glue it? No. It doesn't matter anymore. Don't worry. I'll do it myself. Thank you very much. Good morning. What is going on? What is this demonstration? We won't let you down, Irina Ivanovna. Open it. Got it. Let's go, guys. Come in. Come on. Am I late? You're not. My proactive man. Tell me, do you have that many readers every day? There can be more, especially in winter. There are vacations, villages, holidays in summer. I see you have almost all the pensioners here. On pensioners people? Young people spend time on the internet and were used to the old-fashioned way to read newspapers, to discuss news. Do you know how much a newspaper is now? And we need to buy it every day. What about a magazine? Not to mention the books. I had no time when I was young and now I'm catching up. I wish I had more detective stories make me some and memoirs you're doing a great job i mean the government 
You care about us every day. Thank you for that. I made tea for everyone. Here you go. Thank you. This is our innovation, an incentive cup for every visitor. Tell me, what other suggestions do you have for the future? Take a bigger notebook, then we will dictate these suggestions to you now. Come on. Elsa also, come here. Come on. Glenn, I have a stomachache. I'll go and have a rest. What's wrong? It's okay. I just need to rest. Maybe you should see a doctor. No, no. Will you watch Alicia? Sure. Tell me if you need something. Okay, make sure he doesn't get cold. I think we won't be shut down after that. Thank you. You're welcome, but I can't take the credit. Don't be modest, Ilya Sarjevich. So it was true, I didn't have a chance to tell you. You look great. Save your compliments for Spetlana. I fired her. Why? You didn't like her. Do you want to eat? I wouldn't say no, I'm on my third day of dry rations. Then I just have to feed you dinner. I'm ready to peel potatoes. I see you fixed this door. Yes. I did. You eat to eat, or you're gonna get a stomach ulcer. It's very tasty, thank you. Orina Ivanovna, let's live together. <clears throat> Am I supposed to consider this an official marriage proposal? That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> so how exactly do you see this? Our life together. Very happy. We both have an experience. We won't make the same mistakes. You will move in with me. Gleb. Gleb. Nina, what happened? Gleb, I don't know how it happened. Call somewhere. I was so careful, I didn't lift anything heavy. Nina, don't worry, it'll work out somehow. It hurts. Gleb is calling. 11 p.m. Yes. Emergency room. Don't worry. This hospital is good. The doctors are good. I know. How so? You should have taken her to the hospital as soon as the symptoms started. You think I don't blame myself? I should have insisted and taken her straight to the hospital. Unfortunately, we were not able to keep the pregnancy. 
spontaneous miscarriage. But why? What is the reason? It is difficult to say what exactly provoked it. It happens early on. How's Nina? She is stable. She better stay here till morning, and tomorrow you will take her. It was our first baby. I'm sorry. Be strong, son. Don't cry, please. I'm sure we will have children. I feel so guilty. Stop it. You need to rest and eat. You didn't eat anything. Do you want me to bring you something? Why did it happen to me? It's no one's fault. Don't blame yourself. Calm down. We'll get through this. May I? The door was open. What are you doing here? She came to enjoy it. I don't get it. I lost the baby. Come on, rejoice. Nina, please calm down. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It must be very unpleasant. Unpleasant? Gleb, get her out of here. I'm on business here. I lost my sunglasses. They're expensive and high quality. I remembered I was in your kitchen. I might have left them there. Could you take a look? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. And where's Alyusha? Where he should be. Okay. These ones. You found them. Thank you. Mila, go away. It's not a good time. I have one more question to you. Do you vaccinate Alyusha? Not yet. I read one article. It's very dangerous if the child is not vaccinated. We know it without you. What's up? I'm just trying. Are you telling I don't take good care of the child? No. I'm his mother too. Can't you hear? Go away. We have no time for that now. How long will that snake keep coming here? Nina. Calm down. She won't come again. That's for sure. Calm down, please. Thank you, Sarazar. You're welcome. And you're getting prettier, Mila Zaritskaya. I do my best, Ashant. And you're good at it. I heard you were looking for me. Do you want to come back? No. I heard you're opening another restaurant. That's right. Would you do me a favor? It depends. Thank you very much. I'll wait for your sketches and estimates. I'm sure you'll be glad. Thank you. Bye, Ashat. Thank you.
so am I good. You do need new clients. They won't hurt. Ishad is a famous businessman, by the way, and he can recommend you to someone in the future. Thank you very much, Mila. I have a lot of friends from the restaurant. I might be able to help you. For interest, of course. Are you serious? Well, I'd like to start earning again. But if it doesn't work out, I'll go back to the restaurant. Though I don't want to. Okay, all right. I'll tell Polina to prepare the contract. Listen. Do you have a vacant table? I could start right now. I think we could do that. Great. Hello? Vera, did you eat the sausage? Yes, and I drank tea, what? Nothing, you have to clean up after yourself. Don't scold me, Milaka, I thought I cleaned up, I have a bad memory. Hello. Why is my car beeping? That's not our problem. And whose problem is that? Maybe some homeless people are there. My grandma told me to watch who goes in and out, and the rest is unpaid. Cool. Super service. Hi, wife, would you give me a ride? The Best Husband, Episode 8 Hi, wife, would you give me a ride? What are you doing here? You escaped. Did you think you'd never see me again? I didn't think of you at all. You should have. I've been thinking of you. Grisha. Every day. Help. Grisha, what are you doing, Grisha? Grisha. Come here, bitch. Grisha. Come here. Grisha, don't. Where? Come here, I said. Grisha, please don't. Where? Grisha, please. Grisha. Dig. Are you serious, Grisha? Did you want to rat me out? No. Did you want to put me in jail? Grisha, I just didn't want you to beat me. Who gave you the idea? Your lover. Yes, it was him. He told me to do this, Grisha. He'll get what's coming to him, dig. <laughs> Grisha, Grisha, I'm sorry. Where are you going, stop? 
Big. Grisha, please don't. Grisha, honey, my love. Do you remember how we first met? See, Sun Sand, you kissed me. Please, I love you so much. Grisha. Big bitch. Bastard. Asshole. Grisha. 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 Fuck Grisha. What have you done? I loved you, Milka. Bastard. Asshole. Who's there? Vera, it's me. What happened? Grisha was released. Oh God, what will happen now? Zaritsky Grigory Pavlovich was found dead. Do you know something about it? That's the first time I hear it. He was arrested. I sought myself. I had to let him go. His lawyers were good. But he confessed to the arson. Self-incrimination. Plus, he's got a great alibi. He was at the club at the time of the fire and was seen by dozens of people. And you didn't find the perpetrators. How so? Gleb Illich, where were you Friday from 10 to 11 p.m.? Do you think I killed him? You had a motive? Nonsense. You better ask his bodies. I'll do it. So what about Friday? I was in the office late. Then I went home, yes. I stopped by the store on Court Severe. It was just about 11. They were closing. I could barely get them to sell me a baby formula. Check it. I think they remember me. We'll check it. I didn't know Grisha was out. He didn't message or call me. You can check it. And I've been running around all day. I filed for divorce, so I have to do something about my life myself. And in the evening when I got home, I called Vera and she said she was sick. I had to go to her because I'm all she's got. Yes, Mila's right. I'm single. Thank you, Vera. What time did you get home? I stayed at her place until morning as we thought we'd call an ambulance, but thank God she was okay. Can I go? There's an event. Grisha changed a lot after the prison. He was always having some weird business trips, night calls. What business trips? I don't know. I tried to find out a lot, but... I cried and yelled and I asked him to stop. But he just left and called me stupid. It was like I was in a powder keg. And when he burned down that warehouse, it was the last straw.
Hi. How are you today? Same as yesterday. I was sleeping. My mother-in-law keeps giving you sedatives. Yes, she gives me some pills and I take them. Nina, stop it. I'm also sorry we lost our child. But you have to pull yourself together and move on. It's easy to say. You can't stay in bed all day. Do you want me to call a doctor? No, don't call anyone. Oh, what a pity, how so? Who did that to him? We're investigating, did you see Zaritsky last Friday? No, I was sick for two days, my grandson replaced me. Vovchik, why are you silent, have you seen anything? I haven't. Take a good look. No, I would have remembered that guy. Have you seen his eyes? It's like they're eating into you. I still feel bad. Why do you feel bad, Vera? So I lied a little so we wouldn't be bothered anymore. His friends killed him. You know what dark things he did. Vera, do you think I killed him? No, it never entered my mind. It's just hard. It is. Hey, Andy. Not so fast. Are you talking to me? I'm listening. A detective came by, asking a lot of questions about your husband. So, we saw you driving away with him that night? And then he was killed. But we didn't say nothing about you to the detective. Why? Because you'll give us some money. The detective left us his card in case we remember something, so I can remember. I didn't kill him, okay? Sure. Right. Vova's gonna call them and tell Zaritskaya didn't kill her husband. She just went for a drive with him an hour before he died. It doesn't mean anything. Right. Put out your phone, Vova. All right. I don't need problems here. What? I don't have more. What? You have a cool car, the best apartment in the house. Who are you lying to? I will have an inheritance only in six months. That's not our problem. You have three days. Shit. Accept my condolences. I don't know whether you need them. Grisha was a bastard, but I didn't want him to die. What did the police say? Nothing. They're investigating. It's a beautiful photo. You're so happy. How's Minka? She's having a hard time. But she can handle it. How's Ilyasha? He's very good. By the way, today they're going to the clinic to vaccinate. So you don't have to worry about that. At least something's good. Is that all? I think this is the one.
So, it's been three days. And you said you had no money. I have a proposal for you. If you have brains, you'll earn more. Here you go. Come on. What's up? I need to go to the office. Seems like a big customer is on the horizon. Can you do it yourself? Yes, sure. Bye. Bye. Gleb. Me, Timur. Krasilovsky. Chernikov. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Timur is the owner of the whole chain and a good friend of mine. He wants to make a big order for offices, commercial premises, warehouses. It's time to update everything. I'm sure you'll be happy. How many are we talking about? 1,000 sets or so. Good. Great, Miller. Sleep, babies, sleep. It's okay, right? That's good. We'll call dad and go home, right, baby? Would you? The baby is sleeping. Will you help the student? What? I came to practice and I need the Cosmonaut Avenue. Am I going the right way? No, you know it's the other way. You need to go there. I saw it on the map. Would you help me? Yes, sure. Where are we? Okay, look, we're here. Okay. We're standing here. You need to go straight. That way, then turn right. There's a park there and after that you'll see the Cosmonaut Avenue. So go that way. Thank you. You're welcome, sure. Miss, I'm sorry. What? That way? No. I told you to go that way. Okay. You go straight. Straight. Then you'll see a big house. It's very beautiful. Then there's a park behind it. This one. Here's the park, right behind the house. Can I go through the park, cause I'm in a hurry? Of course, you can go through the park, but you better go the street. Here is the Cosmonaut Avenue. What house do you need there? Here, 6 slash 1. 6 slash 1, here it is. Yes, sure, here it is. Thank you. You're welcome, go. Thank you. Good luck. Goodbye. Ilya. Ilya. Miss. Have you seen a little child? He was just stolen from a stroller. A little boy in a gray overall. He couldn't get away by himself. You should call the police. What police? Have you seen at least anyone? Nina, I'm available, should I go? What happened? Why are you crying? Gleb! What happened? God, the children are stolen in broad daylight. You should watch your children. They make babies and then they sit glued to the phone, mothers. You're a woman, you should feel sorry for her. Gleb. Gleb, I'm sorry, I don't know how it happened. Tell me. We left the clinic and went with Illusia here, then some guy came up and started asking for directions. I'm so sorry. Gleb. 
We all have to eat. Nina, come on. The phone won't ring earlier if you look at him. Mom, what should I do? Nina, the policeman said that most kids were found in the first 24 hours. Yeah, they find the ones who run away and Ilya was stolen. Nina, Dad just wanted to calm you down. He's not responsible for what happened. And who's responsible? Me? Come on, say it. I just don't understand how it could have happened. I just can't get it. What you were looking at? Why did you even go to that vaccination? You don't feel well. I don't know why I went there. Gleb said I needed to unwind. So I'm guilty. Stop fighting. It's not the time. I have to tell Mila. Are you thinking of her now? I'm not thinking of her. According to the documents, she's still Ilya's mother. Hi. We've seen each other. We have to talk. What about? Don't you want to let me in or are you not alone? It's messy there. I'll get over it. Gleb, Ilyusha is so small and helpless. Tell me it's not true. It can't be true. But it's true. God. The police are already looking for him. Nina reported immediately. It's like a nightmare. I give you my child, mine. I thought everything would be okay. He's my child too. Do you still remember that? I just don't see how you can be distracted for two seconds and lose a baby. Maybe she did that on purpose. What are you talking about? What? She lost her child. Have you seen her jumping on me? Maybe her mind is messed up. Stop it. This is really not the time. Ilya? Ilya? Miss, step away from the stroller, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I just thought it was my son, he was stolen, he's definitely not yours, go your way. Miss, don't. Maybe she's crazy, messes with the children. Yesterday, about 12.20 p.m., someone stole my five-month-old baby, Ilya Chernikov, from a stroller in the park opposite the children's clinic. If somebody heard or saw something, any information is important. That's yes, Chernikov. I'm from the police. Have you found my son? How's he? It's about your wife. What happened? The police do nothing. Of course they do. Why don't they call us then? There are no results. If they don't call, it doesn't mean they don't do anything, Nina. You shouldn't have left the house. Why? Am I supposed to just sit and do nothing? But you're wearing slippers and my old jacket. So what? Does it mean anything? I should calm down and go to work, like you do, right? Of course it's better to go around the neighborhood and scare the mothers. Nina, how could you do this? Irina Ivanovna, please, don't let her go anymore. I didn't see her leave. Here, take it.
You have to sleep? What if they call me? I'll wake you up. Gleb, where's my phone? I'll bring it. Gleb, wait. Stay with me. Nina, we'll find him. Don't worry. Do you hate me? Don't say nonsense. I hate myself. If he's not found, I can't live. He will be found, I promise you. Can I help you? No, send everyone home, it's late. Well, be strong. If you need anything, call me anytime. Thank you. Chernikov. Good evening, Gleb Illich. Captain Ivanenko, we have surveillance video from nearby buildings and streets. I'll send it to you, watch it. Maybe you'll recognize someone or something will alert you. I'll watch the video right now, tell me. Have you found the student? Not yet. Thank you. Well, is there any news? I've watched the surveillance video that the police sent me. And nothing. What? Were there surveillance cameras in the park? I wish. Well, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Do you want some? It's been a wonderful remedy for me recently. What if Ilyasha has been sold and we'll never see him again? I don't want to hear it. I'll never forgive your Nina for this. And you, have you forgiven? Stop it. Fuck you, I hate her. Gleb. I was so stupid. I lost the man I loved, my child. I destroyed everything with my own hands. I am so sorry. Yes. Hello? Police. No, it's Gleb. Isn't he home yet? He isn't. Strange. It's late. I'll call him back. Gleb. 
he hung up again. Don't worry, please. What do you mean, mom, it's late, he has to be home already, something must have happened. I'll go there. Where to? To the office first. I won't let you go anywhere. He must be here, there's his car, and the light in the office is on. See, and you were worried. Strange, it's closed. Gleb. Open the door, it's me, Nina. Gleb. Maybe he has a pain in the back again. Don't get nervous. Gleb, open the door. Ouch. Hello. Wow. Let's get out of here. Come on, let go. Wait. Nina. Your mother is right. What are you hoping for? He has always been and always will be mine. You're fucking bitch. Get out of here. Get lost. You gave him up. He can't forgive you. Will he forgive you that you made our child disappear? Don't bring the child into this. Why are you lying? Get up. Nina, Nina, calm down. Why doesn't he wake up? He's tired. You never had that with him. Did you put anything in his drink? What is it? Are you crazy or what? That's it, girls. Aravetersi. Gleb. Nina, you're here. What time is it? It's morning. Thank you. Coffee is exactly what I need. I've got a splitting headache. I fell asleep and I don't remember how. And Miller, is she okay? Gleb, do you need me? Are we still the family? I love you, you're my wife. What kind of question is that? You've never told me that before. Haven't I? Sorry. I thought it was clear. I really needed these words. Gleb, I love you so much. And I'll never let you go. Did you drink with Mila? A little. She drugged you, set everything up and called me. She thought I wouldn't forgive the cheating and notice nothing. Me and Miller, nonsense. Nothing ever happened and never will be. We have to give her money back so we never see her again. Here. That's all I have, a thousand dollars. It's not much. But at least something. 
I really want to help our children. You must have some savings too. I throw that money in her face. She made such a scene, you cannot even imagine. Irina Ivanovna, I should go. Why? You are not going to leave anywhere. I remember I need to do something. See you. Hi, Sarjevich. Hi. Why are you so upset? Are you ill again? I've lived in this house for 23 years. And you'll live as many, or even more. You're a good man, Mikali, as well as the others. I don't get it. Are you leaving? Sort of. Goodbye, see you. So, any news? Nothing. No new witnesses. I don't know what to do. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Thank you, Mom. What would I do without you? Children. This is for you. What is it, Dad? Money, you need it. We do, but where did you get it? I mortgaged my apartment. You shouldn't have. We would figure it out. We've already saved something. Listen, son, why don't you give this money to Miller? And we won't talk about it anymore. Elia Sarjevich. I have no words. You should at least have consulted with us. Dad, thank you. I'll give you everything back. You can live with us? No. Elia Sarjevich will live with me. He proposed to me. And I said yes. Ira. Hi. Hi. Come in. I'm not for long. Here's your money, you can count it. Are you angry? What did you think would happen? I wanted to speed up the inevitable. Sooner or later you'll realize that Nina is a mistake and you married her to forget me. And you can never forget that she lost our baby. And we'll never find him. Is that all? Now I will tell when my son is found and he will be found, I have no doubt of it. I will deprive you of parental rights through the court, and you will never be in our life again. Ever.
I know, I know, honey. Hi. Hi. What's there? They post information about that day in social networks periodically. So? Noting yet. A father posted a picture of her daughter who was in a museum opposite the clinic. So, show me. Stop. This seems to be Miller's housekeeper. Do you know her? I've seen her once. The photo is blurry, but I think it's her. She's waiting for someone. Ten minutes before Ilusha was stolen. Look at the time. Call the police. Milaka, we're running low on formula and we got three more diapers. Would you sew something? So many problems with these kids. Play with him. He doesn't know his mom at all. Go outside. Why are we always inside? He needs fresh air. It must be time for him to sleep. He has just woke up. Then I'll go and buy him diapers. I'll be quick. The police quickly found Vera Stepanovna. They can when they want. The captain said that her address was in the case of Zoritsky's death. She testified then. I feel she has a Lucia. I hope she has. Who's there? Police, open the door. Police. Vera Stepanovna Catch. Yes, and what's up? We have some questions for you. Let's go inside. Speak here. Hey. Ilya, my baby. Ilyusha. My dear. Finally. I just wanted to help poor Milaka. She's been through so much. Her husband beat her horribly. You should have seen it. Her baby was taken away. How can you take a child from his mother? Is that what Mila told you? Isn't that so? He's her child. Why did you take him? Your Mila gave him up herself. She brought him right after the birth. I don't believe you. Where's Zaritskaya? Have you seen her? Yes, she went to the store for diapers. So she'll come back here? Sure. How can a mother leave her child? Dear passengers, check-in begins for flight number. I decided to rest. It's good that everything is so easy now. You take a ticket, your passport, and go to the sea. How come they let you go alone? I'm my own boss. Who are you with? Imagine I'm alone too. I'm Anton. Mila. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. This is the final boarding call for Flight 302 to Berlin. All passengers should proceed to the boarding area now. Please, after you. This is the final boarding call for Flight 302 to Berlin. All passengers should proceed. Would you? Excuse me, my mistake. Anything? Nothing. Let's see there. Okay.
hello. Miss Zaritskaya? Yes, what do you want? We have some questions. Come with us. I have a flight. The plane will leave without you. Follow us. I won't go anywhere. Come on. Leave me alone. Let's go. Take your hands off me. Congratulations. 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 Happy birthday, my love, happy birthday. He's so big. I feel he gets overexcited and won't sleep. Iraka, let me hold him. Let's drink to the parents, to your first year. Great job, you coped. Thank you. Thank you. They called it a calico wedding. You've lasted a year. So you'll have a golden wedding? Of course we will. I have the best husband. Wait, I have something for you. The grandson looks exactly like his grandfather. Look what I've got for you, Tada. Wife, you're making me blush. The best husband. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. I want one too. You have to try very hard. And I will. I'll live up. done. Episode 1. Good morning. Morning. Well... Why is that for? Don't you know? Don't play with me. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing is wrong. Okay, then. We wish you a happy birthday. This generous sale is for you. Write me down the 17th at 3 o'clock. Not sure yet. I'll come to the office and tell you. If I have time, I'll show up. Miss. Hey, miss. I can't move because of you. Park your car half a meter away. Ask Luba to sign me up for a massage. Yes, thank you. Thank you.
Sonia, good morning. Hi. Same. Later, Uncle Mish, I'm late. And good morning. Sonia! Hi. I didn't see anything. What didn't you see? Absolutely nothing. Sonia, are you okay? There are flowers in the back room. I know, I know. I didn't mean to spoil the surprise. Well, too late. I asked the manager to buy one normal bouquet, and this moron brought a broom. I couldn't decide, he said. I like it. Very beautiful flowers. That's great you like it. I doubt Paul Palich gonna like it too. It's not respectable. Paul Palich? Sonia, don't be stupid. Paul Palich has been promoted. We are going to congratulate him in 15 minutes. Come on, move. Make the shit look not so miserable. Sonia, keep up. All right. Go, go, go. Just look at her. Just like our manager. She is an idiot. Come on, come on, make daddy happy. Damn it! Hello? Hi, Anton. I lost because of you. What do you want? I'm gonna be late. Paul Polich celebrates promotion and we are having a party. However, I'm stuck here with a report, so I probably won't be at home before 10. In the fridge... Okay, I'll figure it out. I have no time. Okay, bye. Cheers, dear Paul Palich. Cheers, folks! All the best! <laughs> hey, Sonia. Still working? Yeah, kinda. Well done. Take it. Take. I like the way you work. Thank you. Listen, there is a thing. Our company is downsizing. Paul Palich just made an announcement. Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talked and decided to cut you loose. Am I fired? No, no, just cut. Listen, who else can it be? You're a newbie here. All right, what did I want to say? You can go. Just finish the report and go home. That's it. Bye. Sonia, are you okay? Well, what can I say? I'm fired. Well, well, don't cry. It's not the end of the world. 
every black's trait is always followed by a white one. Yeah, but I don't have any white ones. Only black. And moreover, one is blacker than other. Not only I was fired, but no one wished me happy birthday. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Even my own husband didn't congratulate me. So maybe he did it on purpose. Maybe he's preparing a surprise for you. I wish. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sonia. Sonia, what the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. Sonia. Don't worry. It happens. Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talked and decided to cut you loose. What the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. And you know what? My company won the tender. He came to me with a bottle of expensive whiskey the next day. I thought he came to speak or congratulate me, which would be logical in that situation. However, he poured two glasses and said, You know, Ilya, I came to say that I don't envy you. You are number one, and I am number two. This means that I will work twice harder and earn twice more and and emptied his glass just like that yes i swear to you emptied the glass did you become friends after that no i thought he was crazy <laughs> you know what everything happened just as he said a year later his company overcame mine and i came to him with a bottle of whiskey and then we became friends poor tolik rest in peace your father was an amazing man. Yes. Do you remember when he visited us? Took Igor with you for the first time. How old were you? I don't remember. Seventeen, probably. Yes, seventeen. I remember that. You were so shy. Well, I couldn't get the word. It's probably my fault. I shouldn't have said... Look at the groom I brought for you. I'm sorry, Igor. Oh, yeah. I can forget all those jokes. You look so good, just like a bride and groom. Weren't we right? It seems to have been going to the wedding for a long time. We will soon be one family. We talked about this with your father more than once. Well, not only about that. You plan to merge campaigns. Well, yes. The market encourages this. If you want to dominate, you need to unite. It should have been done a long time ago. Our children are together and madly in love. 
Excuse me. <clears throat> we can become not only one family, but also a company that will not be equal. Sorry. Christine. Look, your capacities and our raw material production will become one. We will force all competitors to get hell out of the market. <laughs> Calm down. No need to be nervous. So? It is difficult to speak. I know you're just after Anastasia. Don't strain yourself. I know all you want to ask. The questions are almost always the same. All right. Your first question is where you are. You are here with us in the hospital. The second question is what has happened. You had an accident. Do you remember it? Amazing. We're moving. So, calm down. The third question is what's wrong with you? You have been operated. We removed the shrapnel from the chest. The operation was successful. The most important thing is complete peace. Deal? I will come later. By the way, we called your husband as soon as you were brought here. And he never came. I'll try again. Stay calm. How do you feel? Listen, I just... Well, I don't know how it happened. I was on my way home from the club, and then I met her. Sonia, it's all her fault, I swear to you. Well, okay, let's forget it. It happened only once. I didn't want you to find out, but you're the one to blame. You just got home from work earlier. All right. Get better. Hold it, please. Thank you. You need to eat everything to get strength. Sonia? Is it you? I can't believe it. Your wife is very lucky, but she has to spend in the hospital at least three weeks. How long? Three weeks? God damn it. The main thing is that she's alive. This is a list of medicine you need to buy her. Yes, of course. Mom, what's the point of playing solitaire and paper cards if you can do it on your phone? You can't cheat on the phone. 
If you cheat, then what's the point? Victory. The point is always to win, Christina. And our victory is not far away. I doubt it. I don't want to hear such words from you ever again, clear? Everything is going according to plan. Sorokin is tired of Yegor's bachelor life. I can reach him. He avoids all marriage talks. He doesn't even want to live with me. Well, then try harder. Mom, I'm doing my best. I doubt it. Our future depends on this marriage. Do you remember it? We can be declared bankrupt and end up in the trash. They can put me in jail. Well, it's not my fault that my father died and left us a bunch of debt. You're the only one who can fix it. If you marry Yegor, we will be financially secure. But we need to do that faster than they realize. We have nothing to offer but a big name. I think you need to go deeper with Yegor's father. He loves all these business schemes of yours. And Yegor is afraid to stand up against him. I like you more now. Come in. Can you imagine? I met my classmate in the hospital. Whoa. Yes. We haven't seen each other since school. The one after the accident? Well, she tried to commit suicide. What do you mean? According to eyewitnesses, this wasn't an accident. She deliberately veered off the road. Excuse me. Look who is awake. Who bought the medicine? Dr. Fyodor couldn't get your husband, and we can't stop the treatment process. You shouldn't have. Don't mention that. Let's talk about it later. Do not think about it. Everything will be fine. It definitely won't. Everything in my life is not the way I would like it to be. Is that so? I'm married, but, to be honest, I don't even know if I love him. Looks like Anton keeps me as a maid. I wanted to have children. But he's... afraid of losing his carefree life. Everyone can get a prince. I worked twice as hard. Stayed up until night. And they have fired me. That's why you tried to kill yourself. You're alive, and that's the main point. You will recover, leave the hospital, return to your husband. I want to be alone. Of course. Drop it. You're crazy. He cheated on me. In our bedroom, on our bed. On my birthday. What's the point of all this? Don't cry. 
Everything will be fine. Do you hear me? <laughs> doctor. Yes? Are you going home? I have an urgent business for you. So talk to Uncle Doctor. I don't need him. I need you. Lena. Friends in hockey are waiting for me. And I have a question of life and death. I beg you. All right. When I was a student, my professor used to say that when a patient says that she doesn't want to live, she tries to say, help me. She's only afraid to ask for help. I don't need any help. Help. Everyone needs it. People live when they have a reason to live for. I have nothing. My whole life is a disaster. I really need to show you something. Why, God, why? Why are we here? Look at this. An iron fragment pierced your chest and stopped at the very heart. If you think you're out of luck, look at this man who had the same accident as you. He died. And you, you are here. Alive. Take a closer look at the picture. Don't forget that life has given you a second chance. Why, God? Winter. What a miracle. They say that children love winter, but adults don't. So? I'm a child. After winter comes spring and then warm summer. True. Isn't it a miracle? Of course a miracle. Too bad not everyone thinks that way. The older we get, the longer our winters. And we have to wait until summer. Maybe that's why we care so much about our children. We know we won't always be there. Yes, you see my point. Sooner or later I will retire, and Yegor just doesn't give a damn about my business. Someone will have to run the company after me. Yegor has Christina. They love each other, and this love will help them overcome difficulties. Yes. Christina is a girl with character. Right. She has a business mind, just like her father. If our children get married, we will unite the companies. And we will never have to worry about their future. I always wanted to unify our companies. But all those modern customs... God, why don't they hurry up? There will always be something to stop them. I want to babysit my grandchildren. They should hurry up. Sonia? You scared me, Lenka. Are you ready for the procedures? Don't you have anything to do? I have you and I'm taking care of you. Here is your new friend. Then you feel set. Look at him and you will immediately feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I see you started to eat. Do you want me to get an additional portion for you? Lena, I'm going to gain an extra pound here. Then go for a walk. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Come on, hurry up. Fresh air. Right. Yes, I haven't been outside for a long time. Two weeks, to be certain. Lenka, why didn't you go to a medical school? Didn't pass the exams? I didn't try. I didn't even try to apply. Didn't believe I would make it. Without connections and money, you have nothing. Too bad. 
I think you should have tried. Sure. I've been replaying my entire life in my head so many times these days, and I decided to give myself a second chance. Atta girl, get better, get a new job, everything will be fine. I want to open a florist dry studio. Okay. Yeah. Like your own business? Isn't it risky? I don't know. I'll open it and I will see. You need tons of money. You can lose everything. Lena, it's just my plan. So, what do you think? I think you didn't call me for that. We both know business is not my strength. Yes. I just wanted to talk to you. Then don't beat around the bush. Speak. Right. Why don't you marry Christina? I knew that. I'm not sure I love her. Wait, what? You're not sure that you love her? How is it possible? So many years together. Yes, so many years together, and the longer we're together, the more I think, what if this isn't love, but just a habit? Well, good. What's bad about it? It's a good habit. But where is love? Come on, boy. Yegor, wait. I think I know what's going on. It happened to me too. You're just nervous about making a responsible decision. I'm afraid. I don't want to make a mistake. Why don't you understand this? What's wrong with you? It won't be a mistake. You're the perfect couple. How can you know this? I don't understand. Who knows if not me? Our families have been together for so many years. That's it. Let's be honest. You want this wedding so badly because you have dreamed about uniting our business. And what's wrong with that? I want it for you, first of all. So now all this for my sake? For whom else it can be? Your happiness is in the first place. This is the main thing for me. You can be serious. Shall I remind you how you left me and mom for business? No need. Don't talk to me like that. No. We had this conversation before. It was a long time ago. Not long enough for me to forget. For me to forget what it's like to live without a father. Enough. I said marry Christina and that's it. Papa. Dead. Dead. Doctor, call a doctor. Heart attack. The man is 60 years old. So the intensive care. Stop. You can go. He is my father. We'll do our best. to stabilize your father's condition. Will he get better? His heart should start working without additional devices. Then we can talk about recovery. The ambulance took him here. Can I transfer him to another clinic? No need. We have very good specialists. Can he hear me now? Yes, of course, but please, Watch your words. He must stay calm. Why? Why did I tell you all this? 
You're right, Dad. You're always right, and I'm selfish. You always wanted the best for me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for not understanding this earlier. Hello? Christina, hi. Hi. Let's meet tomorrow at our restaurant. Sure. What for? I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Okay. See you. See you. Hmm. Mom. Mom. What? It seems to me tomorrow will come the day we have been waiting for. <laughs> Excuse me, but I came here first. Is that so? Yes. You stuck the money right in front of me. Well, you didn't do that, right? Could you wait? Miss, this is not a store. This is a vending machine. Whoever puts the money first is right. You took the chocolate I wanted. It was the last one. Today is not your day. Miss. Damn. Have you seen that brat? Who? The one near the vending machine. I can see the bread you are talking about, where there is a tall, handsome man in a white shirt. A tall, greedy man in a white shirt. He took the last chocolate. Ay, 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 ay. He is not handsome. Maybe you should visit the optometrist. We have one. I'll write you down. <laughs> have you made eyes at him yet? He is not up to it. His father has a heart attack. I'm sorry. If you're talking about our first meeting, it's fine. Heard about your father. He had a heart attack. I'm sorry. The chocolate was delicious. Yegor. Sonia. Nice to meet you, Sonia. Why are you here? An accident. How's that? How did it happen? Car's technical malfunction. I see. 
Соня. Let's have a walk. Sure. What do you do? I help my father in business. Although sometimes it seems to me that I'm only getting in the way. Business isn't my strength. And what would you like to do? When I was studying in London, I visited a drawing studio. I enjoyed it. Yes. Well, then I came back and my father fascinated me with work and I abandoned drawing. That's funny. I would never think you were an artist. Do you want me to prove it? Well, yeah. All right, then. Let's go, let's go. And what are you up to? Nothing. But I have a dream. Dreaming is not bad. Sometimes I'm afraid of my own thoughts. It's crazy. All the best in this life begins with a dream. Easy to say. Close your eyes. Why? Close. Now, imagine your biggest dream. I see myself differently from now. How differently? Strong. Self-confident. And... And? Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> what else do you see? Flowers. Real flowers. They're everywhere and they're amazing. And what kind of place is it? A florist dry studio. My studio. See? Dreaming is great. And please, don't doubt it. Everyone thinks I can't do it. Even my own husband doesn't believe in me. Are you married? Yes, but lately... Never mind. I just want to change my life completely. I don't want to go back. I think you will manage to do it, Sonia. You can do it. How do you like it? What the hell? Actually, I came to find out when you are going home. I don't know. Well, the apartment is a mess. And it's time to pay the rent. Are you allowed to work after discharge, right? I didn't tell you. But I'm fired. Well, you know how to get into trouble. Well, you'll find another job. I don't want to look for another job. I want to start my own business. Flowers? Do you know how much money it takes? I know. It's a lot. Let's say I have money. Let's say you do. Even then, I would find a better use for it. Yes, I even know what. I do something much more reliable than your stupid idea. It's not stupid. Sonia, get down to Earth. How old are you? Yes, that's right. How old am I and what have I achieved? I'm tired of this. I know that I'm capable of more. Why don't you believe in me? Want the truth? Look at yourself. What can you do with your brain? Do you have any idea what's waiting for you? 
Get this crap out of your head. He will never let me do what I want. Never. Can you imagine that? He is just being realistic. All men are like that. I don't want to be discharged. I don't want to go home. I don't want to live my old life. Where are you going? You get burned. Wait for the signal. I got burned when I married Anton. Get ready. Let's go home. I'll take your receipt. Igor. Igor. Hello. Hi. Did something happen? What's wrong? Will you marry me? Yes. Come on in. Ready? Where's Sonia? I don't think she's coming back. Episode 2. Lenka, thank you for hosting me. You have no idea how much that means to me. No worries. Stay as long as you want. Do you remember our childhood? We used to have sleepovers. Right. Well, your bed is ready. Welcome. I don't have any clothes. Not a big deal. Take whatever you want. What? Does it hurt? Is it your wound? No. Just... such a strange feeling inside. Either happiness or fear. Are you going to talk to him? About what? Make yourself comfortable. This number cannot accept message at this time. So that's how it is, right? So you are interested in a business loan? Yes. I want to open my own florist dry studio. Mm -hmm. You haven't indicated any property. Do you have an apartment? Oh, no. No. We rent an apartment with my husband. Do your parents have any assets? House, cottage, land? No. My parents... They're gone. I see, but someone has to act as a guarantor. 
Maybe your husband or his relatives? Is it possible to get a loan without involving my husband? In your case, the bank will refuse you. The loan amount is large. Moreover, if you have late payments, the penalty will be enormous. I understand. If I can't pay the loan back, what will happen? In this case, the bank has the right to take your business. The property will be sold, but this will cover only part of the debt. The rest you will have to pay yourself. Therefore, you must be confident in your abilities. And by the way, the insurance of your business is an obligatory condition. It's already included in the loan. Here are the payout schedules. Excuse me, is this for a month? Yes. I need to think. Have your time. Sorry. Do not put off the dream for later. I agree. Listen. You don't have a job. You have no property. You are unreliable client for the bank. Of course, I can try to send documents for consideration, but without a guarantor, there is almost no chance. Try it. Serhi, please, lend me some. I will pay you back in a couple of days. I know you're a couple of days. But for real. Back off. Find a job. Go to hell. Sofia Kuzmina? Yes. This is Tikhonov. Where have you suddenly gone? Well, I... Okay, okay, don't bother yourself. It's your business. You have to come to the hospital and pick up your statement. All right. Slut. She has left me. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. I see. Thank you. Goodbye. Am I interrupting something? Hi. Of course not. How are you feeling? Now better. I've been discharged. How's your father? His condition is stable, but the doctors talk about it without enthusiasm. We all understand what that means. Are you planning to go on vacation? No, this is from a bank. I told you about my dream. Do you remember? Yes, of course. Flores Tri Studio. Yes. I wanted to take a loan, but they refused me. 
Apparently, I am an unreliable person without a grantor. Can I take a look? Please. They definitely overreacted. Bastards. Creditors. Exactly. They attacked us like vultures. Mom, we have a solution to all problems. We are lucky that the old fool got in the hospital. Igor thinks about Dad's health so much that he stopped showing off. You did a good job with Sorokin, and he was Igor. But we need time. I want you to arrange a reception for our partners in the office. Now? When our business falling apart? Yes, right now. We must pretend that everything is fine. Well, if you want, I'll rob a bank for you. Lena, that's not funny at all. Don't get upset. I just want to cheer you up. I'm not upset. You were right. I have no chance of starting my own business. My fate is to sit in the shabby office and serve my husband. I have an idea. Let's get drunk as goats. Just like at the prom? I don't remember being drunk. That's exactly why you don't remember. Why not? Come on, let's drink. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. What? Yes, of course. I'll be there. Yes. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. What? What? Lenka, the bank approved my loan. For real? But why did they change their decision? I don't know. I don't understand. Just a mere formality. Take out insurance and sign all the papers. And that's it. The credit is yours. Just remember to pay on time. Otherwise, the penalty will be serious. Uh-huh. Yes, I got it. I'll ask you to sign here and here. Uh-huh. Could you tell me, why did the bank suddenly approve the loan? You have a guarantor. Guarantor? Who? Igor Sorokin. His father's company is a longtime client of our bank. You are very lucky. I would also like to have such influential friends. Igor, hello. Hello. I wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for watching for me. They gave me a loan. Well, to be honest, it wasn't difficult. I don't understand. Why do you need this? I like that you believe in yourself and do what you think is right, yes. You told your husband is against your idea. Did he change his mind? No. I changed my mind and left him. Igor? Hi. I decided to surprise you. What about... I have a lot of work to do. I don't accept rejection. We will celebrate our plans. Who is the girl in the picture? I don't remember. This is an old drawing. Found it on the table. Yeah, nice. Well, let's talk about our plans. I want us to announce our wedding. What do you mean? We will arrange a banquet, invite guests, and make an official engagement, yeah? Engagement? Are you serious? The engagement is a relic of the past. I don't think so. It is important for me. And besides, it was your father's idea, and we can't upset him. He needs to be happy. 
And one more. Let's move in together. Let's talk about it after the engagement. Good, as you wish. Here is the room for your flower shop. Florist tries to do. I'll be honest, it was very difficult considering your budget. No one will offer you anything better. I understand. The room has been empty for a couple of years. This is not Buckingham Palace. Let's see. What do you think? As you said, I have a little choice. Let's sign the papers then. Hello, delivery for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, bring it in. Turn it to the door. And closer to me. A little bit closer. Here to the right. Careful, careful. Is it in one piece? Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right. The sofa is for relaxation? Yeah. I want to put a... A cash register there. And divide the space into two zones, one for rest, another for work. Good. Help yourself. I'm starving. I know. What a day. Hey, don't you want to change your style? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll also need a uh, hundred roses. Red. Yes, red. Yes. Please, don't let me down. I will be a regular customer. Okay. Yes, thank you. Bye. Yeah. I have never thought you could do it all by yourself. I didn't believe either. It's so beautiful here. And you are so beautiful, just like a business lady. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. You made me believe that I shouldn't be afraid of my desires. Our doctor Tikhanov said medical university dropped a few extra places. So? And I decided to give it a try. Lienka, that's great. You will do it. Do you know what the most important thing? Believe in yourself. I forgot I have a surprise for you. That's for you. Lienka. Wow. It's amazing. This is for luck. Thank you. It's time. Ready? Yes. Come on. Attention, attention. Attention, attention. Florist Tri Studio is officially open. Congratulations. No one said that customers would immediately tumble down in drows. We are going to have a reception during which we will announce our engagement. Fine. Thank God. I'm very happy. See? I told you your dad would love it. Ouch. Excuse me, please. I called you dad. But get used to it. I think we should wait until my father is discharged. Igor. No way. 
You will have to wait a very long time. I am not even allowed to get up. They say I need rest and constant monitoring. And then this thing, I can't live without it. Don't delay the engagement. Your happiness is the best medicine for me. Sonia, is it you? Yes, yes, it's me. Preparing for your exams? My brain is a bit fried. I see. Wow. You are determined. I take an example from you. Lienka. Do you know I love you, don't you? What have you done? I have rented an apartment. I know that I can stay here with you, but I have to start building my new life. Sonia, you are the smartest girl I've ever met. So do what you think is right. Lianka. You're doing great. Igor, hi. My mother asked to... Since when have you been drawing again? I always wanted to do it. Don't you think it's a waste of time? I mean, if you like. Okay. Good for you. Very nice. Antonio, why don't you say hi? Where's your politeness? Hi. Didn't recognize you? Well, it's good. It's really good. I'm going to be rich, right? What's up, man? If you want to live, give me my money back. I'm broke, but I will. No, 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 no. It doesn't work anymore. I have a problem, Antonio. A serious problem. I'm ill. I have a terrible allergy. I'm allergic. Allergic to people who take my money and then don't pay it back. Antonio, I go crazy. Do you want to see it? No need, I'll get it back. I just need time. Time? Well, we can make it. If I hear your excuses again... Yes, I got it, got it. Wait, wait. Where do you live? Apartment 32? Yeah, that's 32. I won't forget. Hi. What's wrong with you? Can you... No, I won't give you money. Don't even ask. I wanted to borrow. You have borrowed from half of the district. I'm not going to join it. Why are you all like that, huh? Is it true that your wife left you? Kinda. She just ran away. We will see. How long are you going to wait? By the way, she makes money in her flower business. Flower what? Igor? Hello. Hello. How did you find me? Pretty easy. I have to congratulate you. Your studio is all over the internet. Great news. I'm going to have more clients. 
I hope. Impressive. How is it going? Not much yet. People mainly come for flowers and buckets, and the main income is the decoration of large events. But I don't have such clients yet. But the positive attitude still remains? <laughs> of course. If I don't think about loan and rent payments. Well, I have two orders to complete. Yes, first I need a bouquet. Any advice? Yes, of course. For whom? For one beautiful girl. Who is she? I'm afraid I can't say that. You didn't get my point. I need to understand what bouquet to choose. This girl is smart and very beautiful. I think this is enough for you to choose a bouquet. Good. One moment. Here. I think this is it. Well then, all right. Igor, please, I won't take money for you. Please, take it. You are the one who helped me. I insist. This is for you. For me? Yes. Just as I told you, this is for a smart and beautiful woman. Thank you. So, how did you like it? Gorgeous bouquet. A professional helped you. I also think this way. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Let's go, come on. Have a seat. You said you have two orders. What is the second? Yeah, and about this. My partners are hosting a business reception at the office. We would like to decorate the hall with flowers. What do you think? Is the hall big? Big enough. Well, what do you say? I don't have enough flowers now, so I need to order more. For this, I... You just need to say yes. Sonia, I believe in you. Yes. Excellent. Unfortunately, I need to go. I'll leave you my business card. And send all the information to the email. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Igor, thank you for the bouquet. No problem. I was glad to see you, Sonia. Thank you for the order. And for the order. <laughs> Did you forget something? When they told me, I didn't believe it. And here I am. What do you want? You have changed everything. New clothes, hairstyle. Go away, please. So you opened this crappy studio behind my back? This is my business. Is it so? You're my wife. You must share with me. I don't owe you anything. One more time. You are my wife. Yeah. Not much. Do you want me to press the button? Do you believe the police will do something to me? Who said it would be the police? Who then? Those who are responsible for my peace. You're bluffing. If you don't believe me, you can press it yourself. All right, birdie. If you want to fly a little bit, fly. Just try not to fall.
<laughs> Your face seemed familiar. Do I know you somehow? I don't think we've met. I'm Sonia. Kristina Anatolievna. This is my office. And you're a florist, yes? Exactly. My friend gave me a word of advice. I hope you are worth it. Of course not. Is it enough for such a spacious hall? That's not all. The rest will be brought from the warehouse. Those roses? Don't touch them. Be careful. I love roses. They are... Yes, roses look harmless, but they have thorns. It's better not to touch them if you don't know how. You can cut out the thorns. Then it won't be a rose anymore. You know better. You're a florist here. I hope you do your job well. Or I don't envy you. Good luck. I don't envy your boyfriend. If you have one. Hello. Hi, this is Flower Delivery. What? Who? Sergeyev, flowers delivery. Oh, yeah, I got it. Where are you? We are waiting for the flowers. Have you arrived? I'm in another city. Pity? Why is that? I'm in another city. Your flowers are in the warehouse. Can you hear me? We have a conflict. What profit? Not profit. The cellular service is horrible here. Hello? So at what time you'll be here? Hello? Hello? What is it? If so, no. Hello. Igor. Decided to come earlier to see how you're here. Horrible. It's a catastrophe. I didn't receive flowers from the warehouse. There was some kind of conflict. The driver got stuck and his car broke down. So they can't bring flowers today? No, there is only a watchman in the warehouse. They have no workers, no transport, no one. I can't reach them. All right, keep calm, okay? I'll figure out what to do. What can you do here? I have failed. I won't get money. I won't pay for the loan. And I will lose the studio. Or we can go to the warehouse and pick up the flowers ourselves. By the way, there's a bus in the parking lot. I can make a deal with the driver. Igor, if we are quick, we can make it. Let me go first. Oh. Let's go then. Yeah. And again, you saved me. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> it's closed. <gasps> what happened? I forgot my bag. Don't worry, no one will steal it. An invoice for flowers is there. Damn it. We don't have time to go back. Let's try without it. Of course, they will believe me and give me a huge number of flowers out of thin air. Sonia, try to call them again. Phone is in the bag. Sonia, you're amazing. Why is it always like this with me? What's now? I have an idea. Let's go. Come on. This is theft. Not exactly. You have all the invoices, you have paid for the flowers. Explain everything later.
This way. Let's go. Carefully, carefully. Give me a hand, Sonia. Careful. Watch your head. Oh! My leg! Sorry. I can't believe we are doing this. Don't stop. <laughs> Come here. Here? Yes, I think yes. Careful. Careful. Watch it. Well, do you see them? Yes. My flowers are there. Indeed? Check invoices. Yes, they are. Yeah? Yeah. Well, 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 watch it. The last one. Come on. Let's go. It seems... We need to pick up the flowers. Yes, you're right. You're crazy, Igor. You are the same. And let's drop the formalities and go to first name terms. Angry. You have done your job very well, Sonia. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. You know, I have another task for you. Let's discuss all the details tomorrow at 9. Thank you. Okay. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Just a minute. Yes, of course. So I... Let's go. I want to introduce you to someone. Get together and talk. I hope no one is bored. Don't say that. I love all your events. Glad to hear it. Things are going uphill, which means we have a good reason to celebrate. Meet Igor Sorokin, my daughter's fiancé, my future son-in-law. Hello. Igor Sorokin? I know your father. Everyone here knows his father. <laughs> I heard he's in a hospital. What happened? A heart attack. Such a blow. We all pray for his recovery. Wait, so what does it mean? Your daughter and Yegor are about to marry. Yes, you're right. Folks, someone wants to capture the entire market. Don't worry, we'll leave something for you. I'm sorry. Are you leaving already? Yes, my work is done. Can I keep your company? To be honest, I'm already tired of this event. Let's celebrate your amazing job. I know a place where they make amazing mule wine. Well, let's go. Come on. 
I have just realized what could happen to us. The watchman was there a couple of meters from us. But if he saw us, what would we do then, huh? I had a plan B. So tell me. Please, please, let us go. I suddenly remembered how we were sitting in the car in front of the hospital and you told me about your dream. Yes. Looks like it was a hundred years ago. Yes. You were afraid to think about any changes, but now... Look at yourself. You did a great job. And you helped me. No, I didn't do anything at all. Yes, you did. It is all about your strength and perseverance. I'll tell you that few people have enough courage for it. Sounds like you're talking about yourself. Now, just thinking out loud. Such a beautiful place. My mother and I love to visit it very much. Hmm. Only mom? What about your dad? He left us. When I was eight years old, I had to grow up very early. It must have been hard for you. It was much harder when he tried to take part in my life. Once, my father sent his bodyguard with a gift on one of my birthdays. It was a huge radio-controlled car, all glowing, shining, and squeaking. In one word, it is impossible to imagine a better gift for a boy. But as soon as bodyguard left, I took that car and threw it out of the window. I needed a father, not his gifts. What about now? Do you get along? When I graduated, he... seemed to understand that he was wrong and... did a lot for me. Helped to get an education in London connected to the business. So you forgive him? I love him. I do. But I will never be able to forgive. He doesn't even understand it. But there's one thing I do know for sure. Someday I will have a child and I won't let him grow up without a father. Good morning. Morning. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. I'm late. I have to go. God, I'm late too. Turn away. No, you turn away. <laughs> I'm first. Okay, just be quick. A very beautiful house. What is the occasion? Engagement. Congratulations. My fiance is late. I think we'll start without him. All right. Come on in. I put it down 
Here. Can we move the furniture? Yes. Great. Then we'll put the tables here. We will have white orchids. It will be very beautiful. Here are five varieties of roses with red to yellow overflow. About the thousand pieces will be enough. Here are the vases. In the corners, there will be tall, beautiful, and elegant vases with assorted flower compositions. Here we'll make a monogram for the capital letters of your names. Everything will be done from flowers. Interesting, especially the letter idea. What are your letters? Sometimes the combination doesn't sound very good. We have very beautiful letters. Ka and Ye. Excellent. Ka and Ye as symbols of your love. Four vases are enough. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm late. And here is my fiancé. Meet. Igor. Igor. Episode 3 Sonia! Sonia, wait! Let's go now, I'm done. Where to? It doesn't matter, go! Sonia! Sonia! Igor, what was it? Isn't she weird, right? He didn't tell you anything? No. He seemed to be a good man. A good man with a bride and an engagement in no time. What were you thinking? How could you not notice he had a fiancé? Lienka. I want to be happy. Don't you get it? For a while, I thought that everything could be fine. But I was wrong. Or maybe to hell. To hell? I mean, man, they are nothing but troubles. <laughs> to hell, all of them. It's better to be alone. You are not alone. You have your florist studio. It was your dream. And you must follow it. It's your own words. Thank you very much, Lena. You're always there in difficult times. Don't mention it. We are friends. Goodbye. See you soon. Things are going well for you. Well, yes. First payment. Amazing. Why? To be honest, when I first saw you, I didn't think you would make it. I mean, your business. People come to take loans every day. However, most of them can't pay back. It's a simple idea. Not everyone is able to open and raise their own businesses. So I'm not the majority. I did succeed. So far, so good. It's the first payment. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Thank you. Hello. Sonia, is that you? Where have you gone yesterday? Hello, Christina. We have very little time and so much to do. The engagement is in a few days. Can you handle it? Christina, listen to me, please. I love your ideas with the flower letters. I want the whole house to be covered in flowers. Christina, I understand everything, but... Sonia, listen. I don't know what happened this morning. But if we want to end on time, we need to end the discussion. Christina, please listen to me. I won't be able to complete your order. What does it mean? Excuse me. I wish all the best to you and your fiancé. Sonia.
Fine. Igor, you are so worried about your father. But everything will be fine, really. I can't wait to announce our engagement. Why is the nurse looking at you like that? I have no idea. Virda just like the girl who decorated our office. She refused to decorate the house for our engagement. Can you imagine that? Like she doesn't want a good reputation and money. I'm worried that we won't make it on time. I don't want us to be in a hurry, okay? Igor, I have already found a new florist. And now I'm going to meet him. It wouldn't hurt you to come with me? I can't now. I have very important things to do. Igor. I'm sorry. What was that? Sonia, Sonia, we need to talk. Closed. Take your hand away. I won't. I'll close the door anyway. And break my arm. I have nothing to talk about. But I have. I must tell you the truth. I saw everything. I beg you. Just listen, please. Christina and I studied together in London. There we have started dating. I shared the management of the company with my father, and Christina took over her family business. Our parents have always dreamed of a merger between Sorokins and Lebedevs. Especially my father. He became obsessed with this idea. Christina's father died a year ago. After his death, my father began to put pressure on me. And what happened then, you know. A heart attack and... I became afraid. I was so afraid of upsetting my father that I proposed to Christina. That's the only reason. Well done. You did a great job, Yegor. You take care of your family. You take care of your father. I just don't understand why you're telling me all this. I'm a stranger. You really don't understand? No. After I had met you, everything changed. You had met me. We had a nice chat. And then did something stupid. I regret. But I don't. After we've done something stupid like you said, I can't help myself. I can think only about you. I am sure you're the woman I want to spend my whole life with. That's right. You want. It's the most important point, yeah? But you should have told me about your bride. You knew about my husband. I've told right away about him. I didn't hide anything. But you're just like all the other men. Yegor, if you had feelings for me, you would do things. I'm ready for any action for you. Don't you feel it? Did you call off your engagement? Sorry? Can't you hear? Did you call off your engagement? No. See? What else can we talk about? That's nice. And costs a lot. It is very difficult to find a good specialist now. At first I hired one, Dumbbell. I was lucky enough to kick her out in time. Yes, now we have a very expensive florist. But you can see the result. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we are ready to start. Where is Yegor? He was somewhere here. You can start. Yegor will come. Are you sure? Yes. Friends, please come closer. We all gathered here in this wonderful house for an important event. Our charming Christina 
is going to tell you more about it. Welcome her. Louder. And we welcome our brave Yegor. I'm sure he's on his way to us. Oh, yes. Where is he? Yegor, we are all waiting for you in the lobby. Where are you? Let's applause. Yegor? Yegor! And here he is. Let's welcome him. Finally. Friends, this is a very exciting day in the lives of two young people. They waited for a very long time. Every person on this planet is looking for their soulmate. But not everyone finds some. Yegor, Kristina, you are extremely lucky. You have met each other. You fell in love. And now, both of you finally ready to say aloud those words you have kept in your hearts for so long. I... I honestly... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yegor, what's going on? Why are you standing here? What are you doing, fool? Run after him, bring that bastard back. Yegor! Stop! What are you doing? Christina. Honey. I'm tired of pretending. You have to understand, I don't love you. Stop talking nonsense. You're just used to me. And that's it. Our love is... Our love has disappeared. It is gone. What's wrong with you? Please, let's go back to the house. The guests are waiting. We have to... Listen, listen. I promise you'll be fine. You will meet someone who deeply loves you. But I can't take it anymore. I can't. Sorry. Igor. Igor. Don't you dare to leave. That bastard humiliate us like that, in front of everyone. That's your fault. You should have kept an eye on him. It's not my fault. No yours. After so many years together, you can drag him down to Isle. Mom, what could I do? Do you like the house you live in? Do you like the car you drive? Or maybe clothes you afford? Without Igor's money, they will take all this from you and leave your bare ass at the street. Do you want this? We must bring Igor back in any cost, understand? Let me help you. It's not heavy. I did it. Well done. Put it there. I felt myself so relieved, like a huge stone had fallen out of my heart. I was serious about everything I've told you. What have you done? What kind of reaction is that? I told the truth. What truth? About everything. That I don't love her. We neither won't get engaged nor get married. The engagement is today. Wait, did you run away? I did it only because I can't stop thinking about you. Since the first day I met you. Igor, but you can't run away on the day of the engagement. Why didn't you cancel it before? I was afraid and I didn't have courage to do it. And today... I finally understood I can't lie anymore, either to myself or to others. So that's how you do it. First you propose, then you run. Yes, yes, I was wrong. But if I didn't run away, 
it would be much worse for me, for Christina, for everyone. I want everything to be like it used to be. The main thing is our present, right now. I have a lot of things to do in my present. I have orders to take care of, I need to pay off loan. So don't bother me, please. Rejected. Valera. Find Yegor immediately. Got it. He's at the bar, drunk as goat. Don't. I'll handle it. Repeat. Scotch, please. In a minute. It was a good day, wasn't it? It's not so easy to get rid of your family, yeah? Igor... I can understand your feelings. Sure you do. Seriously. Engagement, wedding... These are very serious events, especially in the life of a man. You're so afraid of losing your freedom. Well, you had a breakdown, yeah? It's okay, it happens. We are with you, even without an engagement. Let's go home. Woman. The woman who never became my mother-in-law. I'll tell you without embellishment. It's all over between Christina and me. Don't be stupid. Just don't. You know how my late husband wanted our families to unite, right? And you have fooled my poor little girl for so many years. So it's time to be a man, marry her. Don't you understand? I don't love Christina. I don't. I don't care. Do you hear me? I don't care if you love her or not. Marry her and that's it. There will be no wedding. Are you sure? Your father has a weak heart, and he won't be very happy about this news. Will you tell him yourself? Or should I do it? Come again. What a beautiful day. I'm closing. Hi. What a beautiful day, what a beautiful day, what a perfect day. Are you all right? I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Lenka, what happened? I'm not Lenka. I'm Yelena Alexeyevna, future doctor. Did you get in? Yes, with a full scholarship. That's my girl. Good job. Thank you. Let's celebrate. Yes, of course. I hope your visit won't make your father nervous. 
He needs to remain calm. All right. Come on. Why are you so quiet? Did the engagement go wrong? Don't be silent. Talk to me. It's okay, Dad. It's just... We can't get along with Christina. Just look at him. I've been lying here for days among these devices, all in pipes. And you know what I feel? Death. I can feel her breath. Dad, come on. I won't stop. Listen. All my youth, all my life, I did nothing but work. I worked to earn this damn money. Even divorced your mother because of it. In the 90s, I wanted to keep you safe. So what? Am I happy now? Yes. Of course, I can afford something, especially when I'm sick. But laying here, all alone, I want to trade all my money to go back. To get together with your mom and you. I want to hold your hand and walk you to school. Or play football with you. Or go fishing. That's what I'm thinking about. It is impossible. Yes, son, this is impossible. But I am very grateful that you began to communicate with me, that forgave me. You followed my footsteps and took over my company. Thank you. Dad, it's all right. That's what I think. You don't have to marry Christina. No need. Live your life, son. My ambition is only my ambition. I am sorry. I am sorry that I wanted to force you to marry. Forgive me. Dad, you... you have no idea what these words mean to me. I can't pay off the loan with that. Lena! Only small orders. Well, it's fine, you will have some more. What about your men? My men? Not Anton, of course. Has Igor called you? Every day. And you don't answer. I won't. Do you hate him? No. Hate is destructive. He has known Christina since childhood, and he met me less than a month ago. Now you understand his reason to not to tell you. It doesn't excuse him. Why are you protecting him? All my life I went with the flow. I did as others did, I thought as others thought. I got used to the idea. I have been dreaming of becoming a doctor, but I was afraid to even try. 
until a miracle happened to me. A miracle? Yes. I met my classmate, who miraculously overplayed death. She showed me that if you do not give it to your fear, you can achieve everything. She left her unwolving husband, got a huge loan, and opened her own studio. Her own studio! I can! I was such a fool, I was afraid to try. And now I'm a future doctor. Thank you for this. Listen. Just listen. The main thing is that you feel. If you love Igor, then everything else is unimportant. Let the past stay in the past. Leave the present. Igor is calling. Should I answer? My god, girl, of course! Yes, hi. I'm surprisingly calm around you. When you're near, I know everything is gonna be all right. I've never experienced anything like this, never. And I understand how it looks for you, and you should... you should hate me. If you say I shouldn't call or write you, I won't. But before you decide, I... must tell you. I love you. Igor, I love you too. I haven't danced in such a long time. I have a surprise for you. Open. That's great. Tickets to London? I booked a weekend in London for us. Are you crazy, Igor? Yes, it's your fault. But what about the visa? Don't worry, I'll handle it. By the way, another surprise awaits you in London. I thought that Igor was smarter. However, he found another woman. When was that? Look, I have some more. I've been watching them for a week. They are in love. Look. They went to the cafe, cinema. They hold hands and kiss each other on every corner. Bastard. With this florist girl. That's why she ran away. Bitch. Where are you going? I'm going to find her and rip out her hair. This won't help you. We need to be smarter. Sonia? What you looking at? Tea? How did you... What a shit. Where's my money? I don't have it. Wait a bit longer. Do you know what will happen after? I will come, and if I don't see the money, I will hurt you very, very badly. That's a mistake.
Look at him, sleeping so peacefully. Maybe we should go. Can direct his own son to the right place. Mom. Hello there. Sveta, Christina? Do you even know what's going on? What? Do you know where's your son? And most importantly, with whom? He's in London with some florist girl. Oh, that. You still can't drop this topic. I know everything Yegor has told me. So you know. That's why you're so calm. What can I do? I won't force him. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? You have changed your mind, as I see. Sveta, I didn't realize it before. But our children have to decide everything by themselves. Oh, I see. Christine, I am sorry. But Yegor, he doesn't love you. I am not willing to force him. I have been waiting for this wedding for so long, for your indecisive Yegor to propose. And now what? Everything went to hell. Oh, come on. And now you, old stump, aren't going to react properly. I beg you, don't get hysterical. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Oh, don't get hysterical. Mom. Your Yegor ruined everything. He dumped Christina. Do you hear it? How could you let that happen? Where were you looking? Don't you understand? This marriage is everything for me. We are deeply in debt. Yes, me, our company is bankrupt. This marriage and your money are the only salvation. Do you hear? We will be nothing without this marriage. Nothing. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, is he dying? Let's go faster. Let's go. What's wrong? Didn't like London. Igor, how could I? It was the best weekend of my life. You, me, we are together in London. You proposed to me near Big Ben. I couldn't have dreamed of such a thing. What's wrong with the mood then? Well, I'm still married. Sonia, I know it. You have to understand that a divorce is just a legal formality. Unless, of course, you're planning to get back with him. No. I don't want to hear about him. So, it's going to be like this. Immediately after the divorce, we get married. Wait. What? Tell me, are you capable of crazy things? How crazy? Yes or no? I'm a decent girl. That wasn't my question. What do you have in mind? Let's move in. Are you serious now? Yes, I am. Let's live together. So, and besides, my apartment is much more spacious than yours. Well, what do you say? The door is open. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I go first. Don't touch anything. The police will figure it out. Leave it. Someone was rummaging around. Yes. The thieves. I've got nothing. I immediately pay the money to the bank. But the thieves don't know about it. Should I call the police? The vacation is over. Great excuse to turn on the phone. Well, and here we go. Yes, it's Yegor. What? 
No, no, listen. Dad passed away. No, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Do not freak out. Do not freak out? Mom, do you even understand what happened? Christina, calm down. It is what it is. We have to keep going with Igor. Are you out of your mind? Do you hear what are you saying? Mom, you just killed a man and I was with you. You need to call a lawyer. No one will call anywhere. Good. Nobody saw us. They probably thought that the old stump died by himself. What if you didn't think so? What if the nurses saw us? Mom, there were cameras, we'll be jailed. Calm down. Sometimes I feel like you're not my daughter. Yes, I lost my temper. But now I can't change anything. Sorokin is dead. You need to pull yourself together and turn the situation in our favor. And what are you going to do? I'll think of something. I am so... sorry for your loss. It's all my fault. Listen, I... I know how hard and painful it is to lose a loved one. But life goes on. Do you hear me? Could you leave me? I need to be alone. Yegor. Don't feel sorry for me. Just leave me alone. Antonio! Are you in a hurry? I'll pay back. Good to hear. Pay. But not today. I don't have it yet. But that's for now. I'll get the money. Did I tell you about the interest? And about the pain? Yes, this is quite fair. I'll put you in the water one more time. People will think you commit a suicide. Don't. I will pay you back, I swear. Your words mean nothing. I have no money, but I know where to get it. Enough for the interest and more to come. Don't make up stories. This is not a story. My wife owns a florist Rice studio. Her insurance is more than enough for you. You're lying. No, I swear. Here, here. Here. See? Insurance photo. If something happens to the studio, my wife will be paid a huge sum. Your wife, not you. I'm her husband, so her money is my money. Your money is my money. Keep it in mind. We're here. Are you okay? Yes. 
can't be better. This store seems to be closed. Should I take you home? No, this is not a store. It's my florist try studio. I don't want to go home. Don't worry. As you wish. Episode 4. Sonia, I'm sorry, I behaved like... Igor, hello. What? I'm at the studio. It's fire here, I can't get out. Save me, please. Sonia! Sonia!
Sonia. Sonia. Sonia, Sonia, how are you? Sonia. Here? It's even better than before. All good. No need to worry. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Do you understand how important it is? If he knew, we are done. The medical certificate is in the daughter's name. Don't worry, I'm the best. Here, free work. Do you know her? Excuse me? What were you talking about? Lenochka, what's wrong? Nothing. My conversations with patients are confidential. So she is your patient. It's not your business. Get up. Wear this. You will be irresistible. So are we going? Of course. We don't tear our suspicion. So chop chop. Get dressed. I don't want to go. Igor needs support. Mom, he doesn't need my support. Maybe he doesn't. But you need to talk to him. We have discussed everything. Well, I'm sure he will be glad to find out about your pregnancy. But I'm not pregnant. Look. See this? It's your baby. I don't understand. What don't you understand? I bought this certificate. And the rest to make you officially pregnant. And you know Yegor always wanted to be a father. Maybe you are right, but I'm not pregnant. What are we going to do then? We will think about it later. Come on. Hurry up. I missed my father so much in my childhood. I knew he was somewhere there, but wanted him to be by my side. I... I couldn't forgive him. I couldn't. However, now I see what he was doing back then was for us, but it's too late. I've never said it. Igor, he knew it. He is always with you. Always. Igor, I even don't know what to say. He passed away so unexpectedly. Such a blow for all of us. Please, accept my condolences. And remember, we are always there for you. Thank you, Svetlana. Igor. I am so sorry. My father passed away and... I know. I know it's hard. I can understand you better than anyone else. If you need me, just tell it. Such a loss, Yegor. Your father was a young man. I can't believe it. Thank you. Yegor, can I have you for what? I understand it might be not a good time, but I can see Christina's struggles. Svetlana, again? Indeed, it's not the right time. I'm not about the breakup. 
It's your business, however. You must know. Christina is against it, but I believe it's the right thing to do. What's that? People's life is so unpredictable. Christina is pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. Here. Take a look. This is your child, Yegor. I beg you, don't tell Christina that I've told you. She is so sensitive now. She must avoid stress. What did you tell him? Oh, that's you. Anyway, you're not his level. Or anyone's else level. Christina, Christina! Igor. Sorry, I am lost in thoughts nowadays. I guess I know why. I doubt it. Why didn't you tell me? About what? Hmm? About pregnancy. You should have told me. Why? You dumped me. Have you forgotten it? If you don't need me, you don't need our child too. Don't say it. It's perfectly clear that child is at first place for me. I will never give up on him. Igor? Congratulations. You have dreamed of it. I hope you will be a good father. I don't understand how could she get pregnant. Well, you see, something like this can happen when mama and papa have some privacy. I've seen Christina's mother at the hospital, talking to a gynecologist. Now I know the topic. It's so nasty. Herbs. Bring some alcohol. Sonia, you must bring him back. Lena, he's going to have a child with his ex fiance What do you want me to do? Do you want me to destroy a future family? To leave a child without a father? No, that's not my point. But it's time to get up. How long have you stayed in the bed? It won't help me. How about your dream? You must aspire Please, after Please, leave me alone. I don't want to hear anything about Igor or studio. Leave me. As you wish. Sonia? I couldn't reach you for three days. Are you okay? Yes. God, Sonia. What's wrong with you? The door is unlocked. Room is the mess. Is it you? Yes, it's me. Listen, I know what happened to your studio. You tried your best, and... It's so unfair. Who cares how hard I tried? You can't say so, Sonia. 
Who cares? Is it daylight? I'm gonna make some coffee. For me? Coffee with brandy to cheer you up. You was a broom. It will be easier to breathe. Anton, you made coffee for me. Cleaned the apartment and now flowers. What's going on? Well, what do you think? We're not strangers. Whatever is between us, you aren't an indifferent to me. When you had left, I understood a lot. We had hard times, but... Frankly speaking, all of our marriage is a hard time. Yes. And I was the reason. I looked at our life from your perspective and saw what a monster I was. I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry. But I've changed, Sonia. Yeah, don't tell me you'll give up gambling. But I did. Don't believe me, do you? Actually, no. What's that? I'm visiting this group for two weeks. They help people like me to give up gambling addiction. I'm sorry. I don't know what to believe. Sonia, I quit gambling. And I need to show you something. Come home for dinner tonight. Home? So? This is our baby. Such a strange feeling, I'm a father. May I go with you next time? No, Igor. I won't forgive you so soon. I can't stop thinking about you and... Listen, you... Don't talk. I got you. We both need time. I thought I would raise our baby by myself, but you're here. I can't stop smiling knowing that we're having a baby. It's essential for a child to grow up in a full family. Come on in. Hi. Let me help you. It smells so good. A dinner. By the way, cooked it by myself. Wow. Yeah, I hope you like it. I spent whole evening at the kitchen. You... You're so beautiful. Thank you. Come. Oh, my. Have a seat. Anton, you've... You've never done something like this. 
Listen, Sonia. For the first time in my life, I realized what my life was like and how unfair I was to you. You took care of me all my life and loved me. I am guilty. I want to start all over again. But for real, you know? I want you to be happy. I want to have a baby. Do you want us to have a baby? Of course. This little detail, our child, will make our family complete. Anton, I'm sorry. I can't now. Everything is so fast. Sorry. Well, let's have dinner then. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, move. Excuse me? Yes? Why was he arrested? Vadim has used his position and was engaged in forging medical certificates. About pregnancy? Yes, about pregnancy, ultrasound, and so on. I can't even believe he did it. Here. He changed pregnant women's ultrasounds and wrote everything down in a notebook. Not to forget. Christina Lebedeva. Кристина Лебедева. Hi. Sonia, you can't believe what happened. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm going back with Anton. Anton, are you out of your mind? He destroyed your life. Lena. Is this your reason to come? Everyone is so smart, knows what's best for me. Take care of yourself. But I'm going back to my husband. But you don't have to. The doctor was arrested in our hospital. So what? He is a gynecologist, and he gave everyone false pregnancy certificates. Just think, he issued the same certificate to Christina. She is not pregnant, she is deceiving Igor. Yes. Wow. Wow? Is that all you want to say? Lena, what do you want from me? The reason isn't in Christina's pregnancy, but Igor's behavior. If he wanted to be with me, he probably would have been here. How can you understand? He is responsible. He doesn't want to leave his unborn child. Christina is the bad guy here, and you have to go tell him everything. Should I? Yes. No. It's all over with Igor. My life is getting better. And by the way, Anton quit gambling, and he wants us to have a child. Anton? Yes. Yes, Lena, he has changed. When I felt bad, Anton came to support me, and Igor turned away. So that's it. I'm done. One doctor was accused of bribes and falsification of pregnancy certificates in our hospital. I don't quite understand. Why do you tell me this? He forged such a certificate for Christina. She is not pregnant. Bullshit. Listen, if you need evidence or details, contact the head chief, Tikhonov Fyodor. He will tell you everything. Visit him.
What are you doing? Something important. Important? Anton, I hope you... I'm not playing. I told you I quit it. So what are you doing? I'm looking for a job. So many vacancies, I don't even know what to choose. For example, a courier with a bike. What do you think? It's winter now. Well, then I'll put on winter tires. Or this. Handing out flyers dressed as a Christmas bunny. Hourly payment. Seriously, rabbit? Imagine that. Your husband is a Christmas bunny. Yes. Yeah. Listen. Maybe you can do repairs? You were good at it. And the income was good. Repairs? Yes. Why not? As in the good old days. As in the good old days. Well, what are you planning now? I don't know. I don't know. Probably I'll beg to take me to an old job. No. My wife deserves more than an office job where no one appreciated her. What should I do then? Don't give up. And keep doing flowers. Let's open a new studio, I'll help you. We're together now. We're a team. We are the force. Are you serious? Yes. Anton. I don't understand. I really don't understand. How can you be like that? I even can't call you a human. Fake pregnancy certificates, fake ultrasound. This is the height of hypocrisy. Igor, listen. It's all for us. I love you. Do you? Do you love me? You're a callous, selfish being. I'm afraid you don't even know what love is. And you'll never know. Igor, I do love you. Enough. Enough. Because of you. You are the reason why I've ruined my relationship with the person I truly love. You knew how I feel about children and took advantage of it. I will never forgive you. Never. Of course it was you. Here's the one who is behind all this. Igor, take it easy. Let's discuss everything. Nothing can stop you. Victory at any cost? You will even go to such meanness, right? Igor, it's all for you. For all of us. You and Christina will be fine. Trust us and everyone will be happy. What a family you are. You know what? You deserve each other. It's good that I figured everything out on time. Igor, wait. Wait, Igor, come back immediately, Igor! Are you happy? Yes, I can believe it. Who would have thought Anton could change? Are you together now? Yeah? Yes, we are. And? Eliana. Well, we sleep in the same bed. We haven't had any intimacy yet. Well, I'm glad if you're okay. That's how it should be. Yeah. Can you imagine? He said he wants me to keep doing my job, even though the studio burned down. Oh, does he know about a huge loan you have to pay off? Yes, and he wants to help. No one will give you money for a second studio. It's not necessary. We will do the repairs ourselves. The studio was insured, and soon we will get check. Does Anton know about it? I'll tell him when the decision of the payment will be made. Lena. I haven't seen him like this before. It's all your fault. If you hadn't interfered, everything would have gone on as usual. And Yegor would have married me sooner or later. We didn't have time to wait. Yegor only fooled you around. You started dating back in London. And look how many years have passed. What's the difference he has left? We still have chance. We will come up with something. What can we do? Anything. We have to think first. Mom, stop. Thank you. I have one notary. He owns me. 
You need to talk to him. What does the notary have to do with it? Well, we don't need Igor himself. We need his money, his father's company. If we can't get Igor, let's try to get his company. Mom, is murder not enough for you? Now you want to go raiding. And what do you suggest, daughter? Maybe you can tell me the way out. Except. Except. We are bankrupt. We can't pay our obligations. I will be judged. Do you remember it? I remember. Then they will know about the murder. You will go as an accomplice. Goodbye. Sonia, wait. Sonia, stop. Don't you see I'm waiting for you? What do you want? One more conversation. Yes, and it is very important. I don't think so. Christina isn't pregnant. All this was a lie. I know. Then you must understand me. I don't owe you anything. Whether Christina is pregnant or not, it doesn't matter. Our relationship is over. Igor, you're not a little boy. You must understand this. Listen, even when I thought Christina was pregnant, I didn't stop loving you. You can't imagine how hard it is to choose between loving you and loving my child. Why do I have to understand you all the time? Can you understand me? I want family, Igor. A real family. Hey, jerk! I'm gonna break all your bones now. Anton, wait a minute. Meet my husband. Yes, he is not exemplary. But he tries to change for the best. And he does it for me. I saw from the window how this idiot was talking to you. Do you know him? No. Have you received the insurance? Yes, the money is here. And you're carrying it with you. We should have gone to the bank together. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, I'm coming. The examination after your father's autopsy was somewhat delayed. But now the results are ready. I still don't understand anything. There are bad news. Your father... He didn't die a natural death. He... he was killed. And you are... Gennady Viktorovich, investigator. According to preliminary data, someone deliberately interrupted the operation of the life support apparatus. This is nonsense. I can't believe it. Why? Why would anyone do this? Task force immediately examined your father's room. There is no doubt. Sorokin Ilya Gennadievich, unfortunately, was killed. The killer plucked the tube from the machine, causing the death of the patient. Do you have any suspects? Not yet. You are the sole heir. That's why I decided to talk to you. What are you hinting at now? Nothing. For now, nothing. Even vice versa. I hope you can help bring some clarity to this case. The killer left evidence at the crime scene. This is a rhinestone. The rhinestone was left on the tube of the apparatus. Do you have any idea to whom it might belong to? A toast.
for the revival of the Florist Fry Studio and for a new life. You know, for a happy life. For our happy life. So, now I can congratulate you. I hope you don't regret your decision. After all, this is your father's and my best friend's company. Not at all. Business is not for me. Well, now you're free. Do you have any plans? I don't know yet, but I know for sure I will return to London. Nothing holds me here. Flight is tonight. Good luck. Thanks. Lebedeva Svetlana? You're coming with me. What's that? You're charged with the murder of Sorokin Ilya. What a violent accusation. A rhinestone from a woman's nail was found at the crime scene, with your fingerprints on the handset. So what? You'd better come with us voluntarily. Moreover, someone is waiting for you in the car. We will explain everything in the department. Please. Mom! Look out, don't hit your head. Anton! Anton! Anton, where is the money? Where are you? Sonichka, everything is fine. Are you playing slot machines again? No, no, everything is okay. Everything is okay. You are my baby. Go, go, go! Yeah, hello. Hello, this is a fire inspector. Could you come to my office? Details of the fire investigation have come to light. What kind of details? It was an arson. I hope you haven't received your insurance money yet. Otherwise, they will have to be returned.
Damn. What's going on here? Sonia! What is this mess in the apartment? You've gotten completely out of hands. Anton, where's the money? What? What money? My money. You played, I heard it. Because I have a new 100% system. How much did you lose? Casino, they are bastards. Scammers. My system couldn't lose. Have you lost everything? I didn't lose. I was deceived. You promised me. You've been visiting the group therapy. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. I said it for you to believe me. And you believed, didn't you? What? Yes. All those dinners, dogs, champagne. So everything was because of the money? Because of that stupid insurance? How? How could you? That was you. You rummaged into my apartment. And what should I do, eh? You left me in debt. And you have opened your own business. And I needed money. There was arson in the studio. Is that you too? Yes. Have you collected your clothes? Why did you stop? Come on, get out of here. You can't get away with this. And what will happen? What will happen? I'll go to the police. Come here. You don't go anywhere. Is it clear? Have you forgotten what it's like to live with a husband? I will kill you. Don't. I'll warm up dinner for you. You're hungry. There. Now I see my wife. Warm it up. And then clean up the apartment. Wanted to fool me, bitch. You're going to jail. Shut up. You will rot in prison. Shut up, I said. How are you? How are you? Look at me. Come here. Here. Sonia, Sonia, baby, I'm here. Hush, my dear. Quiet. Quiet, hold on. Now, now. Hello? Ambulance. A woman dies. Zarechna 52. Sonia, Sonia, everything's fine. I'm here. Do you hear? Yegor. I love you. Sonia. Sonia. Sonia! I never had time to tell you this. But I know how much you wanted to hear it, Father. 
I forgave you a long time ago. I love you and have always loved you. Always. Hey, I told you to sit in the car. The doctor forbade you to move. Igor, everything is all right. I feel great. The wound has almost healed. Oh, I won't survive if something happens to you. Everything will be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Are you cold? Four years later. I didn't think we'd see each other again. Yes. Well, I said I would come. Four years have passed. Yeah, time passes fast. For how long are you staying? My husband has business here. He opens an exhibition. Yeah, Igor's paintings are very popular in London. And here is the first exhibition. It's wonderful. By the way, I'm going to open Floris Dry Studio. So do you still deal with flowers? Yes. They're wonderful. How can I live without flowers? I have three studios in London, several in Europe, and more to come here. Sonia, you are great. No, Lenka, it's you. You are a doctor now. A Yelena Alexeyevna now. Life is a strange thing. Mom! Run to your mother. Go. All right, Lena. I will go. We'll talk later. I'm glad to see you. Mom! Mommy! Who is here? Shall we go? Give me a hand. Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine, National University of Trade and Economics. Please. Good morning, Raisa Stepanivna. Good morning, Berezovska. I brought you an application. Will you pass it on to the dean, please? Come on, what do you got there? Yeah, why suddenly? The last year is still left. Yes, but I just have a boyfriend. Are you getting married? <laughs> Not yet. But I want to work and study at the same time. I have to make it somehow. Will you pass it on? I see. So, your fiancé is not an oligarch. I will pass it on. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, Berezovska. Oh, yes. Basket for Happiness, Episode 1 Attention, we invite you to take part in the promotion. Our store always offers only quality products. Only here you can find the freshest products. If you find fresher ones, we will refund your money. A big company means big opportunities. We invite you to work as a sales assistant, cashier of the trading floor, fish processor, picker, receiver, loader. We offer. I'm only five minutes late, Zana Viktorovna. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I know these five minutes. Nastia, who are you telling? So, you can forget about the bonus, and if it happens again, you'll be fired. I've warned you, you're free to go. Excuse me? What's your question? I read in it about a job there. 
Can you hear well? You're free. Do you have any work experience? Actually, no, but I'm easily trained. And I can be a seller or a cashier. You all say that, but why did you come to us? I liked your name, Basket for Happiness. Yes, the title is promising. By the way, it's my idea. Well, sit down, tell me about yourself. Car showroom. This car is a five-year-old, but the mileage is only 60,000. Never beaten, kept in a warm garage. A very nice horse. The interior is leather clean. The audio system is just great. Well, I see. Multi-wheel. Hi. What are you doing here? Sorry, customers, I can't. Do you like it? Want it? Or should I show you something else? There's no need to. There's a lot to think about. We will be very pleased to see you again in our salon. Thank you. I spent two hours flattering this asshole. He'll be thinking. Why did you come? And I have good news. I have a job. Wait. What about the university? I transferred to a distance education program anyway, so we will have another salary in our budget. Isn't it a good thing? No, no one is saying it's bad. It's just that we haven't discussed it. But if you've decided so, Yes, I have decided. Okay. Sri, I can start tomorrow. Supermarket basket for happiness. Well? Yeah, a sales assistant. That's for now. Once I get my diploma, we'll see. Okay. And the car is really cool. Yes, I don't understand him at all, to be honest. May I sit down? Okay. Will we also have a similar one someday? We'll see. Oh. Watch your way, you idiot. I'm sorry. Do you know how much this suit costs? Zenka? Kachunina, hi. Gloria. Yeah, I'm sorry. Savitsky, it's okay, really. How long haven't we seen each other? Hey, I don't remember. And I remember, from the graduation party. Yeah. And I asked our guys about you, and they didn't say anything. I just went to London, I studied at a business school there. London, how cool. Listen, uh, for that case, uh, treat your former classmate to coffee. Sure. You have already. Let's throw it away. Let's go. I'm sorry again. I'm used to the bicycle lanes almost everywhere in London. Well, I'm sorry. Nothing is wrong with you. Just buy me a new suit. It's tough. Come on, I'm kidding. Better tell me how it is in London. In London? It's raining. Have you seen any of our guys? Yes, Iris Samokina. Do you remember? She gave birth to her third child. Wow, that's great. Yes, Mishko Jansen. He became an assistant to the deputy. Who would have thought? Kuzovkov. Kuzovkov married a model. Imagine that. Really? Yes. And you? Haven't engaged yet. And I? I'm not in a hurry with this matter. And that's right. I also believe that career is the most important thing, right? Something like that. Sure, what do you do, Shuza? Oh. Uh, and Zuza is now the HR director at her father's company. Wow. He recently opened a supermarket. We're going to expand. Cool. 
Hey, Savitsky. Did you find a job? I haven't found one yet, but I have a few offers, so I am thinking. So come to us. We need intelligent and decent people like you. What makes you think I'm intelligent and decent? No, really. I've been looking for a commercial director for six months. I can't find a proper one. Let's go right now. It's not far away. I'll introduce you to my dad. He solves issues like this. Well, you must remember him. I do remember, but why right now? No need to hold on. It is just... You look encamped. The main thing is here. Basket for happiness. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, so you graduated from business school. In London, Dad, can you imagine how cool it is? Boria will bring his diploma tomorrow. This is good, Boris. Petrovich. Petrovich. Boris. Do you know retail business? Boris Petrovich. Purchase, sales, logistics. I can't say that I'm a pro in retail technology, but it would be interesting for me to understand. The basic laws of business are always the same, right? I think that I can quickly learn your specifics. Self-confident. But it's good. You see, boys Petrovic. Our company has recently had serious problems. Sales are down and so are profits. In short, We've changed more than one commercial director, but it's not the point. No, of course, we had experienced people, but all of them had no charisma or what? No flavor, so to say. Yes. I see. So do you like flavor? I like extraordinary people. Are you that type? It is not for me to judge. How <laughs> so take a chance? How will you do it? But for a trial period? Of course for now. Let's try. But what are the conditions? That's it. <laughs> and this is a serious conversation. Yeah. Everything is going very well. I've only been hired as a salesperson so far, but the HR director, when she found out that I was graduating from the trade and economic department, that that I could be a department head or administrator in the future. Well, let's drink for our wishes to come true. Yes. Sorry? Am I doing well? Of course. You're doing well, really great. When are we going to submit the application? Liquor, what application? Can't we just go and register and that's it? I don't want us to just register. I want us to have the perfect wedding with fireworks, a goddamn limo, Chinese lanterns. We will earn money for it and will apply right away. Are you waiting for someone? Hello? Hello, and who are you, girl? What's the matter? If you're from the owner, we don't hold up the rent. Oh, sir, he... I need exactly you. I'm exhausted. 
I don't understand anything. Who is this woman? His former mother-in-law. I brought him his son. And you have a good life. Urka went abroad with some Arab and left me with the child. Father got himself a new girlfriend. And me, grandmother, have to raise him. And I'm in poor health. My blood pressure is jumping. I'm going to die soon. So until Urka comes back, take him. Wait a minute. What do you mean, take him? The court gave the child to his mother. All questions are for your Irina. We are now complete strangers. We're officially divorced. Sorry. Is he your son? And who's else? Read this. Artem Serhayovic Meltsov. Why didn't you tell me anything? You guys figure out who told what to whom. And I'm leaving. The things are here. The documents are there. That's it. Oh, God. You're my darling, my boy. You, please forgive me. <laughs> Obey your father and this one. I don't know who... I'm off. I have to be. Let's go. Do you remember our graduation party? We danced all night long. We even saw the sunrise. Yes. You went to see me home. I rubbed my legs so badly. And you didn't want to go to the graduation. By the way, it was me who dragged you out, remember? I remember. You almost dragged me by the hand, yeah. Will you go to work by yourself now? Or do you need help again? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. How a chance meeting can turn your life upside down so easily, how? Aha, uh -huh, things happen. Listen. Your dad is a good guy. I just don't remember him at all. My mom mostly took care of me. She went to parent meetings and talked to teachers. No. But three years ago, she died. Sorry. I remember your mom. Such a spirited woman. And dad was constantly working. First in the ministry, then in this business. He arranged it for me. Yeah. I graduated from the philology department, the faculty of brides. Okay. I'm very happy that you've joined us. Welcome to the happiness basket. Who knows? Maybe you will find your happiness too. Maybe I will. <laughs> Go to sleep. It's late. What's your name? My name is Angelica. You can just call me Lika. You close your eyes and I'll go talk to your dad. My mom said he didn't love me. Will you love me? Of course. Want me to tell you a secret? Tell me if you want. My tooth fell out today. And if you put it under your pillow, tomorrow there will be candy instead. The tooth fairy will bring it. Just don't tell anyone. Promise. I promise. Okay. I'll share some candy with you. I'm not stingy. Do you like candy? I do sleep.
Liquor. You knew I was married. I didn't hide it. Yes, I knew. But you didn't tell me that you had a son. You said that children are a big responsibility and you're not ready for it. But I doubt that he is my son. That's why I didn't tell you. I still pay alimony, honestly, despite the fact that we divorced because she had betrayed me. Believe me, there is a reason to have doubts. It's easy to check now. It's called a DNA test. I will do that. She found me, you see. Sri, this boy thinks you are his father. And that you don't love him. How will we sleep now? I'll make you a bed on the sofa. Come in. Hurry up, breakfast is served. Hurry up, it's getting cold. Mommy, you shouldn't have worried. I'm used to taking care of myself. By the way, I want to rent an apartment. I'm already a big boy. You will always remain a little darling boy for your mom. I always knew that you would achieve a lot in life. Mom, I haven't achieved anything yet. You've become a big boss now. Boria, are you going to go to work like this? Of course, Mom. You know that in the advanced society people dress comfortably in summer. Yes, by the way, I'm going to work on my scooter. Don't be stupid. Your subordinates will be looking at you, so you should wear a jacket and tie, Boria. Ah, uh, yeah, I won't even think about it. Okay, Mom, have a nice day. Well, well, Boria. Mom. Boria. Sri, maybe you could take off work today. You can't leave the child alone at home. I can't. You're on vacation. So you stay. What vacation? Hey, I got a job. Today is my first day at work. Imagine I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know. Let's flip a coin. Are you serious? How else could we resolve this dispute? Heads, I stay, tails, you... It is fair. I am off. Sorry? Bye, honey. Well, wait, well. I am off. Do you go to the preschool? It's a pity. They say it's fun and interesting there, and a lot of kids. Let's go there. I would love to, but it won't work. There are lots of documents to fill out, various forms. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll have to take you with me. Hooray, where to? Where, where to work? Only on one condition. No running, no pampering, and be inside all the time. Got it? Good boy. This is for you from the Tooth Fairy. Delicious. Taste it. From the real Tooth Fairy. Thanks. What are you doing? Asshole, you want us to get another five. Can I help you guys? Where to carry? To the store. Are you a new guy, instead of semen? Then unload it yourself, be quick. Yeah, and take off Simon's uniform from the nail. Because our work is dusty. 
Make sure you don't stain your shirt. Why are you staring? Learn why I'm still alive. Attention, attention. So, basket for happiness supermarket. This is your department. Do you know about dairy? Yes, sure. You will certainly be watching for the first few days. Study the labels, where the fat content is, where it's organic, where it's lactose free, so that you have a prepared answer to any question from customers. Are you listening? Yes, sure, very carefully. A prepared answer to any question. Yes, and all this with a nice radiant smile. Boy, please don't interfere. Go to your mom. She must be looking for you. Is that clear? Yes. Great, then get to work. Good luck. Thanks. The freshest food here. Artem. If you find fresher. Attention, attention. Good morning. Finally, do you English people normally come to work at lunchtime? Do you have lunch at 10 a.m.? It's metaphorical. Yeah. Watch out, don't spill coffee on me again. Come to my office, I'll treat you too. With pleasure. Great. So, Borea, the first days are introductory, then we'll walk around the office, go out into the floor, I'll show you everything, introduce you to the team. Okay, actually, I have a different idea for today, please. Attention, attention. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. What's the production date? The 23rd. What's the fat content? It says here, 15%. And who is the manufacturer? Is it a good quality product? Yes. Just a second. I'll find out now. Well, excuse me. Have you seen a boy here, not tall, with a short haircut and a checkered shirt, blue eyes? Calm down, we'll soon find your boy. You look over there, I'll go over there. Artem. Isn't that your boy? No, it's a girl. Isn't that your boy? Artem, I asked you not to leave and to be in my sight all the time. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for distracting you from your work. You didn't distract me. It's my first day at work. Really? Same here. Promise me you won't go anywhere else. It's just that there are so many beautiful construction sets and cars here. I've never seen anything like them. Will you buy me some? I don't have money yet. Thank you again. You're welcome. How long will I be waiting for you? Yes, sure, let's go. Sweet week. Buy a kilo of candies with raisins and get the second kilo as a gift. Our store constantly controls the quality of goods. <laughs> You're amazing, boy. I would never have thought of that. Viktor Hryhorovic, this is not my idea. This experience has been used abroad for a long time. It is called an undercover chef, a secret boss. How do you say? Undercover? I decided to feel what your store is like, if you don't mind, of course. No, I don't mind. It's even interesting. What can be interesting here? Everyone should do their own job. It's all just kids stuff. Borea, this is not serious. Zana, that's not true. No one in your supermarket knows me. Everyone will be frank with me. I will be able to understand what the team is not happy with. Why there is such a turnover of staff. I will dive into the world of human consumption, so to say. Yeah, well done, well done, boys. Petrovic, that's all very creative. How much longer are you going to dive? 
I think I'll be back soon. Will you give me a week? Let it be good. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting guy. but not at the child's presence. Listen, maybe I should move out. Don't sleep here, don't take that. In fact, it's my football match today. I wanted to watch it. Sri, I'm nervous too, but what can we do? Tomorrow it's your turn to look after Artem. So you want me to take him to work? I did it. But I can't, I have already told you, the boss wants to open a new site in another neighborhood. He wants to make me a director. I can't take the risk and sorry, I don't want to. I can't do it either. I managed to hold out for one day, but now I definitely won't be able to do it again. Artem, wash your hands and go eat. Do you have this Iris contact? Call her, find out when she's coming back. Liquor, you heard her perfectly. She snuck off abroad with some asshole, but I have a five-year-old contact. Maybe she has a different one. Just call her. Is it hard for you? I've already washed. Well then, sit down. Okay, want some potatoes and a chop? I want everything. You're welcome. The subscriber can't and doesn't want to. Your mom is great. I can't even find the words. Stop it. So why stop, indeed? She abandoned her child and ran away. If she didn't need him, why give birth? Sir, he... Who's going to feed him now? I'll feed him. Look at him. Are you happy? How is the child involved? What is his fault? Yes, he's an interesting guy, this Savitsky, smart, inventive. Thanks for recommending him. He will be great. He really will. Yes, I've liked Boris since school. Oh boy, so it's an old love. What love, Dad? He only loved his books and paid no attention to girls. But it seems to me that he's grown up since then. Yes, yes, an independent man. But I don't think he'll stay with us for long. He'll do an internship, gain experience, and then someone will definitely lure him away. But I don't know what to get him interested in. Or who. Dad. Why dad? Why dad? Why dad? Why did you scold him for all his ideas? Well... Why did you call it a kid stuff? Let the guy try it, you would support him somehow, praise him, give him advice. Yes, yes, men appreciate that. We will always have time to scold him. Our heart getting sweetie. Let's go. Artem, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I was really scared. Do you want me to get an advance and buy you that car? No need. Nobody needs me, right? Neither mom nor dad. Nobody at all. What are you talking about? What do you mean, nobody? I need you. You are pretty and kind. Will you take me with you tomorrow? I will. Boria. Boria, leave it. I'll wash and clean it myself. Come here. Look what I found, huh? Look at this. 
This is your fifth beer, right? Yes. Uh huh. How serious? And the look. Yes, too serious for that age. Wait, where's Sana? Here, the one with the braids, right? Yeah. Oh, how cute. Do you remember going to the graduation party together? Of course I remember. I wonder what she looks like now. How? A regular. Two arms, two legs, mom. I'm, I'm going to do the dishes. Wait, do you know if she's married now? Mom, what kind of questions are these? I think she's a very good match. You've known each other for a long time. You work for her father's company. Have you said it all? Mom, aren't I enough for you? I just really want you to be happy. And I want it, so leave it to me. I'll go do the dishes. Yeah. Basket for happiness. In other markets, employees are delivered to their homes, or at least to the subway. And here, I live in the country, you know. By the time I get home, I'm dead. I tried to ask for a vacation yesterday. And? I tell that my child is on vacation. I want to take him to the sea to get healthier. Aha, Zinka stood her ground, saying, Your vacation is scheduled for February, no way. They say they lack staff, who would work here with such an attitude. Hi. Hi. Haven't you lost anyone today? No, he is painting in the storage room. I checked. Why don't you send him to preschool? This is a problem. And how do you like it here? I don't know yet. What about you? It's okay. The girls are friendly. However, they say that the salary is delayed. But I don't know. I haven't received it yet. Aha, uh Lika. -huh, yes. And your Boris. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is someone in the dairy? Yes. How can I help you? Attention. The Basket for Happiness announces a special offer. Hey, bro, where do you sell flowers here? I need some quick. There are flower pots at the end of the hall, but no fresh flowers. Damn, then why did you call yourself a basket for happiness? There are no basic things. Well, where are the flower pots? At the end of the hall, I'll walk you there. Hi, lad. Hello. Oh, here's a vitamin. Thank you. Look what I've drawn. Wow. How old are you, ha? Huh? I'm a big boy. I'm six. Six? That's an age, yes. <laughs> Will you give me a ride on your scooter? Of course. Of course, I will. Hooray, and when? What is this? Why is the child in the staff room? Boy, whose are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm talking to this young man. Come with me and show me who you came with. Wait, Zana, I know who he came with. Maybe the sales girl has some problems. She took her child to work with her. What's the harm? All problems should be left at home. Come on, boy. Your child? Yes. It's the first and last time I see him here, is that clear? It's clear. It won't happen again. It's a hopeless situation. And I... What's your last name again? Berezovska. Minus 10% of the bonus. Maybe we shouldn't take such harsh measures, Zana Viktorovna. We don't have a lawyer in our company, Boris Petrovic. Artem. My dear, don't be upset. You are not guilty of anything. 
Knock, knock. Will I be disturbing you? No, of course. Come in. Sit down. So, have you finished your experiment tour of the sales area? For today, yes. Great. Listen. Um, maybe we should go out. Let's party. There are so many cool places that have opened up now. Uh, I'm a couch potato by nature, to be honest. I don't like to go out. Okay. Let's go to my place. I've recently remodeled my home. You'll see how I live. Yeah, yes. I'll definitely have a look at the renovation, but some other time. Zana, I have a question. Don't you think you're being too harsh on your staff? No. I don't think so. You have to keep them in shape. Otherwise they will get on your head and won't get off. You don't know our people well. They just want to get money and do nothing. But there are different ways to keep someone in shape. You can praise our help. For example, that saleswoman, Lika. I think you were very harsh with her. You made the girl cry. What do you care about her? Crying is known to purify the body. So crying is even healthy. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Then have a nice evening. Well, bye. It doesn't even fasten. What am I to do with this? Come on, take it off. What kind of clothes are these from three years ago? Everything is small. Did you take a day off? Yes, they let me take a day off. Super great. Maybe you can go to the zoo with him. Do you want to go to the zoo? Visit a preschool afterwards. Ask if there are any options. Maybe you'll be lucky. Artem, will you stay with your dad today? I'm off. Uh, sorry. You'll get your salary in a week. We need to buy clothes for the boy. Okay. Everything is too small. What is a day off? I've never been to the zoo. Are there elephants? I don't know. Keep up. Elephants live in Africa, right? It's very hot there. Is there a giraffe with a long neck? And why does a giraffe have a long neck? To see better, right? Listen, can you please be quiet? Let's go. Oh, I haven't heard from Erka since she left. At least she called once or wrote a letter. Where is she? What's going on with her? Absolutely. Oh God. Nothing but sadness with these children. You bring them up. You don't sleep nights. But you get no appreciation. Dad, you promised me a zoo hall. Good morning. Good morning. We will see whether it is good or bad. Why have you come? I have come to ask you, as a retired person with a lot of free time, to devote it at least partially to your own grandson. I have to go to work now. I explained to you last time that I don't have the strength to cope with him. My health is poor. Now it's your turn. I see it is no use to appeal to conscience. Let him stay with you until the evening. Uh, just look at him. What a father you have. What am I going to do with you? Let me feed you. Feed him, feed him. Here we are. That's what you need to drive, environmentally friendly transportation. By the way, this vehicle carries your commercial director. Yeah, well done, boy. Daddy, it's not respectable.
Let's try to raise Boris a little for me, shall we? First of all, let's buy him a company car. Great idea, right? I'll handle it, okay? Wait, my dear, don't you think buying a car is too expensive to attract attention? Maybe there's a more economical way, eh? Daddy, we can get a slightly used one, not a new one. Trickster. Let's go. Hello, park the car, please. Darling, where do you sell happiness here? Excuse me? What is unclear here? The door says basket for happiness. I took the basket, but where to look for happiness? In which section? Well, everyone needs different things to be happy. Isn't it true? That's right, darling. I'm just kidding. Look me up some fresh kefir because I can't see properly. Now, here it Take it. Thank you, sweetie. Be happy, the way you want it. Thank you, and you be healthy. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Alone today? Yeah. Yesterday I was scolded. And you too, for no reason at all. It's okay, I'll get over it. Who did you leave Artem with? Artem? Oh. <laughs> Artem, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with your dad. He took me to my grandma's house. She's mean I came to you. You told me you needed me. Okay, good. Serhi, where are you? I work. Where else can I be? You took the day off, or did you lie to me? Do you really have a conscience? Artem is with me. He ran away from his grandma. What if he had been hit by a car? Liko, what do you want from me? Do you realize that if he is seen here again, I could be fired from my job? I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm with a client. I'm bad, ho. No, dear. You're good. You are very good. Hello, buddy. Any problems? I have nowhere to go. Okay, what to do? I'll have to quit. Wow, I worked for two days. Okay, Artem, stay here, please. Wait for me. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be back soon. Will you look after him? Sure. Artem, Artem, what to do with you? Well... Excuse me, can you stay with the child just for a few minutes? Artem, stay here, you hear me. Basket for Happiness, Episode 2 Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. My pleasure. Looking for a particular model for yourself, for someone else? Depends. Actually, I'm looking for something for the office. Something decent, presentable, but not too expensive, not too old, but this is obvious. I see price, quality ratio, you've come to the right place. Let's do this, I'll show you the best of what we have and arrange a test drive of the cars you like. Are you in a hurry? Actually, no. This is great. Purchasing a car is not something to be rushed. You need to think it over, weigh the pros and cons. You are a very knowledgeable person. Sergei Mikhailovich. Zana Viktorovna. I'm glad to meet such a charming girl. For now, you can sit there, we'll get you some coffee. And then we can start the review. Oh. 
Do you know where Zana Viktorovna is? Zana Viktorovna is not here. I saw her leave. Will she be back today? I don't know. And you are determined? See, it was not meant to be. Do you believe in destiny? It's not that I believe, but I pay attention to certain signs. Listen, I have an idea. We can take Artem to my mom's house. She is retired, a former teacher. She's staying at home and bored. Well... Oria, are you crazy? Why would you want to do that? Hey, do you need this job? Well... Yes. I feel sorry for your son, too. What? Artem is not my son. Whose is he? Artem is my boyfriend's son. Or rather... Maybe not, he doesn't know yet. The boy just showed up unexpectedly two days ago. It seems to me that no one needs this child at all. The boy is very nice, kind, and shares candy with me. Hey, is this child a complete stranger to you? I don't believe in the concept of stranger children. Jeez. Yeah. Artem must be hungry. I'll go feed him. My mom will do it. Yes, that's it. Don't argue. Boris. That's it. You'll pick him up in the evening. Are you sure? Of course. Thank you so much. No problem. It's my lunch break. So, what are your thoughts? The ride is smooth. The interior is comfortable. The design is just beautiful. Air suspension. Adaptive cruise control. The mileage is insignificant. 37,000 for this model is nothing. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But for some reason I believe you. Do you have music in the car? What a great car. That's what I'm talking about. We don't sell bad cars. Car showroom. So, do we take it? I still need to consult. With your husband? You guessed it wrong, with my dad. Oh, uh -huh. well, in that case, I look forward to your positive decision, Sana Viktorovna. All right, Seri Mikhailovic. You can just call me Seri. Seri, I'll call you. See you soon. What a pretty baby. Yes, we're going to take a turn here. Aren't you afraid, Artem? No, I'm not afraid of anything. Good boy, I love such guys. Yes, are you holding on tight? Okay. Borya? Yeah. Oh my god. Borya, why aren't you at work? Are you sick? Not feeling well? No, I feel good thanks to the company of this young guy, mom. Meet Artem, Artem. This is my mom, Ala Yevanivna. Hello. Hello. Mom, can Artem stay with you until the evening? The company will be good for you. Um, Borya, come here for a second. Come here? Borya, 
Boryad, tell me, where did you get the child? Maybe I missed something. Just tell me the truth, please. Mom, you're so funny. I'm not hiding anything from you. It's just a long time to explain. I have to go to work. Yes, come in, come in, mom. You feed him. Okay. Mommy won't eat you. I promise I'm off. Well, young man, go take off your shoes. We'll have some soup. What's your second course? <laughs> Dumplings, are you satisfied? Well, get ready. The vegetable milk is on this shelf. Among the more budget-friendly ones are buckwheat. There is coconut oil. It is, of course, more expensive, but it is very useful. It contains vitamins B12, D, including calcium. Lika, everything is fine, don't worry. Thank you. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Let me go. Calm down. Let me go. Calm down. Don't yell. We need to do some shopping. Please, I'm asking you very much to calm your child down. I'm trying, don't you see? Calm down. My dear, what's wrong? I asked you not to touch anything. What's wrong with you today? Olinka, what? I can't buy anything today. I'm sorry. There's a line at the checkout. I will be waiting for half an hour. Wait. Come on, I'll help you. One moment, please. Dear customers, I'm begging you. Let a woman with a small child pass. Please pass through. Thank you. My daughter can also start acting up out of nothing. Of course, these are kids. Thank you very much. And we keep doing our best for you. Visit our basket for happiness more often. Is it good? Hush, hush. Didn't your mom tell you that it's not nice to do that? No. Where is your mom? She went away. Where? And where is your dad? He probably went to work. Yeah. I see, I mean, I don't understand anything at all. Tell me, how old are you? I am six. Yeah, no way. You don't seem like it. Do you go to school? I don't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Can you read? No. Do you at least know the letters? Of course. Uh, and M. Too little for your age. Listen. We have so much time until tonight. Let's practice. Okay. Do you have any picture books? Well... I think I'll find one. Where to go? You go wait on the couch over there. I'll be back in a moment. Thanks for the dumplings. You are welcome. You did well. You bravely managed the queue. I just asked, if you treat people kindly, they will do the same in return, isn't it true? Absolutely so, please. How can you imagine that? We're going to fall out. But it turns out you're a coward, unlike Artem. I am not a coward, okay? It's just... It's just that I haven't ridden a scooter for a long time. Zana. Well, let's go then. May God bless us. Come on. Thank you very much. You helped me a lot. 
Did an artem bother you too much? No problem. He's so smart. Such a clever boy. You just don't have to be lazy and work with him more. Mom, don't switch on the teacher. Of course, we will work. Do you work with Borya? Yes. Imagine we started working on the same day. He often helps me out. Oh, come on, stop. And what do you do? I am a sales assistant. So Borya is your boss. Let me show you off. Artem, get up. Okay, that's it. Tell goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Watch out. Goodbye. Why did Ola Yevnevna call you my boss? It's a little strange. I didn't understand. Yes, my mom is just dreaming. Lika, I've learned the letters. Which ones? M and O. You're doing great. It's good that I have tomorrow off. At least I'll be able to study with him a little. Your mom's right. But why didn't she make you study so you could go to college? It's just, I don't know. You could enter, get a degree, study. Now there are both part-time and distance learning programs. Just study. I'll think about it. Lika. Yes. Can I play there? Go, go. Just don't be long because I have to cook dinner, okay? He's cute. Hey, maybe you could come to us, to the Trade and Economics University. I'll help you to prepare for the tests. I've been studying there for four years and will soon get my degree. I want to work in marketing. I really like creating presentations and various promotions. I think it's my field. I think it's cool. Do you know what I would do first of all in the basket for happiness? Well, interesting. A playground? With an animator. Everyone would be happy. Parents would be able to quietly shop. Children would have fun. The market would make a lot more profit at this time. Great idea. Zana. Am I detaining you? No, I'm sorry, go on. You can also introduce promotions on certain days of the week and develop a loyalty system for regular customers. Arrange family events on weekends. Events are activities, like promotions. I realize that it's all trivial, but people will appreciate it. Everyone likes to be taken care of right. Of course, great ideas. Did they teach you that at the Institute? Once you enter, they will teach you to. Ah, uh, well. Oh. Hi. Darling. Wow, the dog. Hello, Tamara Ivanovna. Hello, hello. Lika, will you buy me one? We will talk about this later. And who is the boy? He's Sarai's relative. He came to visit. You have a great man, a good-looking one. Nowadays, men are a hot commodity. I watched a program on TV today. Can you imagine? There are 8% fewer men than women. So you better take care of yours. Don't miss him. Watch out. Okay, I won't miss him. Thank you. Let's go, Artem. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. You don't want to, my dear. You don't want to. Come in, Artem. Where have you been? First of all, sorry, good evening. And secondly, it's not me. 
It's Artem and me, or have you forgotten about him, huh? Do you even have a conscience? The child was walking across the city alone, fortunately, he didn't get lost and nothing happened to him. Listen, can we avoid scandals? It's better to be constructive. I found my ex on the net and wrote to her, maybe she'll answer when she's going to come back. How long do we have to mess with this guy? Okay, and if she doesn't respond? If you're so busy, I'll go to the preschool tomorrow and fill out all the paperwork myself. For God's sake, if you have a lot of time. Why are you mocking me? Do you have any other ideas? Then go ahead and offer them. Damn it. What? Read. She responded. Meaning? So... So she's not going to come back? Never. Can you read? She got married in Egypt. She started a new life, you know? She's leaving me the boy stinker. I don't believe in all this, God. What's wrong? It's not my fault. It tore on its own. Oh, so it has just magically happened all by itself. Don't interrupt adults when they are talking. Sri, what's wrong with you? What about me? What do you want me to do? Jumping for joy, kissing him tenderly. What? Artem, let's go. I'll sew up your pants. Is anyone going to feed me in this house tonight? Hello. Good evening. Come in. Is Boris at home? Yes, he is. Wait. You are Sonaka. Kachimina, do you remember me? Of course I remember. You and my Boria were the prettiest couple at the graduation party. Come in, come in. I couldn't stop admiring you then. Boria, Boria, come down. Someone's here to see you. Look who has come to visit us. Good evening. Hi. What happened? I'll make tea. I called you several times. You hung up? Boria, tell me, are you ignoring me? Zana Viktorovna, can you assume that I am busy? Who? This girl. The new saleswoman. What's her name? Ah, uh, Berezovska. I've seen you together. I also saw you riding her kid on a scooter. And so? The point is that I want to warn you once and for all. I will not tolerate any affairs with subordinates in my company. Is that clear? More than clear. Is that why you came? Can I be free? Borya. I'm sorry. Tea is ready. And I'll treat you to some delicious cherry jam. Thanks. But I don't eat after 6 p.m. Well, would you like tea with cherry jam? I would. Sana Viktorovna, good evening. Oh, is that you? What an unexpected meeting. Are you alone here? Imagine that, yes. 
If you want, you can join me. With pleasure. I would like another drink. What do you drink? Whiskey. Whiskey, please. My treat. Thanks. Really, why did you have a holiday? Yeah. What about you? Did you sell all your cars? I hope you kept mine. No, yours is waiting for you. By the way, she's asking when you're coming to pick her up. Is that what she's asking? You're funny. Cheers. A uh, Suri? Exactly. I remembered. Well, Suri. I'm going home. I have to go. Thank you. Bye. Yeah? Hum, I nearly fell. Maybe I can accompany you there? Oh, all right. Why not? I'll catch a cab in a moment. Where are you going? Home. I see. I think I drank too much. Let's walk. It's not far. Okay. Suri, you're a hero. You didn't leave a poor woman in trouble. You're not that poor, to be honest. That's right. But I didn't mean that. I see. Let's go. The subscriber's device is switched off or out of reach. How stupid I am. Why did I get so drunk? You are the most wonderful girl I have ever known. Really? But not everyone thinks so. Everyone thinks that Zuza is a moody daddy's daughter. Shiza, what a curious name, unusual. They just underestimate you, Shosenka. And you appreciated me, Suri. Mm -hmm. Aha, from the first moment. You, when you walked into the salon, I realized that I met the most beautiful, amazing girl in the world. Do you tell it to all your girls? You don't have to answer. I just said that. <sighs> Oh, it's getting late. You have to go, buddy. But? I'll call you. Or maybe not. Anyway, forget what happened between us, okay? That's it. Go, Sirhi. Go. Sri? Where have you been? I've called you a hundred times. Is your phone off? The battery is dead. Go to bed. Listen, please forgive me. I've been nervous lately, you know. The new job, Artem. Where were you so late? I was walking around thinking. And what did you think? 
I will take a paternity test. Tomorrow I will find out where... I am 99% sure that the boy is not mine. And then what? It depends on the result. Yes, I'm tired. I'm going to take a shower. Please make my bed. This is the first version of my proposals. So if you approve, I can move in this direction. Aha, uh -huh, so you're planning a website? I wonder why you don't have it yet. Online shopping has been in trend for a long time, but you'll need to buy several vans and hire careers, that's it. That's a lot of extra money to spend. Yes, but it will all pay off. Zana, you should definitely make discount cards or loyalty cards. Your company should be customer-oriented, definitely. I see. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what does the suspended product system mean? What's that? This is a social project. When people buy not only for themselves but also to help others, they buy a certain product, for example, food. They put it on a certain shelf, and those who need it come and take it for free. Goods for the poor. Dad, why do we need this? Wait, and here, here I see it. Yes, the kids' room. What does it have to do with us? This is another interesting idea, in my opinion, but again, it requires additional funds. There are more options down there, take a look. Yes, yes, I'll review it, thank you, you can go. Aha, thank you. Gloria, don't be offended, I really don't understand why we need to spend extra money. Zana, I'm not at the age to be offended. Fine, let's argue, give me your reasons, we have a normal working relationship. Only working? Wait. Yesterday, I think you gave me a lecture about the unacceptability of affairs in the company, didn't you? But I meant with my subordinates. But I can do it with you, right? Boria, why are you behaving like this? What kind of affairs? We have so many common interests, plans, memories. We haven't seen each other for so long. Why don't we get to know each other better? And I want only the best for you. And believe me, I have a lot to give you. I am curious, what, for example? For example, I found a cool car for you. The commercial director is supposed to fulfill his status. Thank you, Zana Viktorovna, but I don't need a car. I have a great scooter. Where are you going? Are you going to control me? How did we try it on? It's a little big, but that's okay. You'll grow up. You're growing fast, right? Just wear it carefully, neatly. Do you even like it yourself? I do. Good. Where did you get the money? You said you didn't have any. I borrowed it from a neighbor, yes. What can I do? You can't go out in all your torn clothes, right? It's okay, Artem. We'll get through somehow. I don't know how yet. Though, come on, show yourself, look how handsome you are. Well, now we won't be ashamed to ask you to go to preschool. We'll work with you later. You'll start school in a year. Will you take me to school? I don't know. Will you buy me that car you promised? Look at you, you extortionist. First the dog, now the car. I'll buy it, of course, I'll just have to get my salary, okay, if someone gives it to me at all.
Sana, are you going home? No, I still have work to do. Well, look at me. Are you waiting for boys? Come on, tell me how it is with him. Great. Just a business relationship. Well, not everything at once, darling. By the way, have you chosen a car for him? I'll send an order to the accounting department to pay for it right away. He doesn't need a car. His scooter is more valuable to him. It happens. You're not going home? No. Hey, why don't you come to my place? We'll order a pizza, watch a movie, as usual. No, Dad. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, and don't be nasty. Peep. Bye. Bye. Car showroom, Mounts of Surrey, Mikhailovic, manager. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Hello. Hi, the best woman in the world is speaking. Shasenka, it's great to hear you. What are your plans for tonight? Do you have any ideas? I have everything, come. If you still remember the address, in about an hour. And what flowers do you like? The best ones. It will be done. I'm on my way. Did you like the preschool? I did. You see, I told you it was great there. However, I don't understand why your grandmother didn't take you to preschool. Well, we'll make all the necessary papers and then you'll be accepted. Liko, what are you looking at? There's your dad. Look. Oh yes, with flowers. Wow, what a bouquet for you. I guess he decided to make it up. We had a fight yesterday, to be honest. Because of me? It doesn't matter. Do you love him? I do. And me? Of course I do. Let's go home so we can reach home before your dad. But it's our big secret that we saw him. Okay. Come in. I appreciate it. Hi, Shuza. I missed you. Sir, he, sir, he, wait. What about a foreplay? Damn it. Strange. You're tired of waiting, aren't you? I can see that. Well, let's have dinner by ourselves. Yes. I have a good idea. Let's go to bed. Carry me in your arms. Sure. Sari, where have you been? I didn't sleep all night. I called all the hospitals. 
Why? Are you mocking me? Don't you want to explain anything to me? No. I don't have the least desire to while you're talking to me in that tone. Shusa. Thank you for the coffee in bed, dear. I loved it. We'll have to do it again. Hello, can you hear me? The connection's not good, Serhi. You forgot your phone charger. I'll bring it to your car showroom in the evening. If you don't mind. Hello. Thank you. Shuza, I think he doesn't mind. Boria, do you know what I thought? Here you are. Thanks. Maybe you could invite Zana over for lunch, if dinner isn't on her world map. Mom. Boria, she's a good girl from a decent family. And something tells me she likes you a lot. Aha, uh -huh, Mom, maybe that's enough. Boria, I'm talking right things. You have to think about your future life. You need a good wife. Well, to cook borscht and iron your shirt. Mommy doesn't live forever. And you think Zana is perfect for the role of a cook, right? Cook. Iron. I'd like to see that. Laugh, laugh at your mom. Maybe it is something else, I mean, the other one. I mean the girl who came to see us with her baby the other day. Do you like her? Just tell me that you do, and that's all. Mom, I'm fed up with these talks. Thank you for breakfast. Boria. And where are you going, I wonder? Not where, but from where. Are you serious now? Is it because I didn't spend the night at home? I was actually at work. We had a fire. I was driving cars from one parking lot to another all night. I was damn tired. You poor thing. Zuza helped you to drive it, didn't she? With four hands. What? Who's the Zaza? Maybe that's enough. The shoes are you left your charger with, by the way. She'll bring it back to you tonight, to the showroom that burned down last night. Did she like your flowers? Huh, it's a beautiful bouquet. You've never given me flowers like these. How do you know about this? You could have confessed that you had another woman that would at least be honest with me. Honest. You want honesty? Please, yes. I was with another woman. What's the big deal? It doesn't mean anything at all. It doesn't mean anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, well, I'm very sorry about your shoes, uh, I really am. Let her decide what to do, but I don't want to live with a traitor. Disgusting. Am I a traitor? Okay. It's your choice. I won't hold you back. Well, are we going somewhere? Liquor is leaving, as you can see. What about me? Liquor, what about me? Take me with you. Artem, where am I going to take you? I have no right. I'm no one to you. Not true. You're great. You're the best. Liquor. 
Does it oh, take him away, for God's sake, I'll have more space. How come I never noticed what kind of person you are? What? Go on, continue, what? Bad, 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 you are... Let him go, or I'll call the police. Are you okay? Are you okay? Liquor, don't leave me, please. Take me away from here. Where am I going to take you? I have nowhere to go myself. I used to live in a student's residence, but now I'm studying part-time. I'll take you to your grandmother's. Okay, you will show me where she lives. And I will visit you very often. No, I'll run away again, you need me. I can carry a suitcase. Let's go pack. Oh, aren't you tired? Do you want to eat something? Lika, where are we going? To work? Yes, to work with a suitcase. Imagine how happy they will be. Oh, I have an idea. Take me to that grandma you left me with yesterday. Her dumplings are delicious. Cool? Yes, cool. But it won't work, Artem. Let's do this. I have to start work at 2 today. For now, we'll settle down at the old place. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. Stay here. Watch the suitcase. Deal. Oh yes, here's a snack. You're hungry. I'm going on a mission. Quickly, back and forth. One minute. Basket for Happiness, Episode 3. What about the keys? Hello. What a people. Good morning, Aunt Falia. Do you recognize me? There is Alska, or what? Yes, it's me. How's your health? I don't even think about my health with you. One thing or another, my head is spinning. I thought you moved to an apartment. Yes, I did. I want to come back now. Do you have a spare room? You're kidding. Just give you a spare one. Don't you want to share it with the girls? There's a place in the 17, but there's no order for you. Go to the dean's office, get a paper, bring it to me, and I'll settle you in. Liquor, how much longer do I have to wait? Who is this guy? Come here. Hello. Hello. We are going to live here. Where to take the suitcase? Artem. A serious man. Who is he? He's a relative of mine. A distant one. Aunt Falia. We need a small room. We'll pay. We really need it. These are for you, my favorite, with cabbage. Oh, thank you, dear. Also love it with cabbage. Hello, is this the laboratory? I wonder if you can do a DNA paternity test with the child's tooth. Okay, how much does it cost? Got it.
Yes, Shawshanka. Sir, he, what was that? Some girl took the phone. Who is it? Never mind, she's gone and she's not coming back. And now I am free as a bird. I missed you a lot. So, are we doing well? I like it here. Great. So now we'll put things in order and think about what to do with you. Here, take the towels. As you remember, there is a problem with hot water. It doesn't matter. The main thing is to have a roof over your heads. Aunt Folia, you are just saving us. It's nothing. Lika, don't you think I don't understand? I could see in your eyes that you were in trouble, so I have to help you. Thanks. Don't worry, I won't hold you back with the money. I'm working now. Supermarket basket for happiness. Have you heard of it? I heard something. So now you're selling happiness. But you're in trouble. Yeah. What will we do with the relative? And this is a tough question. Okay, settle in. Oh, what a shame. They left the boy on you and then ran away. I took him away myself, and I got attached to him. Yes, it's okay. We'll live in the dormitory for a while, and then I'll find something decent. What a situation. Ola Yevanivna. Maybe you could look after Artem until I get him accepted to the preschool. To work with him, I don't have time to do much with him. I will pay you, however, and not much for now, but... Why do I need your money? I have a very good pension, and Borya makes good money. Come on, I understand how little money he makes there. Attention, have you checked out our cooking department yet? The freshest salads. Listen, this new loader is pretty nice. Do you know if he is married? I wasn't curious, Katya. I don't know. And you're too late, he's already been targeted. Who is it? The new girl Berezovska from the dairy. They walk around all the time, whispering, I saw it myself. And Katya, he's nice, but then what? No future potential for her. He's a great option, but you'd better look for someone better and richer. To look for, where? The years fly by. Oh, look. Hi. Hi. When do you finish tonight? I'm staying till 8. Listen, I'm so sorry. I asked your mom to stay with Artem again. Come on, so Artem is with us. He is? Super, I'll play football with him in the yard tonight. Excuse me, where is the saldo starter? I can't find it. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I'll show you. Okay, me and Artem will be waiting for you. Bye. Bye. Let's go, look. She stuck to me, wouldn't let me pass. She was very annoying, she was a non-resident student. To be honest, I don't understand why I was with her. Did you leave her because of me? I have been planning to do this for a long time, but yesterday I finally decided that I had enough. I'm tired. Sorry, you should have seen the mess she made in my apartment. So you have a nice apartment? It's great, that's the point. I got it from my father. He worked for the ministry. And somehow it happened that I have been obsessed with cars since childhood and decided to connect my life with it. But this car show me is, I'm not there for long. It's a temporary place of refuge. So to say, I have very big ambitions for life, Shosenka. Hey, let's go to your place. I'll see where you live. Well, well there. Sorry. I'm telling you, it's a mess. I'll feel ashamed of myself. I was actually thinking of hiring a housemate. Let specially trained people do it. I'd rather come to you today. Sir, he... 
Who are you fooling? He has a housemaid, and his father is in the ministry. I'm not three years old. I'm not stupid. I understand something about people. I am sorry. I wanted to make impression on you. I can't work normally. I keep thinking about my Zuzhenka. Your... Do you have serious intentions? Why not? We've known each other for a few days. For me, this is enough to recognize my person. I did not recognize you. What's the problem? Here I am, look. You're happy, you have no problems at all. There is one. But I will solve it soon. But without you I am lonely. Unhappy. Yes. You definitely know how to talk. Women love that kind of guys. It's a pity that not all guys are so generous with compliments. Well... To say the least, I'm tired, I'm going home. Are you, are you resigning me now? What did I do wrong, let me ask you. I'll call you, tomorrow, or next week. And don't see me off, sir, he. Wait. What about the car? Did you talk to your father? Will you take the car? This issue is still on hold, but, as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. I see. Bye. Come on, Artem, hit it. Goal 4 0 in my favor. You certainly smashed me to pieces. You just got really dirty, right? But that's okay. Liquor will probably be upset. We have problems with hot water in the dormitory. That's what that woman said. What dormitory? What woman? Liquor and I moved in today. Okay, Artem, from now give me more details. Are you full? Well then, have some more compote. For ya. You two sit down and eat. Artem, I turned on some cartoons for you, go watch. Mom, did you know that Lika moved to the dormitory? I did. Why didn't you tell me? Borya. Do you understand? What would you do? Lika's a good girl, a kind one. We'll help her as much as we can, but... But what? Borya, Lika took the child. She has a kind heart. But the boy has his own parents. It turns out that she kidnapped him, and that's a crime. Mom, what crime? She is trying to help the boy to save him. I don't know. I don't know, Borya. You shouldn't take on other people's problems. You have your own life. You have your status, your career. By the way, I thought you had a good salary, but don't you earn enough? Mom, I earn enough money. I just don't like to bring it up. No, no, me. Lika is here. When I grow up, 
I'm gonna be a football player. I'm going to train tomorrow, Lika. Will you buy me a real uniform? Oh, yeah, but not today, okay? All the shops are closed. We are too late. Okay, tomorrow, I promised you to hit a lot of goals. But we'll see what happens. Antonova Street, 68, Student Dormitory. Lika, I'm not asking you anything. If you want to, you can tell me. Not today, okay? Do you love him? Whom? Artem's father. Or maybe not the father. Did he offend you? It's complicated, Borya. Let's go, buddy. Bye, Borya. Bye, Artem. What kind of stupid rules do you have? Can't you just tell me the results over the phone? This is confidential information. We have the right to provide it only in person face to face. Sorry, it is not my decision. Of course, you have the rules. Let's do it in person. I'm here. Could you please hurry up? I'm running late for work. Please don't be nervous. Just remind me of your name. Sahim Mikhailovic Maltsev. Yeah, documents, please. Is it necessary? Yes, it is. Passport or driver's license. How scrupulous you are. You're welcome. Yes. Please. And sign here, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a nervous guy. But nice. Hello? Sana, are you not too busy? No. Come to me, daughter. Okay, dad. How are you, beautiful? You're not upset anymore. That's great. On my way to work, I stopped at a gas station and bought a caramel. As you like it. Thank you, Dad. You are the best man in the world. You can feel exactly what I really need right now. Yeah, sit down. Well, let's get down to business. So, have you read Boise's suggestions? I haven't gotten to it yet. That's a waste. Read it. There are a lot of good ideas. And by the way, the website can be launched now, that's why I invited you. Okay, announce a tender, find good developers, and don't delay. Can you do it by the end of the week? Is it urgent or what? Sana, is something wrong? No. Good. Then please call boys. Tell him to come to me when he's free. I need to consult him. Anna Ivanovna, may I have you for a second? Look. These are expired. How come? It can't be. Indeed. And here. It looks like the whole shipment is like that. Good for you to see that. Okay, let's get this stuff out of here quickly. Yeah. Off the shelves, Borea. Yeah. Help Berezovska to take the entire shipment off the shelves and out of the room, okay? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, imagine, someone could be poisoned. You are attentive. Mm. 
on you. Close the supermarket. How come, Zena Viktorovna? Easy, put a sign on the door saying closed for technical reasons. I will have a meeting with the staff. What happened? If you mean the expired products, then I want no one but employees to be here in an hour. Is that clear? The coincidence is 99 and 9. Paternity is practically proven. Just a few clients in a whole day, it looks like we won't get a bonus this month, Surhi. It's still nothing, I'm leaving early today, can you cover for me? Yeah, you owe me. Whatever you say, I'll do it. Wait. I think you had a client who made various documents. I had, why do you need him? If I didn't need to, I wouldn't have asked. A reliable person. Absolutely, but it's not for free, you know, only birds sing for free. Give me his number. I will refer to you. Aha, uh -huh, write it down. Now Zana is going to make a fuss. What's up? What's wrong? No one knows, but she's going to find the reason. She's good at this. A shortage, probably. They will look for the guilty. Do you often have such meetings? To be honest, it's the first time now. Everyone here. Great. I've decided that it's time to stop playing around and making a show. I'd like to introduce you to our new employee. Come on, Boris Petrovic, don't be shy. Introduce yourself to the team. Come, come here, come. It seems to me that you are making a show. Well, it's not clear. So Boris Petrovic Savitsky is our new commercial director. Damn you, director. He came to us straight from London after graduating from business school. Boris Petrovic has a lot of ideas to reorganize our work, for example, to introduce discounts on certain products on different days of the week. We have to introduce a single family shopping day, organize a children's room while parents are busy shopping, and much more, as far as I understand. So we have a lot of work to do, am I right, Boris Petrovic? That's right, Zana Viktorovna. That's great. And now I'd like to ask you to start your direct duties. Your office is on the second floor. Please do not forget that in the future. Sure. Thank you all. Let's get to work, Anya. Open the supermarket. Oh my, it's a trap. Lika, I'll explain everything to you. Zana, wait. Why did you do that? Dad asked you to come see him when you get free, so I set you free. Take this off at last. Hello, Raihari Pavlovich. My name is Say and Maxim gave me your number. We work together at the car showroom. Suppose so, what's next? I have a personal request for you. It is quite delicate. Be more specific. I have a medical certificate. And I need to correct it. I really hope for your help, dear Raihari Pavlovich. Better not by phone. Yes, I understand. Attention, attention, have you checked out our cooking department yet? The freshest salads. 
Our store always offers only quality products. Only here you can find the freshest products. If you find fresher ones, we will refund your money. Katia. Where is Berezovska? I don't know. Maybe she went to the restroom. Berezovska. Where have you been? Who will work for you? How? I felt sick and went out for a while, but everything is okay now. If you are sick, you should stay at home. So, we'll have to say goodbye to you. Zana Viktorovna, it only took a few minutes. I'm begging you, please. By the way, I checked the time. You were absent for 10 minutes. And I also noticed that you're interfering where you shouldn't be. You're making a queue. And I have to deal with complaints later. In short, write a report tomorrow or I will fire you according to the law. Zana Viktorovna, maybe you can make a compromise. She's new, after all, and... Do you want to be fired too? No, if so, I can write a report today. That's great. And do me a favor, leave a report at the secretary's office. I think he's still there. Have a great end of the day, everyone. What a bitch. Oh, listen, you can complain to Boris Petrovic. You and him. What? No, nothing. Artem, come on, don't get distracted. Stay focused. L and O, how will it be together? Liquor is here. <laughs> okay, put your shoes on. We have to go here. Take it yourself. Hello. Hello. Artem, hurry up, come on. Why are you so slow? Come on, help me. Lick up. Are you okay? Everything is okay, I'm just tired. Ola Yevanivna, thank you very much. Ola Yevanivna, Artem, and I won't be coming to see you tomorrow. Why so? I have tomorrow off, here. We'll go to the doctors and get the paperwork for the preschool. Well, it's a good thing. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Thank you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go. Dormitory number five. Mom, have Artem and Lika already left? They left long ago. Did you even look at your watch? Where were you so late? Kachanin detained me. We discussed different things. Didn't she say anything? No, she didn't say anything to me. You know, Borya, it seemed to me that she was very upset. Are you going to have dinner? No, Mommy. I won't. I'll go. Gloria, where are you going? Mm. 
Yes, Zana, anything urgent? Boria, I was thinking. I shouldn't have been so abrupt today. You should have told everyone yourself, of course. You were thinking? You know, in general, it's very useful to do this. I recommend that you think more often. Don't be angry. There's no need to quarrel. We have so much work to do together, and I feel so bad about this situation. Maybe you can come to me. I'll text you the address. My dad gave me some tasks about your proposals. That's it. Zana, better tomorrow. We will meet at work tomorrow. Bye. Excuse me, I'm looking for Lika Berezovska, where can I find her? And who are you? Oh, I'm from work, a co-worker. From work, you say, why so late, I won't let you in, we have strict rules here. I understand, but I need to see her urgently, it involves her boy, Artem. What if they are sleeping, why wake them up, is there a fire or something? Consider it a fire. Okay. Let it be, co-worker. Thank you. Hello? Is Artem asleep? Can we talk? About what? Let's go out. Lika, I didn't want to deceive you. It was stupid, I agree. But I did it all for experiment's sake. I wanted to understand what was happening in the supermarket from the inside. I wanted to feel it for myself. Did you feel it? I didn't even tell my mom. I wanted to tell you first. But Zana made a show of it today. My ideas were useful, right. I'm happy. But the main thing is realization. Right. I'll be off Boris Petrovic. Excuse me, I have enough of my own problems. Let's solve all the problems together, Lika. Artem is about to wake up, and I'm not there. He'll be scared. Can we talk tomorrow?
Is it common in London to enter without knocking? Why did you fire Berezovska? Who is she? Remind me. You know perfectly well who she is, the sales assistant from the dairy department. Is that a plain non sighty girl? She doesn't know how to work. And hiring and firing is my field of competence, so I don't have to report to you here. I see. I just want you to know that most of the ideas that Viktor Hryhorovich approved were her ideas. She is a very talented girl. Wow. How interesting. Then why are you so excited? So this is your, what's her name? Berezovska will find a new job very soon. If she's so talented, would you like some coffee? No, I wouldn't. You'd better fire your loaders, they steal from you. I know. If I fire these ones and hire others, what guarantees are there that the new ones won't steal even more? These ones steal at least a little. Boria, not everyone is as honest as you. And they make a good living too. Everyone does what they can. When you calm down, come back, we'll work. So you, Seri Mikhailovic, are filing a lawsuit against your ex-wife, Irina Stepanovna Meltseva? That's right. She lied to me. I honestly paid alimony for six years and the child is not mine. The DNA test certificate is attached. Yes, I see it. Considering this, I want to ask the court to charge her with all the money I paid and to annul the paternity. Did I say it right? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with law and lawsuit. Every citizen has the right to file an application with the court in a free form. Great. Okay, I will pass your documents to the judge. She will contact you and schedule a preliminary hearing. The defendant will also be invited. Meaning she's just not here. She flew away forever. Can we do it without her? What do you mean, forever? Is the child with you or with her? The child is now with a third person. I see. If the judge considers it necessary, she will contact the guardianship and custody service. Okay. Thank you very much. You see, Artem, there is nothing scary. The doctors examined you, checked you, looked at your eyes and teeth, and wrote a certificate that you were healthy, and you were afraid. I was not afraid of anything. Let's go play football with Boria. He promised. Artem, we need to think about something else now, how to get you into a preschool, and there you need a request from one of the parents. And football? I'll have to call your father. Nothing can be done. Now, Hello, Trihi. I need your help. Well, not me, but Artem. I understand everything, but you, young lady, addressed me wrong. I did the test, and it came out just as I expected. I am not the father of this boy. I have a certificate to prove it. Therefore, I would ask you not to bother me on this issue anymore, and on all other issues as well, bye. Wait, Sergei, what should I do? I don't know. You wanted to take him away, so now you have to sort it out. Is that it? Did you finish talking? Now football? Artem, wait with the football. So... Do you remember the address where Grandma lives? Licker, why do you ask? I don't want to go to her, you promised. Artem, listen, you need to be admitted to a preschool, and I need to find a job. We have to eat something and pay for the room somehow. I still owe money to my neighbor, do you understand? Could you please tell me your grandma's address? Cosmonaut Street. Good boy, let's go. It is here. Oh, 
He's here. Hello, hello. And your grandma is gone. What do you mean? Well, she is gone. She's in the hospital. Her family brought her there. Taya asked her daughter to come. But Irka the bastard refused, saying she was busy. She told her to go to the doctor. And what about the doctor? He prescribed a pill and sent her home. And she was sick. I see. How long will she be there? But who knows? Health is no joke. She had a stroke or a heart attack? I can't remember exactly. Wow, yeah. Things are bad. That's right. And who are you for her? Me. No one. Can I ask you a favor? I will write you my phone number and address. When Artem's grandma gets out of the hospital, you will tell her to contact me. Okay, it's very important. Will you tell her? Won't you forget? I will definitely tell her. I won't forget. The dormitory? Is the boy with you? Yes. With me. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's go. My dad is waiting for us in half an hour. I contacted website developers. Here are some options, and here are others. Well, I think we can work with these. The terms are acceptable. So are the prices. And what about promotions? They always attract customers. Naturally, they'd rather have it for free. Better to have them delivered to their homes. Speaking of home, we need to call the car dealers about minibuses. I've told you before. No problem. I have some people there. There's a boyfriend. He wants to date me. Cool. So we have the discount in our pocket. Gloria, aren't you jealous at all? Excuse me? H, yes. Yes, Berezovska, come in. What's the matter? To take the documents. They said you had them. Yes. Yes. We did not work out. It's a pity. It happens. Gloria, could you please find Berezovska's file in the top drawer? I've already picked it up from the HR department. Zana. Maybe you'll change your mind. Why should I? I don't change my decisions. Lika, I'll be free after six. I doubt it. We still have a lot of work to do. I'll be free after six. Where will you be? Here you are, Berezovska. I'm not detaining you any longer. Are you with Artem? Wait for me outside. Berezovska, did they ever teach you how to say goodbye? See that button there, right? Precedent speed. Thank you so much. Let's go faster. Lika, wait. Hi, Artem. Are we playing football tonight? Yeah. There will be no football. There will be nothing at all. Don't come to us. And don't feel sorry for me either. We'll make it on our own. Let's go. Is it good? I was lucky today. I cleaned a woman's apartment and washed all her windows in three hours. Did you listen to Aunt Folia today, right? She won't complain. We should treat her to some strawberries, yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you Angelika Berezovska? So this is a juvenile, Artem Serhayovic Meltsov? And who are you, actually? Representatives of the Family and Children's Service. Do you want to see my ID? Could you explain to us, young lady, on what grounds does a stranger's child live with you? You see, the thing is that his mother went abroad and got married there. And his father, he... How can I say it? Well, 
He isn't really a father, and while his grandmother is in the hospital, I look after him. I even have his documents. I see. Get the boy ready. What does it mean? Where to? He will come with us, first to the distribution center. Then we will place the boy in an orphanage. A minor child was left without family care. This means there is a threat to his life or health. What threat to life? Why do you need to send him to an orphanage? It's because his mother, Maltseva Irina Stepanina, sent a notarized renunciation of her son. The father, as you said, disputes his biological paternity. The documents are now in court, under review. What about his grandmother? He has his own grandmother. An elderly woman after a stroke. Unfortunately, she is not able to be his custodian. Liquor, who are these ladies? Tell them, are we moving? It's not bad at our orphanage. Boy. We have toys, different activities, you will make friends. Is Lika going with us too? No, Lika will stay here. I don't want to go without Lika. Lika can visit you if she wants to. Get the child ready. What are you waiting for? The car is ready. Hey, I'm not letting him go anywhere. You have no right. Just the opposite. Young lady, our service, unlike you, has all the rights. And we protect the interests of the child above all. Lika, who are these ladies? Tell them to go away. Do you want us to call the police? Let's go. Let go, let me go. No, let's go, let's go. How will I find out the address where Artem will be? If you want to find out, you will. No one is going to hide anything from you. Come to the children's service. They will inform you. Come on, let's go. You asshole, you're trying to bite me. What a wild child. He is not wild. Licka, don't give me away. I don't want to. I will find you. I promise. I love you very much. Let's go. Come on. Licka, why are you giving giving me away. Don't you need me anymore? Of course I need you. I'll take you back, definitely. Are they taking away your boy? Rascals. You said he was your relative. <laughs> Basket for Happiness, Episode 4. Well, Boys Petrovic, the website is launched from the very first day we started receiving online orders. I just didn't expect it. Congratulations. You have passed your testing period. Go ahead and bring your innovative ideas to life. Thank you, Victor Fryhorovic. Boria, wait. Oh, here it is. My birthday is coming up on Friday. Wow. Yeah, I decided to invite you. Let's sit and drink for my health. So to say, what do you think? I'm all for it. Great, but I suggest celebrating not at my place, but at Zana's. You see, I'm always renovating. I thought I could finish in time, but you know, repairs are like a catastrophe. So we'll go right after work, right? It's a deal. Can I go now? Yes, and Borea, my head is so messed up, I forgot the most important thing. I ordered to raise your salary by 30%. Wow, why such generosity? You deserve it. Thank you. As far as I remember, Daddy, your birthday is in winter. You remember correctly, darling. Beep. I'm just tired of watching my daughter chasing after that guy. So I decided to help. In what way? Sana, you are a grown-up girl. I'll stop. And you continue. Take the lead yourself, that's it. Savitsky is a promising guy. He's got character and guts. Yes, but unbreakable. It's okay, order food from a nice restaurant. I'll provide the alcohol. We have to meet our guests properly, so let's get to it. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> Angelica, I keep telling you, there is no way you can adopt the boy. And no arguments from you will help. 
What about custody? Listen, I found out that a custodian can be not only a direct relative, but also a completely stranger. Yes, it is possible. I do not argue, but you have neither your own home nor a job. How are you going to provide the boy with a proper upbringing? This is ridiculous. No one will trust you, the child. Don't you realize that? I'll get a job. I'm about to graduate from the institute. I'll have my degree soon. Well, listen, what am I supposed to do? You listen to me. I personally have nothing against you, but I am not the only one who solves the issue of custody. There is a commission of competent employees. So Artem can be adopted by complete strangers. Of course. And it will only be good for him. Just think about it. Good loving parents. A prosperous family. The best upbringing, believe me. We carefully select candidates. Meanwhile, you can visit the boy. I have given you the address. Now excuse me. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, thank you. You are welcome. All the best. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. You'll swallow your tongue. It's delicious. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Doesn't anyone offend you here? No, they only make me sleep during the day. It's not a big deal. And what's with a bruise on your arm? Oh, I fell down. It didn't hurt at all, honestly. You are amazing. Will you come again? Of course I will, my dear. I will be sitting on the window and waiting. I love you. I love you too. <coughs> What's up? Shasenka, where did you disappear? You don't call, you don't text, you've completely forgotten me. I am suffering. I can say, I don't sleep at night. And you sleep, sir. He, good sleep helps the nervous system. I'll take that into consideration. So, what are your plans for tonight? I'm not far from your house, so I can drop by. You can, but I'm not there. When will you be back? I'll wait. I don't know. I don't know anything. Bye. Shuza. Here we are, come in. Come in. Good evening, Zana Viktorovna. This is for you. Thank you, Boris Petrovic. Hello, hi, Dad. Hi, well. Dormitory number five. Artem was very happy that I visited him. He did not want to let me go. He looks good. Yes, he's just very sad. But it's clear, he is a child. After all, how do you feed them? He seems to be well. I brought him some of his favorite candy and fruit. I gave him your pies. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are there many children? Yes, quite enough. Some children even call nannies and teachers mothers. Yes. It's hard to watch. Zana, the food was just perfect. Yes, it's true. Well, my dearest, let's continue to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Daddy, cheers for you. Thank you, my dear. It is a great honor for me to work with a person like you, Viktor Fryhorovic. I wish you to stay as cheerful as you are, and I wish you strength for further commercial success. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. I'll need the strength. Mm. 
Chizo, I want to share an idea with you, as you see. I'm not a young man anymore. Dad. Don't interrupt me, let me tell you, so this is what I am thinking. Maybe it's time for me to retire, huh? I'm tired. I'm really going to grow strawberries, apples, tomatoes in my garden. I will hand over the business to younger people. Let them take the wheel of power into their hands. What do you think, boys? Victor Fryhorovic, I have no right to advise you on this matter, but if you make such a radical decision, I think Zana Viktorovna will cope perfectly well. No, I don't agree. Such a load of responsibility on fragile ladies' shoulders. Daddy, don't you love me? What are you talking about? What are you? I love you. I love you very much. And that's why I want a faithful and reliable friend to be with you. A person who will not only be a good partner for you, but also a very close person. Oh, Boya, why are you looking at your watch? Are you in a hurry? I promised mom not to stay out late. <laughs> Parents live for worrying about their children. You call her, say you're busy, and so on. No, I'm going to go now. Thank you very much, Zana. Everything was delicious. Thank you. Boria, wait, 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 what about the apartment? You haven't even seen Zona's apartment. It's true, Zona, show him. I want to hear your expert opinion. Zona made the design herself, so please, come on, Zana. Let's go. Show him, come on, come on. And this is my bedroom. Well, it's okay to live. Come to me. Was that also part of the tour? Ah, uh, come on. Don't be like that, relax. I've liked you since high school. And all of this can be ours, the money the apartment, the business, and we can get married, and I'll give you children. Smart, beautiful children, and they will not be poor either. It's attractive, Zana Viktorovna. Come here. Kiss me. The tour is over. The guide was a little miscalculating. Why, what's wrong? Am I not good enough for you? Or do you like colorless girls with children? Does it excite you? Stop it, Zana. You know. Think what you want. But that's stupid. Think about how much you get with me. Did they teach you math in London? Boria. Idiot. Lika? Lika, Lika, hello? Hi, H and you. Here I am. And I work here. 
Yes, I left Basket. You know, I got fed up with Sana and her claims and her absurd schedule. So I freaked out, and now I'm here. But I don't regret it. The salary here is the same plus tips. Where are you? Nowhere yet. I see. But you really don't need it. You have Savitsky. I don't have any Savitsky. The last time I saw him was when I was taking my documents. And I don't want to see him, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's strange. He seems to be such a nice guy, and he's so into you. Hey, stop it, okay? Sorry. Can I ask you to get me some water? Sure, it's very hot. Just a second. Here you are. Thank you. Listen, we have a vacancy here. Our star is going on maternity leave. If you come up to the director right now, while he's still there, you have great chances. Just in case, I didn't tell you anything, come on. Thank you, Kadia. Where should I go? I'll show you, come on. Thanks. That guy in the suit. Thanks. Sit down, boys, Petrovic. Let's have a manly talk. What is this? Are my apples and tomatoes now being postponed? I don't quite understand. You understand everything? Borea Zenka, my daughter, she's a good girl. Believe me, she just needs a real man to hold her back on the curves. You see, she never was denied anything. Her mother raised her that way. If you want a full coat, can you go a trip to the seaside, please? We bought an apartment in the city center, and then she wanted you, and as they say, it turned into a bummer. I can write a letter of resignation. Wow, what a quick one. He write a letter of resignation. What am I supposed to do? You're perfect for me as a commercial director. Moreover, to be honest, I wanted to expand your department. What a dilemma. You're giving me a choice. The world has not ended on me, Viktor Fryhorovic. Although I like my job, it's an opportunity to move up in the business. By the way, my old friend from the ministry called me today. He said that the other day he had visited our basket and saw shelves with suspended goods, the ones you suggested. So, he says that at the board, at the board, imagine, He's going to talk about it so that our experience can be shared in the city. That's it. He praised you. He praised you. That's great, Viktor Fryhorovic. Can I go? You can. You're stubborn, sir, he. That's the way it is, Sosenka. How about meeting tonight? Or is it I don't know again? My head is splitting. Dear, take a pill and we'll go to a restaurant tonight. Then I promise you an unforgettable night, you'll enjoy it. It won't help. I will do my best to help. I suggest sitting on the terrace, why sweat indoors? I don't mind. 
Would you like another drink? Would you like a dark, unfiltered, zero five beer? Yes. Wait 15 or 20 minutes. I'll fetch it. Excuse me. Yes. Can I make an order, please? Just a minute. Do you like it? It is nice. Great. Look who it there, familiar faces, the twelfth table. How do you know him? Who, ma'am? I said, the twelfth, it's Sana there, the snake is here. I don't want to serve them, I can't help it. I'm going to say something nasty. Well, then I will. Really, Lika? Thank you. I'll owe you. Good evening, Zena Viktorovna. Sari Mikhailovic. What would you like for dinner? May I come in? Sure. Gloria, why don't you tell me about the birthday party? But there was nothing special about it. Uh, how are things at work? It's okay. You are not talkative. How is Anna? Mom, please. Gloria, you know? I met an old friend of mine, and she told me that her daughter recently had graduated from the conservatory, a very talented girl. Mom, I'm begging you, please stop matchmaking for me. I'm able to find a person with whom I will live my life, Mom. By the way, my realtor has found a few options for me, so I'll be moving soon. How do you know Berezovska? We met several times. This Liga is everywhere. I kicked her out, but she's already settled in here. Why are you looking at me like that, Suri? I had her in my basket for a couple of days, and then she came to work with a child, can you imagine? No, in general, she is an impudent, irresponsible person. I don't keep such employees. Do you work at the Basket for Happiness? I do. What's the big deal? My dad owns the business, and I'm the HR director. Enjoy the meal. You've already ruined my appetite. Don't expect a tip. You have a nice companion, three. There's not much to say. I forgot to ask you. Go to work now. I'll go, don't worry. But since we're in this situation, can I ask you something? I forgot my things at your place. There's a blue dress and a raincoat in the closet. Do you mind if I take them, huh? Oh, wait. I forgot. I have my own key, okay? I'll leave it on the bedside table and lock it from the inside. Don't worry. Go away, please. Why don't you ask anything about Artem, huh? He was taken away from me, so he, he lives in an orphanage now. I don't care, listen, let's go. I'm sorry for bringing you here, I didn't know. No, darling. You can stay. Don't call me anymore, ever. She's a... Can you disappear from my life? Yes, there is a special room for flowers. Aha, uh -huh, what can you offer? Okay, but then you think about it and call me Zana. How are you feeling? As if you were worried. 
Don't even wait, Boris Petrovic. Zana, let's agree that we forget everything and continue to work. Please find me an experienced florist or let the suppliers appoint their own. You're a workaholic, Boria. By the way, you look bad. Have you tried to rest? No time, Sana Viktorovna, no time. It's a waste. I visited a restaurant yesterday and saw your Berezovska. She became a waitress, didn't you know? She served me. So sweet. I also heard from accidentally that her child had been taken away to an orphanage. No wonder, with a mother like that. Lika, will you be long? I'll wait for you. Why? Because, because I will wait. When I visited Artem, he said that he was not abused. In general, you know, the orphanage is not bad. I didn't even expect it. The teachers are polite. They obviously love the children. I don't understand how a mother can give up her child. I don't know. People are different. They won't give me custody, and I've already tried everything. They say that without a job and my own place to live, I have no chance at all. But I found a job since then, so I have 50% more chances now. It depends. Yes. I am probably a very desperate optimist. Lika, let's visit Artem together. No need. I can do it myself. But why yourself? You're all by yourself. My mother taught me to deal with all problems by myself and not to put them on other people. Where's your mom? And she was gone long ago. If she were here, it would be much easier. When our parents are alive, we are still children. And when they die, we become adults. Borya, take care of your mom. Thank God. Borya, why are you so late? And your phone is out of reach. Mom. Here are flowers for you. For me? But why? Mom, I'm sorry, I, I can be really unbearable, really. I'll never leave you. My dear, I love you. Well, it's okay. Mom, will you feed me? Of course. <laughs> of course I will. Get ready. Not a bad machine. Do you think it would suit me? Keep your mouth shut. Let's go to work. Hello, Suzenka. Sorry, forget my number, you're free forever. Darling, do not rush. Take a minute. Go outside and see what I bought for us. You won't regret it. Okay, wait, but if I'm disappointed, don't complain. No way. The ball? The ball? Pass it to me, Artem. I'm open. 
Victoria while you came to me? <laughs> of course I did. Look, I brought you some presents. My hands are falling off. All for him. This is my boy. I found him first. So what if you're the first? Some lady took you for a walk last week. But no one ever comes to see me. It's not fair. Okay. Okay, guys, calm down. There's no need to divide me up. I am enough for everyone. I don't understand. Why don't you invite me to play football, Arden? Come against me. I promised you a lot of goals. Sure you did. How do you divide this up so that there is enough for everyone? And we'll share this somehow? I'll think of something. Come on, let's play football. Where is this luxury from? I told you, I bought it. Wow, and how much does it cost? A lot. It's just that our salon employees have a good discount and an interest-free loan. And now we come to the main news of the day. I have been appointed site director. This morning, I didn't expect it myself. So now it's easy for me to pay off the loan for this machine like this. I really want to believe, Serhi, that you're not fooling around again. Shuza. How oh, your phone is ringing. Hello? Serhi, are you crazy? Where are you? The boss is here. He's freaking out. You took the white car. It's on sale. Hey, what's the big deal? I'll be there soon. The activists, damn them, they can't decide anything without me, listen. Do you have your passport with you? Let's say. Let's, let's go crazy and submit an application. Now we can get married within 24 hours. Or are you scared? I agree. Or he. Hush, 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 hush. Damn. Idiot. It doesn't cost much for our supermarket, and it will make your children happy, and it will be a lifelong memory. Oh, we're here, basket for happiness. We have to justify our name somehow. I don't even know what to say. But we certainly have help from various organizations and foundations. But no one has offered anything like this. Tell me honestly, what is your interest? Olga Vitalievna, nothing, really. Do you think it never happens? I don't know. Yeah. It was a nice car. Have you had enough, sir? E? What the hell was that for? Damn it, did I do it on purpose? I see. Why did you take the car at all, were you thinking? I see. I always knew that girls would never do you any good. What now? The boss was yelling so loudly, did he fire you? He said that if I didn't compensate him, he would inform the police. You'll have to work for it for the rest of your life. Are you freaking serious? Well, buddy, next time, think with your head, not with something else. She's a darling. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'll call.
Hello, Olga Vitalievna. Oh, you again. I brought an employment certificate here. Yes, and I will try to rent a normal accommodation soon, so that everything is official. I'll do my best as soon as possible. Okay. Can I go for a walk with Artem today? He's not here. They went to the city. On a tour? Well, no, you could say that, but our children were invited to the supermarket basket for happiness. Do you know it? They will choose gifts for themselves. And who invited them? Commercial director. Boris Petrovich Savitsky. He even sent a bus to pick up the kids. So your Artem will get something too. Wow, there are so many things here. That's not all, there are two more rooms around the corner. I know everything here. My liquor used to work here. So, kids, here's the plan. You take as much as you can fit in your baskets. Here we have toys. And the candy is a little further. What are your wishes? Can I have a doll and makeup? What kind of cosmetics? You can get anything. Come on. Who are these children? As I understand it, from an orphanage. Wow, it's a car with a remote control, look. Yeah, and look, it's really cool. Wow. Whoa. Okay, stop, stop. What a nice airplane. Look, a police car, oh look. See how happy they are. Thank you. Such event is very important. Artem, what's this? Look at this, look, look how cool it is. Anya. What's going on here? Boris Petrovich brought them in and told them to take whatever they wanted. By the way, I wanted to ask how I was supposed to get it through the cash desk. Yes. Dad. Wait. Well, well, how much? All right. Then take it, yes. Do you know what your favorite commercial director does? He's running things. What? He brought some children from the street and is giving them goods. I'm shocked. Who will pay for all this? Is this an unprecedented generosity event? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart, kids, let's get in. It's time to go. You'll look at each other's presents later. Boys, Petrovic, perhaps you can explain what it was? Victor Hryhorovic. This is a day of happiness for those who rarely see it. Don't worry about money. I'll pay for everything. Sorry. Where is Sari Mikhailovich's office? What's Sari Mikhailovich? Your director, new, newly appointed. You are mistaken, young lady. We have no newly appointed director, Sari Mikhailovich, but there was a salesman, Sari Maltsev. I don't know his middle name, though. He was recently fired. He broke the car. Do you want to buy a car? I can help you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Recording. So, Viktor Ryhorovic, after your yesterday's event with the children from the orphanage, I would like to know how often you plan to organize such social events. The whole city is buzzing. Social media. Actually, it's not really my idea. It's a suggestion from our new commercial director who, by the way, recently graduated from London Business School. In fact, we are taking over the Western experience. 
Here, we will hold events often now, yes. Especially if the city is buzzing. Well... Anna Ivanovna, open another cash register. You see, there are so many people here today. Yes, I did not expect such a full house. Usually, Monday is a dead day. I'm going to call the girls. So, boys, Petrovic, congratulations. You're a star now, so come to my office for an interview. Reporters are waiting for you. An interview? Why? Because you will tell them how you got all these ideas. Seriously, well done, really. I'm, I'm happy, so go ahead, expand your commercial department. Take an assistant if you need to. It's worth it, go for it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Good evening. Good evening. I don't need a menu, but please bring two teas and two cakes, and please call Lika. Okay, Boris Petrovic. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Take a seat. I can't sit next to clients at the table. Sit down, you don't work here anymore. What do you mean? Take a seat. Why? Tomorrow you're coming back to Basket for Happiness. You'll be my assistant in marketing. Do you know what it is? Lika, why are you silent? I'm afraid Zana Viktorovna will not be happy. I'll take care of it. Your order, please. Two cakes and two teas. Anything else? Bring us two glasses of wine, please. We seem to have something to celebrate. Zhuzhenka? <laughs> Shashenka, sorry for not taking your calls. I've been busy, you know. And this stupid car. You have no idea, Sari Mikhailovic, how pleasant it is to see you again. Really? Sari, you are incorrigible. I am. Get out of here before I call security. And if you approach me again, they'll throw you down the stairs. If not me, then someone else. Maybe you'll hit your head and wise up. Shuza, I am. I am busy. It won't take long. Here are Leica's papers. Register her as my assistant starting tomorrow. I am rushing. Don't rush too far, Zana Viktorovna. It's Katunin's order. Do you know him? I'm so sick of you all. Let's get to work. Hello, Mouts of Sahih Mikhailovi? Yes. Captain Romaninko, you must come with us. What is it really about? It is about you are detained for forging documents submitted to the court. Get ready. Here, everything is as you want it. Yeah, you can't imagine how many ideas I have. Now I can imagine. You are very beautiful.
Will you let me out of work early today? As soon as I compliment a girl, she immediately starts using it. I just want to visit Artem today. I miss him so much. I can't let go tonight. My mom invited you to her birthday party. Seriously? I'd love to. You have a wonderful mom. Then I'll go tomorrow. Will you let me go? And tomorrow, well, we'll look at your behavior and decide. Ola Yevanivna. Mom. Hello. We congratulate you. We wish you long life and good health. Thank you. Thank you. And I will really need my health to raise my own grandchildren. By the way, Lika, Mom and I have a surprise for you. Are you ready? For what? Come on. Lika! Artem, my dear. Honey, why are you here? Boya took me home forever. We formalized custody. I hope you don't mind. Of course I do not. Honey. Come to me. Come here. Eventually, we can formalize an adoption, but we will need a full-fledged family. What do you think, Lika? I want you to become my wife. And we will raise Artem together. Do you agree? Yes, yes, she agrees. Lika agree. Yes, I agree. Hooray! Let's go find a vase and put some flowers in it. Come on, my dear. Let's go quickly. Let's hurry up. 